One, two, check, Chuffy, one, two. <coughs> one, two, check, Chuffy, one, two. One, two, check, Chuffy, one, two. Hi, you're with Scott. I'm Super Chuffer. I'm Larry. It's midnight. It's always midnight. This is your right here. And your left ear in mono. Why do I start without talking? God, this start stream's got a delay on it. It annoys the pee out of me. One, two, check, Chuffy, one, okay, two. Okay, I'm on. I'm on. <coughs> <coughs> one, two, check, Chuffy. Bit of a weird start. Okay. What we're going to do today is Angry Alan is lying. He's a liar. Alan Vinicom is a liar, and I'm going to prove that he's a liar. The images of the children singing with Alan have not been photoshopped by me. They're on the Smule app. If they're photoshopped by anyone, they're photoshopped by Alan or the children. Maybe. Or maybe it's Smule does it itself. Possibly. It's certainly not me. I will prove that today. And Alan is proving it for us because Alan has uploaded his own proof that he's a liar to his own channel. So we'll look at that. That's going to be fun. You'll find that funny. I'm Super Chuffer. We're going to watch Alan's massive rant. I'm battery exhausted, Larry. Sentries is a channel that I send things to to be uploaded so that I don't have to worry. <laughs> On Sentries, you've got Children Sing with Alan Vinicom. That video is still there. You've also got Angry Alan Vinicom Sings now as well. well. Hey, loads of fun. And on here, Children Sing with Alan Vinicom, there's a link to this page, which is small on the internet. And I'll prove it. Look, I'll prove it. For anyone that doesn't want to hang around and is angry out, oh, I don't want to watch you dissing angry out. And if you're just here to be debunked, look, this is the internet. You can see at the top there. Look at the screen. I'm going to make it big. You can see at the top there, look, it's www.smule.com recording. Da, 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 da. This is not me. This is the internet. And this is Smule. Now, if I press this button, it will show you the video of the kid and Alan singing together. Look, there you can see them together on the, the, the thing. I'm not doing that. That's on Smule. That's on Smule. If you're an Alan fan and you, you don't believe me, go to this link that I'm going to post in chat now and just click it yourself. Like, literally just go and click it yourself. Hang on, where's my Smule? Copy that. Go and check it yourself. It's in the chat. It'll be in the comment underneath. It'll be in the description. Actually, I haven't put it in the description yet. I'll put it in the description later. Um... This is live on the internet now, still. Okay, still. If I click it, it'll go to the children. I don't want to... Hang on, how do I show you this without showing you this, so to speak? You know, because I want to protect the children. I want to show their faces. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this screen around so it's harder to see. I'm going to click it. Right? Now, you can't see it. I'm not pressing play yet. But look, there's the ch child. It's in the picture. I'll move it over here and I'll press play so that you can't see the child. But look, pressing play... What's happening here? That's Alan. That's Alan. That's him and a kid. That's him and a kid. And that's the kid singing with Alan. I haven't photoshopped that. Look, I can prove it. It's on the internet under smule.com. I found it on smule.com. Got loads more things to prove tonight. But let's get straight off with a bang. I've proved Alan to be a liar. A liar. He said I photoshopped it. We'll hear him lie in a minute. He said I photoshopped it. It's on smule.com. How have I got it onto his account? I haven't. If anything, right, if anything, these things are what they're called collaborations. I said duets because I'm talking in a normal common parlance that people would say when people are singing songs together. You could call them duets, but on smule, a duet is very specific. We're singing live together. That's why I was very careful in my video. Should we watch my video one more time as well to be sure? Yes, we will in a minute. So these are called collaborations. Three singers have joined this collab. Three different people have joined the collab. So Alan set up the open room, the collab. Collab, it says at the top. Alan set that up, and then the children came in and joined and sung on the songs. And then Alan's got these copies of these children and their videos on his song. Here, on his page, small recordings, Alan Vinicom, John Bray, sorry, but you know, this is him at the top. These are his things at the... You can see it. I'm not lying. Am I? I'm not lying. I'll post it in chat again. You, the, the most, do you know what? The most amazing thing to me is some of Alan's fans have come over to here to this and to Super Chuffer to complain and moan and piss. And they've said, Alan, you're, you're lying. You're, you're, uh, Alan says you're lying. You're for Photoshop. One of them, I showed them the link to this. And they said, but it's on, you Photoshop the smule on the internet. Like, I can't deal with people like that because how do I help them? But really, if you're watching this and you're one of Alan's fans and you think, is Scott lying? Is Alan lying? Who's what's going on? I'm trying to save you from this dirty man. 
please stop telling me I'm lying. It's weird. It, it goes beyond weird when I prove it so categorically. And all of today, I'm going to keep proving it. There's more proof. It's not just this. It's what Alan uploaded to his own channel that's proof as well. It's what Alan uploads to his own channel. So stick with me. Check out all the proof I'm going to show today. Check it out yourself. And if you still want to lie on the internet and say that I'm making this up and that it's my Photoshop, if you still want to lie, I'm to assume that you're in on it then and that you're some sort of weird, like, should I say paedophile? Because if you're defending this man and the actions and this app and all that and pretending it's not real, there's something weird going on. And that weirdness is protecting the people that are endangering children. And I don't like it. <laughs> Right, big ups in chat. Lovely jubbly. Sonia, Sam, Wayne, Fiona, Dover and Dolly's mom, Evian, Alison, Keely, big ups. Drama Lama, Miesh, Arabella Willow, Chinwaggers, Humpy and Beck, Silver Moon Warrior, Curious Cat. Sad to hear about your dog is Curious Cat. We're going to have a fun day today. Fun day today. Um, there's, there's loads. There's loads. There's loads. Oi, John Bray, leave those kids alone. <laughs> I like it, Marcus. I like it. There's loads to do. There's loads to do. Hello, Sarah. I hope you're all right. Um, I clipped you a, a collection of my favourite uh, comments and I'm going to show you them later in Discord. Uh, click, and today we're going to have fun, try and be buoyant and jubilant. And so we've got this. If at the end of today's episode we've got enough time, we might also watch a Val video because I like Val and we kept saying we'll get her on and still haven't. Big up Stargazing, how you doing? Hi Inga, Yak Shamash. Dobje? Bards of Dobje? So there we go, straight off. I've just shown you. Look, click this button. I'll move it again so you can't see the child. Click this button. Follow the link on Smule. Oh, account suspended. Oh, no. Alan's account got suspended. Yeah? He told them about what was happening, and they immediately suspended his account. Oh, no. Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they help him? I couldn't be happier. Need to change that. JJ sent tippies. Big ups. Thank you. Love you, Scotty. You are the best. Keep up the good work. We need to change the animation, Big love we? always. Super Thank you very much for the tippies. Hugs. This is the Tippy's link. I really appreciate it. We've got a big episode today. Alan goes fucking mental in his episode. Like, Alan goes mental. He starts ranting and raving and full narc rage. I want to analyse it as narc rage separately. But today I'm just going to do my reaction and, like, prove him to be a liar first. And then we'll analyse the narc rage. But that will come along with it as well. I also want to quickly change this Tippy's link. Because we had criminal thing for yesterday, Nicola Bullis, didn't we? Today's a different day. Right. Buttons and widgets. <laughs> what is it called? A stream alert. And uh, 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 Giffy, are you all all right in chat? Are you all all right? Fiona, has he gone? I don't know if he's gone. Fiona, I don't know if he's gone. Uh, he certainly lost out on the. No, he didn't get as many views as me on his Nicola Bully content. And uh, a lot of people have understood that I'm telling the truth and he's a liar. And I'm going to prove he's a liar today. And if anyone wants to, you know, argue and argue, I'm just going to show them the full proof. And then it's on them to either defend this monster or not. Um, I'm looking for a new GIF. I know what I want. I know what I want. There you go. New GIF. Okay, new GIF in line. <sighs> wow. Wow. What a day. What a day. Are you saying in chat he's took his channel down? No, I don't think he has, Simon. Well, he was suspended from Smule. Smule's his karaoke account. He's been suspended from Smule, not from the YouTube. He should be suspended from the YouTube for all the lies and hate and all that, but uh, he's been suspended from this karaoke app. He contacted the karaoke app to say, I've got a problem. There are children on my account. Can you remove them? And they looked at his account and thought, fucking hell, he's against the terms of service in some way, apparently, because that's how you get suspended, isn't it? Apparently, I don't know. I'm just guessing. How do you get suspended off Smule? You break the terms it's of service. Again. I couldn't be happier. Swish, Ron Vixen swish. sent tippies. Had an awful day today apart from a win at bingo, and you cheer me up along with the Chuffers and MIMPs, so I'm sharing the love. That's it, Mim. Super Chuffer oh, 20. 20 Nice, hugs. thanks. I've got a taste of your bingo win. I've got a taste of the win. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Britain's been going mad. Um, this is evidence. It's proof. Anyone's just turning up. I've got loads of evidence. Follow your own internet link. 
here. This is the link to Alan Smuel. His account, if you click John Bray, his account is suspended. He didn't delete it. He didn't turn it off. It got suspended. Yeah, so he's lied about how it got removed. And then the other one is if you click these buttons with the kids, and there's still the picture of the kids there. That's there still. And even though his account is suspended, the videos of him with the kids are not. They're still available live. And if I press play on them, you'll hear and see. I don't want to show you the kids, remember, but there, look, look. That's not me photoshopping it. Because it's not a duet, it's a collaboration. The two videos are overlaid by Smule or by the people that edit on Smule. If you have a duet with someone, it's live. There's a straight line down the middle. I was very careful about this. Let's start off, actually. Let's start off. We're going to hear Alan going mental. Right, we're going to see that. But let's start off with uh, my actual video, shall we? Just to make sure we're clear about what I've said. Because you need to hear this first to understand how fucking ridiculous Alan sounds. How fucking ridiculous it sounds. He'll probably be in our chat today. He's looking forward to this. Alan, you're an, actually, yeah, good. He's in our chat today. Alan, you're a fucking idiot. Look what you've done, you fucking idiot. Okay? Look what you've done, you fucking idiot. So we'll start off with, you know, the truth and the thing that we're talking about, set context, yeah? Ready? To the best of my knowledge, Alan Vinicum is not a paedophile. I have no direct evidence that Alan Vinicum is a paedophile. Obviously, you need to be really careful about the Defamation Act, don't you, on the internet? You know, I need to be really careful what I say. But uh, I'm thankfully, I'm talking to very intelligent people who can understand things. I'm not on Alan's side. Alan's side, they're very, very strange. To have seen the evidence I put forward and pretend that it's... Like, you heard Alan say it's Photoshop, and you oh, it's Photoshop then. Like, that is insane. That's insane. So you've got to be careful about what you believe on the internet. I'm not saying... Alan Vinicum is a paedophile. To the best of my knowledge, Alan Vinicum is not a paedophile. We're going to rip him a right new one tonight. You know, when I uploaded these videos, you'll notice I blurred out the children. Notice this, I have blurred out the children. In my upload that he says I photoshopped, all blurred out, yeah? When I saw this video, my stomach dropped. One. So you've seen that, I don't have to go over it and over it. You know, you've seen him singing with the kid. You're going to see a lot more of it tonight as well. Please note, in my video, there is, you might want to take notes. If you want to ban Alan Spanners, I hope you're here. I hope you're here. If you want to ban Alan Spanners, you might want to take notes. Okay, can make sure to keep these ducks in order. At no point in my video can you ever see a child's face. I have blurred them out. I've removed their name from their their account. You might sometimes see their name on their account tonight because it's unavoidable, okay? But I removed that. It's not their real name. It's just an account name, so I'm not doxing a kid. But I removed them, blurred them out for child safety purposes. Understand that, yeah? I did that. I removed them and blurred them out for child safety purposes. There's two different videos here of two different children, and I blurred them both out. And then what happens? This is not an editing trick. This is not an editing These trick. These videos are very real. And all publicly available. Type it into, through type into Google. Just, just Google Smule John Bray 6. And bring it up. It'll say he's cancelled. Oh no. Well, then don't worry. Follow the link I've got to the actual collaboration videos. Smule is a karaoke app. There he is. When I saw those videos, my stomach dropped. This looks very bad for Alan Vinicum. To the best of my knowledge, check this out. People use these fake accounts Alan to contact Vinic children's websites. They use these accounts. Smule is known for it, for having loads of pedos on it, right? Guess what I say? That kids enjoy on Smule. I have no direct pedophile. Musically deleted or blocked access to children. You could have blocked them. make me look in some children to duet with adults. Check out what Anyone I say. choose to duet with you. These apps allow children in way like I was auditioning children. Listen to this. To be clear, the user does not solicit the duet. Anyone can choose to duet with you. These apps allow children to duet with adults. Maybe they should have a system to separate. This is absolutely right, except in normal terms, we might say duet because it's two people singing. What the Smule app actually means, or the correct word for Smule is collaborate as well. They do also allow people to duet, so I'm right in saying that. This is a collaboration, not a duet. That's why Alan was going, oh, it's white, it's not green. It's a collaboration. As I've just shown you, Alan has put up his video so that he can have it collaborated with on a collaboration. Seven years old, once I was seven years old, collab. Right, So it is a kind of duet in normal common terms, two people singing together. But what's happened here is he's put it up there, 
kids have clicked on it and then they've made the video together and Alan's got the video of them. Like, I've not edited it. Yeah, I've said it in the original, in the original video here. I've said that. Break the minors from the adults. Maybe apps like Smule need to do more to protect people like Alan Vinicom. Do you see? I've said it. I haven't said he's singing with kids and he's gone on there and found kids. I've said that he's put his videos up there and a lot, of, like all these other pedos, what they, the other pedos do is they put their videos up there and the kids find them. That's what I've said. You know, you don't, if, you're an, if you're an adult, you can see that happening and you go, oh, I don't want to put those videos up because kids find them and like them. There's a certain group of songs the kids seem to like more. And uh, we'll look at that a bit more of that tonight. But uh, Alan said that I... We'll see what he said. But you can clearly see what I've said, can't you? You all know in chat, right? If you don't know, go and watch the fucking video. If you're one of Alan's friends or family, go and watch the video. Because Alan is going to use what I said to try and defend himself. And it's ridiculous. Right, before we get further with that, I want to show you one more thing. We're going to turn to Alan and, you know, I'm going to critique and break him down. Uh, but I just want to quickly show you this. Um, chair... He's been doing some weird shit. He's been putting community posts up and editing them. And in one of them, he put my family, a member of my family's name, which was fucking weird, right? I've got evidence of that, but that's not really what I'm... I don't care. Like, you know, I'm not scared. It just doesn't mean anything. But you need to know he's done it because it's fucking weird, right? You can't lie about it. We've got evidence. But he's edited it and changed it, all this shit, right? But I'm going to be, oh, pressing charges, Larry. Oh, Larry, you bad bastard, Right? Alan Vinicum, Larry, you bad bastard. Has he deleted these now? He does this. He goes on here. He has a rant. He says some stuff and then he deletes it. Uh, I believe he's probably deleted this. Well, thank God somebody managed to keep a hold of it. Look, thank God I'm not so stupid as to allow Alan to lie on the internet and then hide and cover it up. I've got copies of it. I've got what you might call receipts. And there's a URL at the top. This is Twitter. This is not a fake. Okay. I've never sung on Smule with anyone. This is a random person picking out my song and adding himself. I have proof with the police. This isn't civil. I'm pressing charges. This is Alan's own post on his own thing, right? I had to put the blue on the kid because Alan had posted this image of himself with the kid and he hadn't coloured in the... He hadn't blurred out the kid's face. How did Alan get this image of him and the kid without the blurred face? I've put blue on it here. On my video, there's no blue. On my video, you can't see a kid's face. So if I'm photoshopping it, how has Alan got a hold of? Because when I couldn't be happier. Swish, and then JJ push. sent tippies. I've been at the hospital all day. I couldn't wait to get home and watch you make me laugh, cry, and passion for your work. And life is second to non intelligent and funny. We're gonna have some fun tonight. Big up you, Chuffer X. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. Thanks. We're gonna have some, some fun tonight. First of all, I'm gonna do a bit of the serious bit, then I'll watch his video. And when we start watching his video, oh, we're gonna have fun. So you can understand here, if you're taking notes, Nancy, right? Here is Alan. Here is child. This says Smule. And what's this at the bottom? Alan's photo screen grabbed this off his own phone. And at the bottom, it's got the like, the share, all that, and sing. This is from his own Smule app. This is an image from his own app. Yeah, his own app. And in that image, there's him and the child. I haven't photoshopped it into his app with the sing button. He's got that. He's uploaded it to his own channel. He's deleted it now, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. I've got... We've recorded it. Val saw it. Other independent corroborative witnesses saw it. You saw it. If you're one of his spanners, you saw it. There's a picture of the child in it, and it's on his app. Now, I uploaded a video that was all blurred out with all the children, didn't I? My video, all the children are blurred out. So you would either see this... If Adam wanted to get a screen grab of the photoshopping he would have to take it from my video, wouldn't he? Because that's the only place where it exists all photoshopped. Well, why hasn't he got this on it? How come he's got the whole picture of the kid? Do you understand what I'm saying? He's taken it from his own app, and in his own app, because it says at the bottom, Smule, Sing, and all that, I didn't photoshop this on in my video. I didn't photoshop anything in my video apart from to blur things out to protect children. But Alan, on his own channel, uploaded the picture of the child and didn't blur it out. So where did he get it from? I didn't put that on the internet. Even if you think I photoshopped his pictures, how has Alan got this original? It is the original. From his own app, where he's got his own collaboration with this kid on his own app. I had to put the blue on because he wouldn't protect the kids on the internet. What an arsehole. 
As I've, as I've written here, Alan posted this screen grab from his own Smule app to prove it's photoshopped. I had to blur out the child's face as Alan posted it without blurring it out. How did he get an unblurred video? I blurred out the kids. Do you understand that this is categoric evidential proof that Alan has done this? I have not done this. I have not. I've found these things and brought them to light. Alan is the one doing it behind the scenes. This is his app. He's posted it on his YouTube page without the blurred face. There is no way to have access to the blurred face if I photoshopped it. Because, get this, I blurred out all the faces. Raining again. I couldn't be happy. Keely sent tippies. And then floosh. Mimps in the house. Big ups, Keely. Larry giving AD his spankings. His panicking speaks for itself. Super Chuffer owes 15 hugs. Thanks very much. He is. He's Catherine wheeling, isn't he? He's panicking. Classic narc rage. And Alan won't like this, but the truth is, the truth is, I push his button. I got his number. He can't. He thought he was going to, oh, I'll say this and I'll do this. What was actually happening was he was doing what Scott told him to. He didn't realise how he's doing what Scott told him to. He didn't realise how Scott's in control. Scotty Hottie, they call me Larry. I'm in control, Alan, I'm in control. And you're out of control. You're a nutter. You've been doing this stuff on the internet with the kids. And you can't say you've not, because that's your small app. You've been doing this on the internet with the kids. This on the internet with the kids. Oh, they just sing all my songs. I just put the songs up there and then they cut. Yeah, they just come in my sweet shop. I just put the sweets out. Yeah, it's not my fault. I didn't do anything. I just left the door open, never deleted it for three years. One of us has done a collaboration video. It could be the kid has decided to edit Alan into his video. It could be Alan's decided to edit the kid into his video. It could be that Smule's done it automatically somehow. I don't know. I don't have Smule. Or it could be that I've it's done it again. and then I secretly it. got it to him. I knew it. Big UPS Scott. Scott is cut black scissors hash from a different cloth. Alan Scott's colours don't run. Yeah, my colours don't Super run. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. Big ups. Alan needs to run. Uh, there it is in link in chat again. I'll keep posting it in chat. It's under the description on Send Trees here. Alan Vinicum, children singing with Alan Vinicum. In the description on this video, it's got it there. So you cannot avoid the fact that it's on the Smule website. This is the Smule website, their own website. Smule.com recordings. And it's under the collab John Bray. There's him with the children. It's even got a picture there on the... Look, if I'm hovering over it like that with my mouse, how am I photoshopping this? How am I photoshopping this live like that? How do I live photoshop a video on the internet? It's impossible. How do I get photoshopped videos onto Alan's account? It's impossible. This is... Alan's done this. Look. I'm doing this. Tell me, you know, tell me in chat which one you want me to push... Touch on with my mouse, top, middle or bottom. Let's have a quick poll because then this will uh, prove that it's live. So top, mid or bottom, I'll put top. You'll do it in a poll, but this will prove it's live. Middle, bottom, ask your community, right? 10, 15 seconds just to quickly do that poll. Whichever one comes out on top, I will point out on my mouse on on the screen and i'll highlight it i'll click it you'll see it's real okay so top middle or bottom you don't want to choose top actually because top doesn't have a, a child edited in with it for, the, for some reason this one doesn't have the child with it but these two do i don't know why uh, maybe someone's you know parents saw it and thought fucking hell get off that app um so go for anyone anyone though if you want me to press top i will but it won't be so conclusive uh i'll just end the poll there oh no i've ended the poll it said top Okay, I'll press top then. Fuck it. This one doesn't have the kid in it, though. Shame. But it does have them singing, so this is fine. Look, I'll click it. This one has them singing, but you don't see them. That's why I didn't use it in the video. I don't know what Alan could see at his end. But that's a vocal performance together. And now I'll press the middle one. Oh, shit. You see what I mean? It's got kids in it, right? So I really want to protect the kids. I don't want to show their faces. Don't worry about the question. It was just to prove this is live. And it's a ridiculous question. Of course this is live. Of course this is live. The other thing that Alan doesn't know is how did I discover this in the first place? Right? We're going to get to Alan's rant in just a second. But how did I discover this in the first place? Let me show you something that will blow your mind. Let me show you something that will blow your mind. So where's my mainframe? Media player, please. 
Let's just turn off the mainframe. No, it's not the. I want to turn off the Firefox. <laughs> Too many windows. Can I just move that? I'll just move that out of the way. Um, so this is my main. I call it the mainframe because it's in a frame. This is my stream, right? My, we did a stream live on Twitch. And on that stream, we were having a laugh and looking at stupid Alan and all that business. And we accidentally found these videos. We'll look at them later. We'll look at this later. I but look. I don't like it. Going away from that. I'm live on Twitch. I'm playing Genshin Impact. There were people there in the stream. I've still got a copy of that stream on Twitch. I had to take it down private because it's got all these children in it now because while we were live on stream i found this stuff people were there in chat and they know it happened so alan i've got several witnesses to say that i didn't pre-plan this i was on a stream and it just came up where's my fucking ranch board did someone take it on there um i was on a stream and it just came up like we were doing your we were having a laugh at alan we were doing the old alan's fun you know alan's stupid and then it came up on a stream a live stream and the people that were there were like, what is this? The internet can be a terrible place. You lose your privacy. You don't have a minute for yourself. Well, I fight on. The oppressed and the depressed. For those with no voice, for the wild roses. The reason she's singing with him is because he's a VIP. So she can just pick his recording to sing. She doesn't have to pay for it. But... All of his recordings, he's a VIP, but nobody records you know, songs with him. I found it really weird and creepy. We found these Gummy Gummy Bear songs. We found other pedos on there. I mean, all that shit, there's the kids. I don't want to show the kids. You know what I mean? I don't want to show the kids. It happened live on a stream. It happened live on a stream. So I've got that. I've got the whole stream recorded. It's a real shame because it's a, one of our big streams. You know, it was a seven-hour stream. We did all sorts of stuff. We played Genshin Impact. Look. I did a full stream. I haven't done eight hours of recording just to Photoshop in some bollocks towards the end and then use it secretly as evidence later on. This has happened live on the internet and I've got the Twitch, like I could put it's it premiere, make it live. Be happy in centipedes. Thank you, Scott, for your energy entertainment and chuffing a lot of sense and hilarity. Love your channels, especially Mondays. X super chuffer owes five hugs. So this is really important and clear as well. I've got this video. I'd quite like to be able to edit the video and get rid of the kids, you know, blur them out so I could broadcast it on the internet and feel safe for the kids. But if we need to today, I'll show you this as well. I can make it live on Twitch as well with all the previous chat attached to it. No way I can edit that. I can't pretend to make a stream that happened weeks ago. It's there unlisted because I haven't been able to put it public on Twitch. There's no way of me to edit. I can't edit it. If people need to see it, Right, if people really need to see it, I can make it live on Twitch. It's got the kids in and everything. You know, that just happened. We just watched his videos and they were on it. So, if you really need that, I can show you the, the raw file, so to speak, of me discovering Alan singing with these, these children on this app. Sorry, to be clear, these children singing with Alan on this app, you see? This happened live. So it's not like behind the scenes Scott came up with this thing and put it on the internet. I didn't know anything about it until a late night stream on Twitch and there were people there. If you're in chat now, shout out that you were there, please. Because you were a few of you that were there. You don't have to if you don't want to, but if you're in chat and you were there, you know, there you go, there's one. Jessica was there, it happened. Um, like now, I would ha now what I'd have to do to, to make this, if Alan wants to pretend I'm lying, is I would have to get other people that I don't know in chat to, to say lies, which is fucking weird. We don't have that. Instead, we've got all the chat records from that stream. We've got the stream itself. We've got, it's there in front of you. We've now also got, like I said, the internet site Smule is still available if you want to go on there and check those collaborations. I'll put the link in chat again. So we've got that, right? We've got Smule itself. Let me just turn this off because this old stream. Where am I? You see, I've got too many windows now again. Whee. The old streams, you know, we're not going to potentially watch hours and hours of the old stream tonight, but it's there. We're going to look at it a little bit if we need to. This is the Smule. This is probably the best best evidence. Is it's still there on Smule? I can't control the Smule app. I can't put things on his account. Nor can he now. He's suspended, so he can't even change this. It's there forever as evidence. Well, recorded now forever. 
as evidence. And if you need to see it yourself or post it in chat one more time, it's there. You all know. There you go. London says they were there as well. Joanne Roberts says they were there. We had quite a few. You know, Bosey was there. Like, people were there. Slinky Socks was there. Yeah, absolutely. People were there. And what I had to do is I had to, at the end, I had to say, oh, my God, this is too much. We've done seven hours streaming, and now suddenly we've veered into this child protection problem. So I'm going to have to turn off the stream. I don't want any of you to say anything about it. I'm going to work on it behind the scenes, and then I'm going to make a video and, and only talk proof, because it's very dangerous stuff, this. I don't want anyone's reputation to be thrown in the bin for accident. And it turned out what I found and everything I found went on the internet and we've done the video and Angry Alan's reacted. You know, I'd never heard of Smule until this, no. But thankfully in our research, we discovered that Smule was one of these apps that paedophiles use and pretend to be chicken nuggets, didn't we? So how do I prove the action, interaction is live on Smule? Helen, this is their website. Pasted in chat now again. Follow that link in chat there and you'll be taken to Smule's own website. And then these are collabs. So what you do, I never said that a live record, they didn't, I never said Alan was on the phone to the kids. I said, Alan puts the video up in my, I said this, and I'm not having this gaslighting. This is gaslighting now, look, right? In the video, I said, he didn't make the videos. He didn't solicit them. What happens is that you put the video up and then kids sing on your video. This is a different bloke here that's got that going on. Some way, like I was auditioning children. To be clear, the user does not solicit the duet. Anyone can choose to duet with you. These apps allow children to duet with adults. I should have said collaborate, but in the grown-up world, a duet is two people singing. On Smule, for their pedantic little, you know, a duet is when you sing live and a, a collaboration is where you put the video up and someone sings later. I don't care if I said duet and not collaboration. A judge will understand a duet means people singing together. On Smule, it means you have to do it live and organise it. But actually, this is what's called a collaboration. I will correct that. It's irrelevant. It's pedantic bollocks. Do never get caught up in the difference between a collaboration and a duet as if that matters. What matters is Alan put up a video on the internet under this collaboration and these children chose to collaborate with it. There are the videos together of them together now because they've been superimposed, put on by Smule themselves or by Alan or by the children. They're the only people that can do that. I don't know if you can do it or not. If you want to try and get onto Alan's account and put up a fake video on his account, maybe you can. I can't. It's very clear. It's very, very clear. Is there anyone in chat who is unclear about this now? Please, if anyone is from Alan's side of things and, and wants to argue, I want them here now. It's important. The people who have sent me comments saying he's been photoshopping it because of what he said, it's important. Is anyone unclear about this? If I click these buttons, this is on the internet, look. This is my web browser. If I go, like, you know, Google, what do you want? If I do the Today's News, look, BBC News. There you go, web browser. You, I can't fake this because this is bang on Today's News. Let me do date and time. This is a good way to do it, look. I can't fake this. Google, date and time, right? Google, date and time. I can't fake this. This is the, t the day and the time. It's like having the newspaper in Smith's, isn't it? I can't fake this. I didn't know that I was going to stream today at, 20, at 8.17. I was going to be saying this. This is the day and time. It can be confirmed with you now in chat. And then on this exact thing, the link that I'm posting in chat there, I'm posting that link in chat. I will now post that into the search bar. Look, paste and go. There it is. I did not put this on the internet. Alan did. Small account. John Bray, Allen, collaboration, door open. I'm a VIP, Alan's a VIP. Door open, collaborate with me. Oh, the kids have been collaborating. There you go, that's where we're at. Smule is the app that records the music, uploaded and attracts it to people that have sung the same song. Stop lying, says Rosalie. That's what I've said. But not in those words that don't make any sense, Rosalie. Alan has recorded a song that attracts children. The children are attracted to the song, and then they've sung on the thing. So now Alan has videos of him and the children together. There it is. There's a picture. I've not done that. Alan, Scott, can you confirm you did the solo edit of songs AD? What do you mean? What I did was, because these are now on Smule, instead of, right, let me be careful. I don't want to show the picture to the kids. Instead of pressing this now and showing you live on the internet with a kid in it, right? Because, look, it's got a kid in it. What I did was I recorded those live 
I, I recorded them because we were on the internet on stream doing it. And then I recorded them on a window screen record and I blurred out the kids. You know I've blurred out the kids because this is my video that I uploaded. Look, this is my video that I uploaded. You remember this? Alan's Maybe they should have a system to separate the minors from the adults. I blurred Maybe everything apps out. like Samuel need to do more to protect people like Alan Vinicom. I Maybe blurred them out. some way, like I was all... I blurred them out, yeah? So then how on earth did Alan get this picture of him not blurred out? Off the app. If you're looking at Alan's profile, on his, he might have taken this down. I don't care. I photographed it. Here it is. Armchair Detective Blue. He put up a post, a post about me and I did this and I photoshopped that. And he used a picture of the kid with his face on it. How has he got that? I blurred all the kids out. So if you think I photoshopped it and put it up there, where did he get the raw footage of a kid from in order to photoshop his own version to put here with the small app stuff at the bottom? That's his actual app. It's on his actual app. I had to scribble out the blue when I posted it. You have to protect the kids. That's what I've had to do Photoshop wise. I had to protect the kids. I didn't do anything else. And the raw footage is still there if you want to go and watch videos of him with kids. It's still there. I just broadcasted it then, just but moved it so you couldn't see the kid. I'll put the link in and you can follow it yourself. Okay? So follow it yourself. Follow it yourself. And if you still think that's bollocks, how do I help you? Smule joins them together, says Rosalie, not AD. Yeah, why hasn't he deleted them then? Why are they still there? Why have you used this song that kids are attracted to? That's what I'm asking in this, this video. I'm saying it's very dangerous for Alan because other paedophiles are known to use the app and they've used the same song. Other paedophiles are known to use the app. Other paedophiles are known to use apps like this to encourage children to, to do these things. I'm asking questions, I'm not answering them. I'm telling people as well that Alan did not solicit those videos. So you understand what I've said. You can argue with me, right? But you understand what I've said. Alan is now going to say what I've said on his own, in his own defense. It's fucking ridiculous, right? You all know now the truth. Rosalie can be a troll. I want them here, though. It's probably Alan. It's probably Alan. I love it that he's here watching me, giving me the view counts. He can't help it. He's such a creep. Can he remove videos if a child collaborated with him? I certainly think so, Sonia. Sonia, they're up for over three years and there was another couple of videos that had collaborations. Do you think if it was you or your husband or your, you know, would you ask Smule to remove them? Smule, bear in mind, Smule suspended him. They haven't removed this other stuff. They've suspended him. It's insane to think that I, I photoshopped this up. Big up, Snood. Big up, Snood. So it's insane. <laughs> Snood's being ironic. It's insane to think that I photoshopped this stuff up. It's insane. Yeah, it's insane. There it is on the app. That's me on a live stream discovering it on the app. I can't photoshop all this. It's ridiculous. You see how my stream works? It works like this. So I've got that. That's in the evidence. That's in the bank. We can watch that. You know, it's just insane to think that I might do something weird, like create a weird Photoshop. I discovered something and I brought it to your attention. The link is in the chat. It cannot be denied. I do not have access to Alan Smule account. I do not control Smule. Okay? If you think that it's a defense for Alan that he's not, not at fault because he didn't choose this, solicit this, fine. That's up to you to decide how you believe Alan's character and whether you believe him and his character. But because it's about belief in his character, I'll prove today that he's a liar and then you can say, oh, I believe the liar. How about that? I believe the liar. Here's a, here's a lie, caught in a lie. How did he get access to this picture? How, why is this from his app? Smule, sing, halfway played. Where did he get that from? Because I blurred out all the kids. So has he copy and pasted that from mine? No. So he must have created this himself somewhere else in order to prove me to be a Photoshop genius by doing it himself in his own app. I've never shown this bottom half of the app. I don't use the phone. I use a PC. So on my videos, I found them on the internet with a PC. There's none of that at the bottom because when I click these, there's none of that at the bottom. I'm on a PC. So it's Alan, classic Alan. That's what he does. He, photos, he takes things from his phone, photo screens them and puts them up. And he's done that to defend himself and it proves that he's a liar. Okay, it proves it's a liar. And I have covered the child's faces. I covered the child's faces. There is no dangering of a child from me. I covered all their faces. That's why YouTube accepted my appeal after he tried to take my video down and put it back up. 
You can prove I'm right because the video is up. Alan has endangered a child in his post where he didn't blur their faces because he doesn't give a fuck. You've got to get this right, you chuffers. You know, you've got to get this right. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to go on to his man. His, Alan goes mental. Full narc rage. So as he goes now, I'll pick him apart. And this is what we really want to do, isn't it? We really want to watch Alan. And I, I, what I wanted to do at the start, though, is if any of the, the spanners were there, there's the, the evidence there now. Follow it up yourselves and come back if you want. But like, I'll now rip in, they don't want to sit and watch me rip into pieces, do they? But they can't avoid that. You're either defending the liar, the man that's lied about who created those videos with children, the man that's lied about whether the videos with children or anything to do with him, the man that's lied about it, or you believe me, the person that's drawn to it, everyone's attention what's happened, has nothing to do with Alan for years and years. I never even know who he is for years and years. All those other people have arguments with him, Martin and these other people. I don't know them at all. I don't speak to Martin, Dean. Like, there's, all of a sudden, I've turned up on the scene and I've busted him wide open. No one's seen anything like this before. Oh, Scotty Hot, he's busted him wide open. And Alan can't take it. Yeah, so if you're from his side, you've got to understand that there's no, I, I don't have any reason to do this other than to protect children. And I protected them. You know, I protected them. So, Alan is not, you know, you, you shouldn't listen to his lies and manipulation. You've got to, if, if you're a, a follower of his, you understand, question the narrative. Look for the, the truth. I've given you the evidence. Look for the truth. Alan's got no evidence on his side. He's got no truth on his side. Where's my songs in the background, you chuffers? What's going on now? Where's my fucking songs in the background? Oh, it is on. It will... It will pipe up again. Okay. Here we go then. Okay. Uh, uh, well, no, no. My headphones just fucking panned out then, didn't they? Fuck, man. I hate this. Computers and stuff. Headphones. Uh, Bluetooth and devices. A few more devices. Why would you not be connected? I was just had you connected then. Please connect headphones. We'll have to just wait a second for me to connect my headphones now. It says connected. I'm just take a... They're not connected. The fuck? I need to switch to the other set of headphones. No, it's, it's not having any headphones all of a sudden. This gives people a chance to check that factual Bluetooth connected, okay? But what are they connected to? Hopefully not the phone. Maybe it's because I've got the phone and the phone likes to steal the headphones. A little Okay, break. I'm, I'm, I'm back, I'm back on. Okay, I'm back on. So, Alan, this is what was beautiful poetry as well. Uh, Alan is right. I dropped this video just before the Nicola Bully case. Do you know why? Because I wanted to make sure it had the most eyes on it possible and that was kind of achieved i'm a little disappointed of course youtube will hold things back you know youtube has said this is not monetizable i'm not doing this for money of course it's not monetizable so uh the video doesn't get shown as much you know angry alan the, the one alan vinicum is not a nonce this video that needs to be shared more doesn't it that video needs to be shared more if you, like you chuffers in chat need to share that far and wide get it on the facebooks anyway always do this Anywhere you can, you know, anywhere you can get that out there. Right. I'm smoking. Yeah. What you just heard there at the start of this is we always say, fucking hell, I've got ash in my shorts and it's burning my leg. Um, we always say that Alan does this uh, terrible internet job. But what you can actually hear, here's a little secret for you. Alan uses a strong noise gate. And he does that because he wants to listen to things in the... He's not wearing headphones, so he wants to listen to things in the background. And he doesn't want you to hear them. And sometimes he fucks up. Sometimes he doesn't mute the right thing and whatever. But Alan's using a strong noise gate. So when he starts talking here, the noise gate mutes him down and you can't hear him. It's not internet service, that. That's his own decision on his own microphone. It's a stupid mistake. But what it proves to us is sometimes when you're watching videos on his channel and he's playing a video, in the background he's doing something else on the computer that could also have sound. 
anything. People have accused him of playing poker, of watching pornography. People have accused him of all sorts. We've seen him watching our own stream before. I assume he's watching this one now. No, okay. he fixes that. Uh, okay. A a See that? He fixed that. The idiot. This is what he's like. So this is how we've got all this information as well. Is Alan has shit his own bed over and over again. He's dropped his wallet in the street and I'm the one that's picking it up and oh what's this picture in the wallet oh fucking hell Alan you know it's that sort of business he does it to himself all the time yeah and okay. that's 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 obvious right it's the noise gate he's done that so that he's hiding things from you and why has he done that I've clipped this from his stream we've just come back from a video he was watching a video about Nicola Bullis. So when the videos are on, he puts on this noise filter so you can't hear what he's doing in the background. Weird. Uh, I'm just going to take a, a little break away from what we're talking about. That's tonight. his internet doing all the jerky-jerky. My internet's lovely and smooth. When you see this jerky-jerky, it's his internet. And uh, what I'd also say is what's beautiful for me is uh, Val called it out, which is a bit annoying, Sorry, Val, it did annoy me a little bit. I will say this. Don't tell him these things because he's naive and ignorant. Like, he didn't know about the Streisand effect. Now he does. So like, we shouldn't show our cards too much. But absolutely, this was brilliant. Alan doing this was Christmas to me. He had to do it. He had no choice. You know, I forced his hand. But it was Christmas to me. My, Nic my Nicola Bully content contained a small bit about Alan being a, a horrible liar and telling these horrible lies and doing this stuff about children. You know, I, I had to include that because it was all kicking off. Sorry, Alan. You know, the 20,000 viewers I got on those, they're going to see that. And on your stream, Alan, you went away from your Nicola Bully content to do this, which was essentially detractor Christmas. So. Because I have an issue that I have to explain to you. And it's one of those I've been wrestling with all day. If I don't address it, they say, oh, you're guilty. Snood, uh, he recorded this ahead of time and narrated over it. Yeah, he did, didn't he? You're right. He recorded these these images and these clips and then he talked over the top of it as well, didn't he? That's one of Alan's things that he does on his streams. He likes to put some... I don't think he puts those clips together himself. I might be wrong. He doesn't seem to do a lot of work himself. But he likes to put a load of clips together. Maybe he does. And then he'll narrate over it. And sometimes he'll talk over his own video and you won't know which Alan is talking and it gets really confusing. So there is that. Someone saying in chat he's a dunce, Sid, Sid Sophos. In America, they don't know what the, the word nonce means. Nonce is not in not on normal courtyard exercise. And it's a word that we use for, uh, in America, you'd call it a chomo. It's a prison slang for uh, someone that's involved in sex crimes. So that's where the word nonce comes from, if anyone doesn't know what that is. Sounds like dunce, but it's a bit different. And it's one of those, I've been wrestling all day. If I don't address it, they say, oh, you're guilty. You know, I want to do take. I want to say big ups Val though, because I watched her video and I think he's actually listened to Val here and he's decided to address it. He had to address it. He had to address it. That's it. I'm making excuses. Yeah. It's like, have you ever been in that situation? I've, Listen, my... this is proof again that he's a liar and a cheat, right? Going straight in with proof he's a liar and a cheat again. What's going on? Do it. My name's Alan. You'll like this. Yeah. Never seen it. Okay, uh, I'm just going to take a, a little break away from what we're talking about tonight because I have an issue that I have to explain to you. And it's one of those I've been wrestling with all day. If I don't address it, they say, oh, you're guilty. Is that out of sync now? What's going on here? My daughter. They say, oh, you're guilty. And if I do address it, I'm making excuses. So if, they, if I don't address it, they say I'm guilty, and if I do address it, I'm making excuses, he says. So that's ridiculous, isn't it? If, you, if you're accusing me of something and I'm, a, I'm innocent, if I address it, I'll prove I'm innocent. And if I don't address it, I don't need to because I'm innocent. Not if I address it, I'm guilty, and if I don't address it, I'm making excuses or the other way around. Like, excuses or guilty were the two options he's come up with. Apparently, that's what we all say. Like, you're either making excuses or you're guilty. Well, you are guilty, and you are making excuses. It's like, you ever been in that situation? I, my name's Alan. I've been a detective. You're not a detective. You've never been a detective. You've never been a detective. What you've been is a failure in all your other business ventures. I don't know what really happened before the restaurant touring and the bar ownership. The, apparently you were a DJ back in the days of Savile. Uh, you're a...
you're a failure in all different ventures. You've been written off from running a business because of the tax problems that you failed to declare the tax. So you're a crook in that aspect. And the restaurant inspector on the telly said that you were stiffing your customers. And then you do all the poker where you take your money and, and essentially it's like having a gambling addiction where you piss away money. And there's other people on the table that win your money and you just turn up and give them your money like some gambling addict. You're a failure at poker and you're now a failure on the internet. You're not a detective. Doesn't matter what crime cases you cover, you're not a detective, okay? Hey, oh, you're guilty. And if I do address it, I'm making excuses. It's like, you ever been in that situation? The reason that Alan thinks he's a detective or wants to appear that, to you to be a detective, it's narcissism. It's classic narcissism. You need to have this self-important, I've got this big role and I'm better than you. Yeah, he did say he was MI5 in the past, yeah, but apparently he then qualified it later on, a few weeks later, by saying he was joking. That's the past. We're talking about the now. My name's Alan. I've been a detective, amateur, on here for five years, right? Amateurs, right. And in those five years, people use... It's fucking amateur hour around here, isn't it? Amateur on here for five years, right? And in those five years, people use my name to get views. And it's, I guess, based on... Jealousy. Well, look at him. How would I be jealous of this man? Look at him. I have not got videos of me singing with kids. This is not about views and jealousy. Yesterday, I got all my views doing a really good episode on the Nicola Bully case. Got all them. If I wanted extra views today, I could follow up on the Nicola Bully stuff. I could go for the views. Like, really, this is about holding a, a lying grifter to account, a man who has hurt people over the years. Everything I discover about him is disgusting in his past. And then bringing it to account, holding him to account, protecting children, and on top, we have a laugh. That's what this is about. How dare he accuse me of wanting to steal views? On the internet, he can have as many views as he wants, and I can get my views separately. Like, it has no bearing. Let's say that I, we both do the same stuff about Nicola Bully. You, you can watch both channels. Like, I don't, I don't have to care what you watch in your free time other than me. It's not like it's a competition. Oh, stop it's them watching the other channels. I couldn't be happier. Swish. Brett and sent tippies. I don't think has a nonce, but he can't deny grifting. Brett, what do you think Super about the black room? Super owes three hugs. Brett what, Brett, what do you think about the black room with the black bed with the black curtain? You know, all that business. What do you think about that? What do you think about the Thailand pictures? What do you think about the, uh, the constant conversations about dead children and children on his channel? What do you think about, you know, there's, there's a lot that goes into the category of circumstantial evidence for that. So I would ask you, you know, you might not think he is, but some people think he is because of all this other stuff as well. So, you know, I've got to be very careful about what I say on the internet. Obviously, I don't think he's a nonce, do I? I haven't said he's a paedophile. But I can see why people would say it because of all the evidence that sort of goes in that box of, you know, uh, Val said he was a predator. He fits the definition of that, doesn't he? Uh, I'm not saying sex predator, but predator, isn't it? Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm to be jealous of Alan because <laughs> he's got 80,000 subscribers, of which none of them turn up to his shows. He can't get 10% of his subscribers to show up. So he's doing really badly on the internet. He was dead in the water before Nicola Bully was. Sorry to use that language. <laughs> dead in the language, you know, he was dead in the water long before Nicola Bully. And it's only Nicola Bully that's managed to resurrect his channel. And that's sad. Uh, Coop sent me 4 in the super chat. Big ups, Coops. Thanks very much for that. Appreciate it. Uh, there's all sorts of weird shit going on with Alan, isn't there? So I'm not, like, there's no way I'm jealous of this nutter, of this knobhead. Why would I want to be in his shoes? It's ridiculous. And to think that I'll get some super view count on YouTube. This is a niche within a niche. Within the true crime community, there is a malignant force. There is a poison, a cancer that needs to be cut out and discarded. It's Alan. Within the true crime community. So that's like a niche within a niche. First of all, you have to be niche to be on YouTube, long form. Then we have to be niche in the true crime community. And then you have to understand about narcissists and all this bollocks. It's niche, Alan. This isn't me getting... <laughs> So his defense is, is narcissism. I think I'm brilliant. <laughs> yes. But they don't want me to have views because they want my views, don't they? What? They don't want me to have views because they want my views. Well, I'm going to be more angry about Mr. Beast then. I'm furious about that Mr. Beast taking all the views. <laughs> People have got more time than just one video in their life, Alan. Like, it's not a competition. We support other channels. I constantly reference and shout out other channels. And let me say something as well, if you cross about this. If you don't like the channels I suggest and reference, that's fine. Because sometimes they turn out to be fucking nutters. We've got a track record of it. I'll support someone and say, oh, this is a new channel. They're looking good. And they turn out to be a fucking nutter. <laughs> so I have to sort of distance myself. But mostly they're good. Mostly they're good. 
if you're not seeing the evidence and the Thailand stuff and all that, you know, I'm, what are you doing here? Go and watch that video first. It's on this channel. Uh, it's called Angry Alan is not a nonce or Alan Vinicum is not a nonce. Mm. So, and I'm going to have to try to explain this as quick as I can. Basically, there's one ringleader called Martin Diem. No, there's not. Martin Diem has no no bearing on my life. From Norway. Now, he, he has been stalking me for five years. He's now got a gang stalking game, gang. Now, he, it's funny. How a gang stalking game, gang. And he finds it funny. He laughs because he's actually he's telling you lies. Gang stalking game gang no he no he goes to smile and laugh and he needs to cover his face I no, just just a little poker face alan is lying here he's not as angry as he wants you to believe he is he's trying to manipulate okay he is angry about the stuff i do but this is the mani manipulation bit so he's trying to manipulate do not ever think that like i sent martin d in emails to say i'm in this alan thing now i've heard of you now because i've seen your videos would you like to talk to me because i'm looking for information on alan that i can use to support my case because i've got this thing that i'm brewing and martin was like yeah let's talk sometime never got in on the phone never managed to get the, the call lined up just didn't happen i don't think he was that interested in doing it so there you go there's your gang stalkers i just simply don't talk to the man <laughs> Like, it's ridiculous to think that because there's some other channels out there on YouTube doing something similar that we're gang stalking him. I do what I want on my content and I'm, you know, this is me on my own. Snood's watching his eyes. Yeah, the thing with Alan you'll notice is everything he says tonight is a lie. So we don't necessarily have to do his body language because we can also do the things he says are provably wrong. Because <laughs> I had a hater called Helen as well. And he's made friends with Helen, and now they live together, and they're in love, which I love. And that. also, Alan will be looking at different screens at the time. He'll be looking at his poker screen, or his pornography screen, or his whatever the other screen is, you know. Here's my gang stalker. Yeah, Mark, Alan's best response would have been, thanks for pointing this out. I've removed these, and I'll address them with Smule. I don't want this to happen to anyone in future. That's why I made the video like I did. I left that door open for him. But he didn't see it that way, did he? He went like as if I touched a nerve. You're right. This is weird. Male and female. Why are you showing Martin? This is Martin and Helen. Who why are you now showing them? Dedicate their lives to trying to destroy my. Like, life. Why are you trying to get into a pro? Like obviously they posted it and it's a, a nice moment for them or whatever. But to use this particular image, Alan's got a bit of a record track record of noticing of this now. He tries to pick a photograph that he thinks will make the other person feel either more intimidated or look bad. He won't do a screenshot of me how I normally look. He'll try and take a screenshot where I'm pulling a face or doing a thing. Uh, it's a bit weird, but yeah, go ahead, Alan. Like, you're trying years. to they make mean... them feel now that you're involved in their private moment. You pick this moment because it's the most intimate private moment of theirs that you found and you want to broadcast it. A gang stalking gang. And they're in love, which is fine. Which is fine. Why can't they concentrate on being in love and forget about me? They can't for five years. They lead a gang stalking gang. And they're in love, which is fine. Which is fine. Why can't they concentrate on being in love and forget about me? They can't. Martin here, amongst other things, has accused me with Dr. B of exporting children to America like pizza orders. Right. So now we get into it. I brought up this stuff about children, child protection. It turns out Alan's got a history of other people bringing up stuff about him with children. I don't know about Dr. B and sending kids from Bosnia to, to America. I don't know about that, but he's just brought that up, so I'm going to have to investigate it in the future. He constantly calls me uh, SO all the time. If he's a woman, you call him a prostitute. If he's a man, you call him an SO. What? Why would I call a woman a prostitute? Way to destroy another person. The biggest way to destroy another person. Well, thankfully, Alan, you've done this all yourself. So I don't have to go around calling anyone any names. In fact, I did the opposite. I tried to make it very clear that I'm not saying you're a paedophile. I did in the video. Everyone knows it because it's still there on the internet. YouTube agreed. And he's been doing it for five years. He also stalked me around London. He stalked me to my poker tournaments. And this is all without receipts here. This is all just Alan saying it here. Remember, he's just got a video of a man and he's saying some stuff about them. He docks my park where I walk my dog. I can't have my dog on the screen anymore. He docks. Alan, that's not your dog. The dog doesn't live with you. So the dog is not there at the house. So it's not on the screen anymore my home i had to move home and yet you had to move so. home alan because you couldn't afford to pay the bills so you haven't got a home that you own anymore and you had to right hand it over so you could get your housing allowance or some bollocks i you know in my imagination and my guess why is that cat out here now again the cat like the things alan said in the past don't tie up with what he's saying now if you're an alan fan you will understand that he didn't have to move home because of some stalking 
what's with you? Mm. Why are you so squally? Okay. And his girlfriend here Helen, you know. thinks it's okay, very much okay. And yet they call me a bad man. Uh, they're the leaders. They're not the leaders of anything. They run their own channels. They're the leaders of a gang stalking gang that been following me since the Rusek days. All right, we're going back to the Rusek thing. So we're going to have to dredge this over again. Why, Alan? I don't talk about that. I'm saying about what you're doing now on the internet these days with children. You know, those videos on Smule. That's what I brought up, isn't it? That children are duet. Sorry, collaborating on your collaboration option on the Smule. And the stuff you're doing. Why has it got to go back to this Rusek bollocks? I mean, obviously that's still current and it's still going on. He is still being sued for defamation by those people. But Alan likes to just dig over this old ground as if it's some defence. It's not. I haven't done Chris Watts for six months. If I sound a bit upset, then I am. Yeah, of course you're upset. Because You've just been called out on the internet. English creator called Super Chuffer. To me, Super Chuffer, set me up. They haven't set me up. I was doing this before I even knew who Martin did. You took my video... You uploaded it to your channel. I turned up at your channel and said, this is mine. Take it down. Don't use my name anymore. He couldn't even apologize properly. He kept the money he'd made from the video. I was on him. He starts using my content. I'm on him. Alan's done this himself. He's brought me into his life through his own behavior. And now I'm exposing him for the things that I've discovered. Attack me. They've fed him information. They've fed me nothing. Based on lies or half lies or distorted stuff. And he swallowed it, and last night he broke the Bollocks. Law. I haven't and broken the law. Me an SO. I haven't called you an SO. He won't say sex offender on his stream because he's scared. And a uh, nonce. He called me that. Oh, I didn't call you a nonce. I didn't call it. Which is, but it's nice that you're saying it on your own channel there, you fucking moron. Against, I've obviously reported. Uh, now, if you were watching Alan's video, this is what's so beautiful about this. And yes, you're right, Val, the Streisand effect. And I hope he doesn't stop doing this. He needed to to address this and I, I hate sort of showing a card here in a way but we like it when he does this because the truth is and he's got to hear it how stupid he is is that he's exposed his own audience to this some people went to his channel and didn't know about people calling him a nonce now they know about people calling him a nonce I'm not calling him a nonce he's called it himself on his own channel so people are then going to want to find out you know why you what smoke fire and thankfully we've got all this evidence so called Super Chuffer to attack me. They fed him information based on lies. This is gaslighting for the small amount of people that will, will watch him and, and listen. It's gaslighting. Or half lies or distorted stuff. And he swallowed it. And last night he broke the law. And he called me an SO and a nonce. He called me that. Implied it and called it. Which is against, I've obviously reported to the police. But I feel I he have to he, he has not reported it to the police. Explain his accusations to you. And if he did, they would ask, answer the phone and say, hello, police. And he'd say, someone on the internet made a video where they said, yeah, 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 yeah. And like, oh, could you report it then? Send it to our thing. They'd send it to the thing. They'll watch the video and say, this guy's off his nut. Fucking ridiculous. My supporters and anyone to understand what it's like to be a YouTuber. And I know that other channels get attacked. And I have to have a thick squin. Thick squin. squin. He has to have a thick squin. We don't all get attacked, Alan. On a regular basis, my channel is not being attacked in any direction. Most people go about their business on YouTube and make friends, have collaborations, uh, you know, supportive networking. Most people have a positive experience. Some people get trolled. Some people have, you know, little bitty, you know, pissy little bitty. But that's also quite believable and... and, and understandable you know it's quite uh what's the word i can accept it and understand it and easily just brush it off most people get a few comments here and there but the truth is alan no one really gets attacked unless they've been doing some weird shit like you so it's bollocks to say everyone gets attacked it's trying to make it seem like it's a normal thing it's not janice king five pound super chat i feel sick but can't stop watching and thinking my grandbabies yeah exactly right now he's turned the th i'll tell you what the sad thing about it is, is we want to have a good laugh at alan and we will continue to laugh at him in the future but for some of these it gets a little bit dark and eggy doesn't it because like you know it used to be he was a bumbling buffoon but that's the perception isn't it on the internet i'm a bumbling buffoon oh everyone loves a bit of bumbling buffoon i'm not harmful i'm harmless i'm a bumbling buffoon and then we laugh and ha ha, ha and then we forget that jimmy savile appeared to be a bit of a you know this and that didn't he and then was something else you know, we, you've got to be careful about perceptions on the internet, don't you? And of course, just Jen, good point. Alan has spent his last eight, ten years attacking other channels on YouTube, and he's about to do it now. ...to do what I do. But he's crossed the line yesterday. Uh, 
We've got this video. What is a nonce, Snow Bunny? A nonce in UK parlance is not on normal courtyard exercise. It means that you're not on normal courtyard exercise. You have to stay with the sex offenders in the prison. And if you go out in the prison, the other prisoners will murder you for being a sex offender. It's like saying you're a child molester or a chomo. It's UK prison slang for not on normal courtyard exercise. So it's a specific term for somebody who has committed sexual offences. <laughs> Uh, but it's also quite an, uh, a common slang term that you might say, oh, you fucking nonce, you know, in the pub at someone like, what are you doing talking to that eight-year-old by the shops? Get away from him, you nonce, you know, that sort of stuff. It doesn't mean that you're going up to somebody and saying, you are a pedo. You know, it's, it's a word that's used. So, uh, nonce, that's the word. Dan from YouTube, he's been banned. On I've not been banned. I've never been banned. The video got taken down because Alan reported it for child uh, protection. Alan reported the video where I try and protect children for child protection. Alan did it, and then I re appealed it, and they want I won the appeal. The video is up, so he's he's wrong in what he's saying here. It's not lying, but it is lying because he knows it's not. He knows it's back up when he's making this. So. The video where he called me these terrible things. So that's him here. He moans about being being a con man and a crook. Yes, he takes tips. Yes, um, I can take tips because I'm not a con man or a crook, Alan. The taking of tips on the internet does not make me a hypocrite in this context. It's very common on the internet for people to have tips, to have subscribers, to have super chats. I've been getting them now in today's episode. Alan is obviously angry about that. It's not evidence that I'm anything bad. It's normal on the internet. This is my job, so to speak. You can't say because you grift, Alan. The difference is, right, I provide value. I, I talk honestly and people know that I'm I'm down to earth, you know, telling the truth. Whereas what Alan does is he'll manipulate, lie, conjure up feelings to try and get vulnerable people to support him. It, it's a grift, there's a difference. You know, I could go in the mobile phone shop and I could say, I'd like the new iPhone, please. And they could say, very well, sir, these are the features. And they could do a really good job of, uh, you know, explaining it to me and, you know, and all this. And would you like the contract? They've done a good job. You know, they get their commission. Or I could go in and I say, I'd like the new iPhone, please. And they could get some dirty old, you know, Nokia out of the bin and write iPhone on it and go, there it is. Oh, it's a brilliant phone, this one. It's got all the options. Look, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a great phone, this one. Get it in your pocket, love. Ah, oh, that's a million pounds. You're doing a grift, down, and there's a difference. So the fact that I take tips is not a negative against my character. In fact, it's it's proof that there's more and more people willing to support me, more people than you, and they're, they're willing to support me financially as well. He I'm grateful. He will quite happily sit there for eight hours doing a video about me. Yeah, because there's so much content to talk about, Alan. You are such an idiot, and I put long, hard hours into work on this. Purely hating me for eight hours. It wasn't and purely hating you. It wasn't. We did lots of other stuff. It's not purely hating you. Don't get so up your ass. When he's doing that, it's most disturbing because it's not normal, is it, to... Yes, it's quite normal on the internet to make long streams about idiots that are doing stupid stuff on the internet. It's quite normal. Drag somebody through the mud for eight hours. When he does this, friends in up to eight hours. Yeah, and... you make long streams about me. We're doing it now, Alan. We're it's doing it now. Again. I couldn't be happier. Swish. Grandmaster did so for Thanks. some tippies. Thanks. Have it. another tip. Because it pisses off Alan Vinicombe. It certainly fucking seems Super to, doesn't it? Super tough at those three hugs. <laughs> like, I don't know why that got brought up so early. For me as well, if I was defending myself against accusations of noncery, or non-accusations of noncery, then I would uh, probably go with the noncery first. But Alan seems for some reason to have been drawn to the financial aspect of what's been going on here as his priority. Um... I'm going to need to close some windows. I've got so many. I've got more windows open than Buckingham Palace, look. Which one am I doing? This one. Now he's decided that I'm a sex offender. Well, no, I didn't decide that, Alan. What I did was I discovered things that look really bad for you. And so I highlighted them on the internet. That's what happened. You did that picture of the, the dark room with all the, you know, we'll get to that, the black room. But, you know, you did that. I didn't do it. You've brought this to light, and now I'm having to talk about it. Before, I was just talking about your stupid songs and your stupid videos, but now I'm talking about this. The trouble is, I know he's on antidepressants, and I know he's not aware... Well um, Karina, how do you find out so much about him? Because he's gone on the internet and talked extensively about stuff for years, so it's all there. 
all the stuff we've got, he's either said himself on his stream or published himself in his community posts or put on his own Smule app. There's a lot more behind the scenes as well that we've got that I can't really talk about too much on the internet. But again, it's just very simple research. Once he's dropped a clanger, you follow a lead. It's, it's, I could call it detective work, but I wouldn't because I'm just a YouTuber. Man, that's fair enough. But look what he's smoking. Mm -hmm. If you mix antidepressants... Bob Marley, man. Well, we know what he's smoking. I'm not gonna, I don't need to tell you. you Bob Marley, know man. He admits to it. I admit you to it, yeah. see what it is, and that's oh, how we can do look eight at hours it. live. Massive honking Kona that it is. Look at that. Crack baby I am. Look at that. Smoked a very thin cigarillo of... Oh. Like, what is going on here? Why am I... Can you understand that I'm the one that has the balance, the mental acuity, and the control? In fact, if I didn't smoke this, what would happen? I, I'd be... I'd be, like, too... too sharp. I'd be too sharp for you, Alan. It's Alan that's the one that goes around like he's stoned, dumbling around, and it's me that's got the mental acuity. It's so I don't give a shit. Again. I couldn't be happier. Just Jen Flush. sent tippies. AD attacks loaves of channels. Mm -hmm. Recently is the ladies' channel that he claims to help. Yeah. Full of BS. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. Thank you, Just Jen. Well pointed out. We did that episode. Uh, so if I go to my channel. And it's I go to Grandmasters did so for sent bod sent tippies. Scott have another tip in your for new the daddy raid. now, Nancy. Thanks, Frigging Scott. Alan, sit hatch. down, have a vodka or spiff. super chuffer owes three hugs. Super chuffer owes three hugs. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I hope you understood that they both came through together, and I'm thanking you both at once. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we did talk about this Alan's trap. Angry Alan's Trap, it's in a stream there, Angry Alan's Trap, he said that he was helping these women. He posted, I think he posted a thing on Facebook that was uh, dodgy information so that if they reported it, he could get them because people came into our stream and said, go and look at this thing on Facebook. And I said, I don't want to. And they said, no, go on, look at this thing on Facebook. And had I done so, I might have fallen into Angry Alan's Trap. Oh no, but thankfully uh, I saw it for what it was and we did a stream on it. So two hours there, breaking down Angry Alan's Trap where he specifically targeted again. women. Derek sent tippies. At Armchair Derich. Detective Blue, do you know the lyrics to the Pokemon anime, which debuted in syndication <laughs> in the United States on September 7, 1998? There's an injunction. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. <laughs> Derek? Oh, Alan is shitting himself now, Panorama, Panorama, Panorama Channel. Yeah, he really is. Because this is the truth. So you can't get away from it. You know, you cannot get away from it. Let's, let's hear him. I, I love this. We've got to get through this. There's 50 minutes of it. And he goes fucking mental. So does anyone have a problem with smoking? Does anyone have a problem with that? Does anyone think it clouds my judgment? People seem to think I'm all right on the Nicola Bully stuff. You know, let's take a maths exam. Let's have me and Alan both do a driving test. And I'll smoke a reefer. And he can just try and drive. Be my daddy. I'm the daddy now. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. I'm the daddy now. <laughs> Anyone who knows what that is, shouts out in chat. If you know what that is, tell me in chat. Yeah, the, do you know what, Silver Moon? I do make skinny ones because I've got to sit on the internet for fucking eight hours or whatever. I don't want to just blow my head off with loads of strong weed at the time, but I do like a little, you know, um, a little something to keep me feeling less stressed while I'm while I'm going. It's just a thing I do. I might have to phase it out or start using a, va a vape because, you know, for my own health. But it, it, it's irrelevant in today's conversation about whether Alan is or is not messing about on Smule, isn't it? This has no bearing on it. This is character assassination, and that's the classic attack from a narcissist. He's going to attempt to slander and, and defame me, or not slander and defame, I'll accept this one, but he's going to attempt to take down my character by showing something that I do myself on my streams all the time without being scared or worried about it. About me. Eight hours lives about me. And it also, bear in mind, he brought up the antidepressants, which I'm now no longer on. Really tapered off. I only take the little bit every now and then because it's part of the tapering process. So that's really unfair because you're trying to turn mental health as a weapon. You're trying to weaponize mental health. And I'm not that fragile, Alan. You know, I've been through these things. I'm out the other side. That's why I'm so strong. And you're never going to say, because I suffered with sadness and depression because I had to watch people I love... Uh, taken from me in what seemed to be unfair circumstance and deal with it head on and then you know struggled 
needed support. I'm, I'm never, I don't, I don't care. That's fine. That's what normal life is like. I needed support. I got that support. I'm so grateful. And now I can offer it to other people. But Alan is going to turn it as a weapon against me. That's disgusting. Me. Eight hours lives. Big ups. Yes, it's from the film Scum. I don't know what I can do about it. I've called the police. I've contacted YouTube. I have a crime number. It's a lie. He has not called the police. He does not have a crime number. The police would not give you a crime number if you phoned them up and said, someone made a video about me. Have you seen it? It's, it he's doing this to try and scare me. To try and It's a bluff. It's poker bluff. Called you, Alan. Put your chips in, if that's the case. Put your chips in. I know where he lives. We know his full name. What? You know where I live? You were telling me that's creepy, isn't it? Why would you know where I live? Alan, you know my full name because it's published on the internet because I used to have a hairdressing business. You know the, the area that I live in. If you think you know my house, Alan, and, I, and you're threatening me on the internet with this, threatening me now with my personal information, creepy as fuck. Let's just call him Larry. No, why Larry don't you call me Scott? Deep, deep. Or, or call me Super Chuffer? Why do you call me Larry? It's fucking weird. I don't understand it. No one understands it. That's Alan for you. It's Doo -doo. raining again. I, I think it's because he's scared of me. We're never going to get through Love this, are we? Love your videos. Thank you for staying true. <laughs> that bedroom makes me think of that movie 8 Millimeters. <laughs> eek eek. But Super Chuffer owes 10 hugs. Oh, it's not raining that one. Again. I it's the other one. And it's the photographs Love one. the channel. Enjoy your smoky. I certainly do, thanks. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. I certainly do. And also, I don't drink like other people, Alan. No offence to everyone out there that does, but, you know, I don't. So, you know, we all have our own little vice and what have you. But look at what he's done in his video. You see the picture he's painting of me? And, like, what? I think you under don't understand the internet, Alan. Like, I'm a grown-up. I'm a grown-up. You're going to be, I smoked some pot on the internet. I'm a grown-up. <laughs> I might wear a wig and whatever, but fucking hell, man. Like, so what? <laughs> I smoked some pot. He must be the devil. You shouldn't believe him. Not just for taking drugs on screen. Shock. But also Busted. I'll show you in a second what he's done to my daughter. Yeah, what well, I've done to you... your daughter. Out of context. We'll get to that. Yeah. We've got children and grandchildren. Talk to his daughter. This what is recorded you... on his phone. He got a notification while he was recording it. Thought, fuck it, I'll leave it. What do you think about this man who smokes these things? And drags me as a father for up to eight hours of time. What would you... Drags me as a father? What? What do you mean? I criticised your, your your parenting. Did I? Think. Oh, no. When your daughter sends you this. My daughter sends sent you. me this. She sent it you. No, she didn't. Right? Alan, you're a liar. Because what she sent you was edited. Uh, YouTube studio. I just need to check if I can show you this because I have personal information. Uh, copyright. Removal requests. Okay. Uh, is there any personal information here? No. Okay. These are my copyright removal requests. I've got a copyright removal request in process on Armchair Detective. He uploaded this video to his channel that he's about to show you. I'm in a process of trying to take it down. Copyright removal. He did it as unlisted and then posted it as a community post. So what he's about to show you is edited by him and put up on his own channel. I don't think his daughter sent it to him. I don't think she edits videos of me and sends them to Alan. I want you to watch it. It's short. Directly? Oh, hello. I know you've had to put up with the bullshit from your... He's talking to my daughter. You see how it's got 6th of June 2023 written above it? You know how Alan uploads videos to his channel, doesn't give them a title, he just gives them the, the date. That's the video that I've got a copyright... Where's it gone? That's the video that I've got a copyright. It's called 20, look, 25th June 2023. Yeah? Do you see that? 25th June 2023. That's the video. It's on his channel, Armchair Detective. He's showing it you now, right? This one says 26th June 2023. They're his videos. Okay? So don't tell me that he's got this video from his daughter and that she's edited that and sent it to him. Like, he's, I think I've caught him in the light. I can't prove prove with that, but I've shown you that, and it doesn't matter if I prove prove or not, because you're not going to take me to court over whether your daughter sent you a video. But what do you believe at home, you know? Do you think Alan, who's constantly editing this bollocks about himself and angry about it at home, is like, oh, shit, I didn't know anything about Super Chuffer. Now my daughter sent me a thing. So bad Super Chuffer's been threatening my daughter. What really happened and you can all go and check the stream for context, and you, most of you were there, was that people were in chat, and someone in chat said, you've got a troll, and this person's being mean to you, and someone said, the troll is his daughter. 
and we have a, a running joke on this stream and you can't defend yourself in court with defamation with a joke joking is still defamation but this isn't defamation what I'm about to say we've got a running joke on the stream where I say Kirsty, can you come and get your dad he's in Dixon's on the karaoke no mom, I'm not coming to get him again just fucking leave him. He's a nutter. Kirsty, he's in Dixon's having a breakdown on the karaoke. He's singing the songs on the karaoke again. Mom, just leave him. I do the Kirsty joke. Yeah, pretend to be his daughter. They brought it up in chat like his daughter was in the chat. Now, I didn't really think his daughter was in the chat. I still don't think his daughter was in the chat. So I made a comedy bit. I over-egged it. I deliberately did it. And it wound him the fuck up. I don't think his daughter is crying because of this. I doubt she even saw it. But if she did, what I also think is it touched a nerve. And she said, ah, Dad, someone's on the internet calling you a pedo. This is what I think she said. I didn't call him a pedo, of course. And he's like, what are her? And she's like, I don't want you near the kids this weekend. I don't want you to come around anymore, Dad. It confirms all the stuff I've been thinking about you over the years. And he's like, you're scared of me. And like, I've scared her about him. Not about me. I don't think she's scared of me. I think she's scared of him. Let's let Alan tell it. Oh, hello. I know you've had to put up with the bullshit from your... He's talking to my daughter. ...father all of your fucking life. I know that it hurts you. I know that you think, like, your children have to see him as a grandfather. And what I'm saying isn't even bad. It's compassionate, reaching out a hand for her. And you'd rather they didn't have all this bollocks in the public sphere. Tell him to stop. Because you know more than edited. I know. Who edited that? His daughter? Dad, I want you to see this thing on YouTube. I'm just going to edit it for you. <laughs> yeah. Tell him to stop. Because you know more than I know about the way he behaves and the things he does. The things that have disgusted you over the years and the things you wish you could unsee. Yeah. You know more than He doesn't know me at all. I, well, I know enough, don't I, Alan? I seem to know enough. I found out all sorts of stuff about you, Alan. The things that I can't broadcast on the internet because of libel and slander laws that I think I know that I've been told behind the scenes by some people that I've been talking. Like, you don't think I'm stupid, Alan. You know, I just sit here and just like <laughs> smoke dope all day. You know, I can make phone calls. <laughs> there's things I've been hearing, Alan. And there's, I'll tell you what, Alan, I've still got as well, a list of people who are trying to get in line to tell me things. It's one of these. I wonder if it's like Jimmy Savile stuff where people start to hear things on the internet and more people come out, you know. Um, I've got two or three that I still haven't managed to make contact with. Martin's one of them, Martin Dean. I wanted to see what, you know, he could tell me and what, you know, he never, maybe it's because he was worried you were going to say gang stalking. Now I understand that context a bit better. Maybe he didn't want to be involved just to let this, you know, be separate so that no one could ever accuse, you know. Um, but there's a lot of different people. One of his ex-mods is here. B brilliant. Good. Uh, as long as no one says anything nutty in chat, like, we're all good. Just pay attention to what I'm saying and take it in. A few months ago, he never heard my name. Yeah, he's advising my daughter that she's seen things from me that she shouldn't have never have. Yeah, so that sounds really bad, doesn't it? Someone that just a few months ago didn't even know who you are and now within a few months has got to this. <laughs> What's going on, Alan? It's not because I'm weird. Like, I don't go around, I've been on the internet for eight years and I haven't had all this with anyone. <laughs> I don't go around picking people and saying weird shit. What it is, Alan, is that you are a special case and there's so much bollocks that you can uncover that we've got to this so quickly. You're a, a horrific narcissist. Not this rage, this is. Not rage. Narc rage. It's not evil. It's not evil. You're you're the bad man, Alan. And I believe behind the scenes, what I've done has made your daughter. If she's seen this, she's probably not happy with you, Alan. I don't think she cares about me. I think it's you that she's not happy with. Because it's all you're doing. This is evil. And she found me in tears. She's a young girl. And I do. Out of all the people in the world, your test. She's in her twenties, apparently. I don't know this. I've never met her. I didn't even know. Like you know. Someone said she had a, he had a daughter, so I said, all right, she's in chat, all right, let's go with it. Like, I don't even know anything about, like, well, you know, some people have shown me some things, actually. Some people have shown me some Facebooks, but, uh, like, to be honest, I don't know enough about his personal and private family because I've not tried to go after his personal and private family. His daughter, to me, is a separate person. I'm after Alan. His son is a separate person. His ex-wives are separate people. I don't want to tarnish them with what he's done, and that's why I said that. Tell him to stop, back away from him. Like, I don't, I'm not weird like that, but Alan has brought my father and my uncle into the conversation in my chat, which is fucking weird. He's done a community post with my father's name and then edited it out later. 
which is fucking weird, right? So that's why he's saying this, is because it's come from him. That's how he behaves, and he's putting it on me. It's reflecting back. It's this like strange narcissist behavior, but it's certainly not how I've behaved. So many would help immensely in shutting this fucker down. Just telling my daughter to shut this effort down. I'm not going to swear. She's addressing, he's addressing my daughter. Yeah. Addressing my daughter. Imagine if I get with his daughter, says Colette. You have to Colette in chat says, imagine, imagine if me and his daughter get married. If she's watching this and she, she thinks, you know, that I'm not a, a chuffer, that I'm actually like, she might be, you know, have confused feelings, but if she's watching this, I'm open to that. I'll go on a date. I'm quite a nice guy. I'll take you to a nice restaurant on the, well, maybe not a restaurant on the seafront in Western, maybe somewhere different. We can go for a little uh, Airbnb. Get in touch. <laughs> Live with it as your burden anymore. He's advising my daughter. I'll be your daddy now. I'll be your daddy now. I'm the daddy now. Yeah, What's a daughter? Right. My daughter. You just heard what he says. Yeah, you're right. He's going to be her daddy. Yeah. He's frightened her to death. I didn't frighten her to death saying that on the internet. That's fucking ridiculous. Isn't it? It is ridiculous. He's putting words, he's, he's secondhand information here, say what he's doing is he's trying to make the women in his spanners group feel. And they don't feel strongly necessarily about him when he's ranting, but they'll feel sad for his daughter. Oh, he's attacking a young lady. He must be a bad man. He's making up a straw man here and it's bollocks. And unless his daughter's going to come on and say on the internet, I'm upset, I don't believe it. <laughs> I phoned the police right away. You didn't phone the police right away. No, you didn't. No. This is Paul Ansel level. Look at him. Look at his face. <laughs> yeah. Look what he said to my daughter. <laughs> it's my, my face. Daughter. My daughter. My gaga. My gaga. <laughs> Look what he said to my daughter. It's raining again. I couldn't be happier. Swish and okay, sent tippies. Where's your tool? Towards a new wig. <laughs> you start X. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. <laughs> Thank you very much. The wig fund. The wig fund cometh. Check me out. This is my face. Yes. My daughter. My daughter. <laughs> I want that on my soundboard. I really need to get a hold of, like, I don't want to get someone to do my sounds for me because I'm, I'm crap at doing it. Uh, we've got all the memes. We've got all the mint memes. Don't think his songs are gone just because his smool has been suspended. I recorded every single one and I will be uploading them all to my YouTube channels. Uh, to, I'll be sending them to Sentries for them to upload. Uh, and he can't copyright them because they're songs. So they uh, the copyright's owned by the people that made the songs. So he can't get them copyright strikes. So it's brilliant. Look at him. Look at your face. Like, who's winning here? I'm having a great time. We're having a good time. Everyone has to call me daddy. <laughs> Uh, he wants me to be called Larry, not Daddy, but everyone has to call me Daddy. And uh, Alan is very angry, isn't he? You know, we call him Angry Alan. Alan is very angry. This went really well on Nicola Bully uh, Inquest Day One. I've labelled this video Alan Goes Mental, Nicola Bully Inquest Day One. <laughs> Honestly, I think you can't go back now. This can't go back. You can't put these worms back in the can. So I think I did this at exactly the right moment. Big ups, Oliver Britt, Sideshow Bob, yeah. Um, I, I think uh, it was really, I, I did contrive this, you know, to, to drop this video at the right moment. I had it, I was working on it, and I thought I could work on it for another two months, get much, much, much more information, or I could just drop it soon. I had to make a decision. So he thinks that I sat on it until the day of Nicola Bully's inquest. No, I worked on it until the day of Nicola Bully's inquest. Then I went with, in the true journalist fashion, I went with whatever we can prove on the day that we have to publish. But there's other stuff behind the scenes that I've got working on that I couldn't put in because I couldn't prove that I was work. I would have hoped another couple of months I would have had a bigger video. Let's just say that, yeah? So I did deliberately drop it on the Nicola Bully thing. So I wanted most eyes on it at any one time. And I like the fact that he's falling apart during his most important broadcast. <laughs> For Alan, the Nicola Bully inquest is his big moment, his big money spinner. He's been building up to it. After the inquest, there will now be, and we're not doing a Nicola Bully episode now, but there will be weeks and months for people to make more videos. People will make more videos. Of course, he'll get a few views from this man in black stuff and the PSYOP stuff, and then it'll die off, won't it? It'll drift off. There won't always be uh, such a strong... He did call me son. You're right, Silver Moon Warrior. There won't be... Uh, I'm the daddy now, though. Uh, he won't. There won't always be such an appetite for it. He knows this is a big moment for him, 
And he knows, as well as I know, we all know that on the big day, Super Chuffer in his head rent free had to stop his episode and do this. <laughs> Everybody that watched him on that day, that anyone knew was going to see this. And now it can't be put back in the can. It's too late. You've had that big spike. Those people have seen this. Most of them would have probably had their feelings and thoughts. Not many of them will be on your side, Alan. Not many. Thanks. Look what he said to my daughter. <laughs> Look what he said to my, my daughter. daughter. My daughter. <laughs> I wish my daughter. My daughter. Twenty years younger and had two legs. <laughs> what? I wish I was twenty years younger and had two legs. You. I wish I was twenty years younger and had two legs. What would you do if you had two legs, Alan? <laughs> I think you have got two legs, to be honest. So I think that's the weirdest excuse. I think you mean your knee. I think you mean your bad knee. I wish I was younger and I had a, didn't have a bad knee. Why? Would you come and beat me up, would you? Is that a threat, Alan? Is that a veiled threat? Is that exactly the sort of thing? He went on and he talked about defamation and threats in his video. I don't know if he talks about it in this one. But that's threats. That's threats, Alan. <laughs> Saying if I was a bit younger and I was a bit stronger, I would dot, dot, dot. That's threats. You're doing malicious communications on the internet, you fucking idiot. <laughs> I think it's funny, so funny, though. What's so funny? You're a fucking clown. <laughs> you frightened her to death, you complete numbskull. You frightened her. That is a, a dramatic overreaction. Both you people narc rage. That him, you people you, you narc rage, okay, in full effect. But also, it's it's a show for these these spanners because he thinks that if I show them I get so upset about my daughter, I'm a good man. It's not that, Alan. It's not that. That's not what's happening here, Alan. You're not proving what a noble man you are. <laughs> you complete numbskull. You frightened her. And you people that abide him, you people that watch him, you people that encourage him. That's you, you now. You know he's been set up by Diem and Helen. That's you and now. Val and Grumpy Granny. They've got... Uh, who the fuck is Grumpy Granny? <laughs> I'd never heard of her until you mentioned her. The <laughs> we all know that I've not been set up by anyone, right? We all know that. And it's got nothing to do with it. It's like a weird conspiracy he's trying to spin now. And the the double bonus was he introduced me to another detractor channel that exists that I didn't know existed before. Talk to him, fed him information, half truths, quarter truths, and he's run with it. No, 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 no. I found this out myself. They didn't know some of this stuff. Some of the stuff I found out, they don't know. Huh? Now he's in trouble with the law. I'm not in trouble with the law. I don't know what his police record is. I have no I'm idea. I don't know what his police record is. I know, and I'll tell you, completely clear and devoid of any wrongdoing, ever. Never been in any criminal prosecution, never been arrested for anything. Once I had a, a, a parking ticket, once I had a, a bump in my car and I had a traffic incident, I lost my license, actually, because I didn't stop. I thought that, well, you know, your bumper's not damaged and there's no damage here and, like, you've driven off over there, so I'll just carry on. I was naive, and then they rang it in and said, oh, he cracked my bumper and I got it done for that. Uh, someone it's crashed into me. Again. I couldn't be happier. Swish. Grandmaster <laughs> Sid Sophos sent tippies. Scott, are you as happy as Larry? Yes. Be honest. I'm the daddy now. I'm Daddy Super Larry. Super owes three hugs. Um, so what Alan's done there is he's cast a, an aspersion on me on the internet, slander and libel, and he's done it in a masked and veiled way. I don't know what his, his crime record is. There, there is none. What about yours, Alan? What about yours? And now he's in trouble with the law. I'm not in trouble with the law. I don't know what his police record is. I have no idea. I don't know what his police record is. Why would you say that? As if to suggest I have a problem. Uh, I've got some super chats come in. Kelly says, Daddy Puffer. I'm hysterical. You're so funny. Thank you. And Georgina's dropped me the five, five euros, five pound super chat. Thank you. I appreciate them both. If I miss any, let me know in chat. And I'll also keep dropping the coffee link as well. because uh, Super chats are great, of course. I really appreciate them. I mean, they're easy to do on YouTube. And the coffee link uh, gets you read out on the thing. And I get slightly more of a cut from the coffee. Uh, but, you know, it's all good in the hood. Uh, we've done big, big videos this week on the main channel. So this is my fun time on the B-side to rip this guy a new arsehole and to prove that he's a liar. That's what's happening today. I'm proving he's a liar. And I'm discovering he's a lot worse as well. He's been set up by Diem and Helen and Val and Grumpy Granny. And Val. To him, fed him information, 
half truths. I've never spoken to Val. I've left him a few comments in their videos, some of these people. Never spoken to her. I want to. I want them on the stream. I wanted to try and talk to them for, as part of my investigation into the video that I made, but I couldn't get hold of everyone all the time. I was busy. It was a few weeks. You know, between finding it out and between dropping the video, it was a few weeks. So, you know, it just happened to be what it happened to be. But uh, I'm open to being collaborative with these people in the future because they're good people. They're good people. Truth, and he's run with it. And now he's in trouble with the law. In fact, I could show you my emails. I don't really want to, but if we really needed to, I could show you my emails and I could prove categorically by opening my email account and showing it you that the emails I have had with people like Martin Dean are me trying to get in contact and not being able to. Saying, oh, I was thinking of working on a thing. Can I get on a voice call with you? I think it's sensitive. I want to talk on a voice call and not being able to. I don't know what his police record is. I have no idea. And he's decided to run with this information. That what kind of nasty person says, I don't know what his police record is. I've got no idea. I don't know what his police record is. I have no idea. What kind of nasty person says that? BCTV, thank you very much for the 4 99 and he's decided to run with this information that's years old, three years ago from... D yeah, it's three years old, but it's new to me. No one else had picked it out. Isn't it lucky that Super Chuffer came along? Because you had Martin D and you had Genetic Code, you had uh, Truth Finder, Truth Justice, you had um, uh, Val, you had all these people. They hadn't spotted this. No offence to them, obviously, but isn't it lucky that Super Chuffer came along it's and brought this to light? Because it might have gone forever. Get up straight boy <laughs> name and number 4737 Carlin, 3647 Carlin, sir. Super Chuffer owes 10 hugs. 3647 Carlin, sir. 3647 Carlin, sir. <laughs> if you know, you know. Given him. I had a profile that I use for... Oh, sorry if I'm upset. I am upset. You are upset, yeah. Should be. Screen. Not as upset as those kids and their parents. Here, I have a profile that I use for a thing called Smule. Smule. Well, you have a profile. It's called John Bray 6. Who is that? Why are these great big chuffers that appear to be on a tropical holiday in the photo? Curious Cat sent tippies. Thank you, Curious Cat. I'll be your Nancy if you'll be my daddy Larry Big Up the MIMPs. Super Chuffer owes 20 hugs. <laughs> you get all, you're all my Nancys now. <laughs> Alan, I'm going to steal your Nancy. Alan, oh man, I wish Nancy was real. Nancy, what is it I can do for you? Nancy, if you're watching, right, what can I do for you? What is it in your life that is being un unfulfilled that Alan fills? I will fill it. Look into yourself. Discover the void. Bring it to me and I will fill. <laughs> okay, Nancy? I will be your daddy now, Nancy. I'll be your daddy now. You is a carry... Full metal jacket there. Full metal jacket. Sir... <laughs> Private decide, the private believes any answer he gives will be wrong, sir. And so he wishes to... <laughs> Full Metal Jacket's my favourite. You do love the Virgin Mary, don't you, private? Don't get me doing this. Don't get me doing this. Let's call it, carry on this. Worldwide. Some of you might have smule. Now, basically, if you sing in the bath... I live alone. If you sing in the bath... No one's brought up the bath. Right? No one's brought up the bath. Why well, bath's being thrown around now? Smule. Now, basically, if you sing in the bath, I live... You see, now he's brought up singing in the bath. None of the videos involve him in the bath. One of them, he takes his clothes off and he gets into the shower or something. But that's, that's a special one. Honestly, honestly, it's, we've seen it, it's on, I've recorded it, I've got it. But he, see how he does this? He's thrown up the bath. Now he's doing this in the bath, okay. Alone. And I'm not a good singer, I'm a terrible singer. You I know should that. say that again. Nana tells me all the time, I can't sing. And I, I appreciate Nosy and Nana for saying that, because it's true, I can't sing. Doesn't mean I can't play with it and sing, does it? it I... What? It doesn't mean I can't play with it and sing. In the bath, Alan's having a play with it and a sing. What are you saying? Because it's true, I can't sing. Doesn't mean I can't play with it and sing. Doesn't mean I can't play with it. Just take these sound clips. I'm not, you know, what are you saying, Alan? Because before, I thought you were making weird videos. I thought you had the phone in your lap. I questioned why you looked so weird hunched over the phone and why you weren't putting in a performance. You know, I questioned all that about it. But now you're in the bath having a play with it. He knows you now saying that because it's true. I can't sing. He said it. Doesn't mean I can't play with it and sing, does it? it? I live on my own. 
Is it so bad to sing karaoke songs on my own? No, that's not what we're accusing you of. It's raining again. Okay, sent tippies. Anything. Swoosh. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. I say we're accusing you of that. I'm not. And thank you very much for the, for the tippies. Um, I'm not actually accusing him of anything, really, am I? So I'm not accusing him of that. That's not what I'm accusing him of. But let's be fair, right? I've never said that singing karaoke songs is bad. I've had a laugh and a piss take about his karaoke, but this is straw manning. It's creating a, fa a fantasy about what Super Chuff is saying. Big ups TB2 in chat. Big ups Val. I really want to get you on the stream sometime. I'm glad you're here. I want to just, like, even if it's not on the stream, I just want to have a chat with you. <laughs> That's got to happen in the near future now that all this Nicola Bully stuff has calmed down. You know, we've really got to have a chat sometime, haven't we? Because I've got things that I'd like to ask and I've got things that I'd like to show. Um, we've got to have a chat sometime, Val. And I was going to show your videos today if uh, I got time at the end of the stream, so I think you've done a really good couple of videos recently <laughs> about this. Um, I hope you're enjoying what's happening tonight. John Bray is me. I've had to cancel this today and destroy all my songs because of... No, no, you, you didn't cancel it and destroy your songs. You were suspended. You get suspended from things like this because of terms of service violations. If you brought to their attention these videos and they've decided to suspend you, that looks worse for you than if you deleted your profile and removed the videos. Okay? It says you've been suspended. We looked at it today. So don't, don't talk shit. This guy. I bet to eliminate all my songs. Oh, Alan's the victim. He had to lose his songs. Alan's the victim. He had to lose his songs. Thank God he didn't have to lose his virginity in a tied bar. Like one of my friends, I might say. If I was... I'm just talking, you know, I'm, that, that's not an aspersion on paedophilia. That's just a random, you know... Thank God he didn't have to have this other horrible thing happen to him. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, that one came close. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that Alan lost his virginity in a tie bar. Okay, I'm not saying that. So don't pretend I said that. I didn't. I just said of another, like, it's sad for Alan that he's had to lose his songs. There's worse things that go on in the world than losing your songs. Alan is not a victim in this. Alan had every opportunity to record all his songs and keep them if he wanted them. It's been out for three years. So Alan's not a victim because he's had to close down his Smule account. You know, his Chicken Nuggets, sorry, Smule account. My Facebook was closed down and I'm pronounced dead on Facebook. <laughs> these twits. Yeah. This Diem and his gang. That the wasn't me. Stalkers. They did that. It's They're the funny. ones that convinced this man, this boy in America, to try to sue me when I've got right. my money. That's got nothing to do with this. They're a gang. They're gang stalkers. It doesn't matter, right? It wouldn't matter if we were the fucking teapots. Sorry, the tea birds from Greece. The teapots. They weren't the teapots, were they, in Greece? You remember in Greece, he had his jacket. Danny, Danny Zuko had a jacket. They were the tea birds, weren't they? They weren't the teapots. <laughs> I'm not in the... If you, even if we were, if you were a pink lady, were you a pink lady or a tea bird? Were you a pink lady or a tea bird? We go together like... wham a bam a bam a bam a boom a loom a dum <laughs> We go together like... Woomp 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 <laughs> We go together like... Work meeting and... Get your head in the river. Um, if you were... Sorry, sorry about that last one. Um, if you were the teapots, right... The gang name. What's the gang name? We're the Mimp Squad. I'm the Mimp Squad. I've got my own gang. I'm the fucking daddy. So I'm not turning up to Martin's gang or to Val's gang or anyone else's gang. I've started my own gang. <laughs> Gary Glitter, do you want to be in my gang? My gang, my gang. Sounds appropriate today. So <laughs> we have a community on YouTube. It doesn't matter if you all are in it which you, you can be, right? It doesn't matter. It still makes what we've said... It, it, it's irrelevant to what we've said. It doesn't matter if... what it, all it, It's worse if there's more of them. It's worse if there's a group of people that all think it. Isn't it? Because it's like... <laughs> you know... You see these videos of people getting dragged out in the streets in, you know, third world countries and beaten to... Well, you might not see them, but I look at all sorts of stuff on the internet. You see these people getting, like, you know, crowd justice, mob rule. Oh, it's just a gang. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I just under I don't understand why the, the idea that there's a group of people that all feel the same way about you after years and years of your malignancy on the internet. I don't see why that's a defence. <laughs> In fact, it's quite the opposite. It's it's a critique of yourself and your own behaviour. 
that the evidence is out there and people are all talking about it. <laughs> And they're all over the world as well. Like they're different countries from different social class and groups and strata. I'm not saying social class, you know what I mean? But you know, different people is what I'm saying. And they've all come to the same conclusion independently. And now with a gang squad, the bad gang squad. I, I wonder if he's doing this because he knows that YouTube has got a terms of service against gangsters. You know, you can't come on and do gang signs like you're from the West Side. You know, you can't do gang affiliations. I think he might have been confused about terms of service. I don't know why he feels this is so important to, to group us together as a gang. But uh, it just... <laughs> the armchair detractors, that's right. You know, the armchair detractors. I like the word detractor. The detractors! <laughs> I've got to have this now. This goes off in my mind every time recently. I've got different Phil songs that I listen to, and this goes off in my time. So Ludwig 10-bit... Shorty. So more people need to make songs about Alan. But this is one of my favourite... It's only short, right? So we'll listen to it. It's one of my favourite detractor songs. And it goes off in my head now. Like, Shorty rock to the beat for your boy. Dumba. I'm your daddy. Dumba. Shorty rock, rock to, to the, the beat for, for your boy. boy. I'm your daddy now. Here we go. Look at the editing. I want money. Lovely. I want tips. Pay my taxes. Eat a dick. <laughs> My tax attorney <laughs> screwed me over. YouTube views. Fucking pointless. What can I do? Ooh. I'm screwed. Ooh. This is this bit now where he says detractors. In a minute. My tax on Twitch. Violated the rules. Get that ass man. What a bitch. Dumba. It's not my fault. This bit. Dumba. It's not my fault. It was YouTube. It was taxes. It was detractors. It was cinema. It was YouTube. It was <laughs> detractors. It was machinima. <laughs> Big up Snow Bunny. He does this for pity to get super chat. He's got the thing is right. Alan, uh, play this one more time and have my phone, and then we'll go back to that. <laughs> Gumba. Gumba. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. It was YouTube. It was taxes. It, it was detractors. <laughs> Cinema. It was copyright strikes. Not my fault. <laughs> Not my fault. Because <laughs> Phil's a narcissist as well, so like he comes into it. Um, <laughs> you're right. He does it for pity and stuff. But like, what happened here is that Alan had to fall back. All right. I pushed him into a corner. I created something that he couldn't avoid. Val said it on her channel. He has to deal with this. He did have to deal with this. I'm not a troll. I'm not some person in chat he can block. He had to deal with this, right? And he had to deal with it on the day he didn't want to have to deal with it. So obviously Alan has not been able to sit down and I've made, I've made, I've pushed him into the corner so he can't sit down and have a good think and do different stuff. Big ups collect, see you in a bit. Um, you can't, you know, he had to deal with this, right? And not only did he have to deal with this, he couldn't have a good think. So what he's going to do is he's going to fall back it's on being again. I himself. Be Grandmaster Sid Sophos sent tippies. Hope this clears things up for Jean Tick Codes bit. She is legend and buries all of them TB Honest Scott. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. Thanks very much. She did, uh, she did, uh, get the wrong, she did go, <laughs> uh, I don't really want to talk about genetic code. She went a bit fucking mental and said things that weren't correct. <laughs> so, like, you know, a bit weird. She seemed to think that the piece I said about his daughter was like fucking disgusting. She's on Alan's side. She listened to Alan's point of view. So I don't really trust her judgment anymore, thanks, Sid. But, um, you know, I appreciate we've got different opinions on that. And my opinion's based on the fact that she recently said something negative about me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. And I think she went with the Photoshop angle as well, which I've proved categorically to be a lie. So, <laughs> um, it was YouTube. It was detractors. It was... It's not my fault. So Alan's had to fall back on his... I'm not going to explain all of the different things that I know he was going to do, but Alan had to fall back on his... Uh, on his ingrained behaviour. So, yeah, I think he does some of this for pity, but I also think he does some of this because the narcissist has to appear to be the victim in order to reflect and focus back the, the things that are coming at him. It's like his toolbox. You know, it's like his... his uh, 
stand is modus operandi. So uh, when you understand it, uh, like Alan, Alan it's, it's essentially what we're doing is we're playing poker, but I can see Alan's cards all the time, and I can actually deal him the cards I want him to have, and then I can like just. It's like I'm the dealer and I'm playing poker with him and I'm allowed to look at everyone's cards. Like, he's got nothing. He's fucked in these cases. So, uh, this is what's happening, yeah. They've set this man up. They've set Larry, me up. To do this. They've to do this. That No one set me up to do anything. It's fucking ridiculous. Everyone knows that because they've been on my channel for ages and they've literally watched the progression of what's happened with me and Alan. And I've got the, the, the back... We'll see it. You know, I showed you at the start of today's episode that stream from Twitch where I discovered live his stuff. So you can't ever say that someone sent it me. I discovered it live on a stream. We were looking at his other duets. Someone just, in fact, I'll do it now. Let's do this bit now, right? Uh, now's the best time for it. It was detractor. It was detractors. <laughs> uh, so this is that awful stream. Look, that's, this is him and a kid. Oh my fucking God. What's going on? I thought when I first saw this, how do we get to that? We were doing Go a stream. On. There's still the little helicopter flying around, but the statue's gone because you get really confused. To me doing a stream, I'm, I'm having a look at like David Copperfield and Magic. I'm playing Genshin Impact. This is one of my streams. It had to be taken down. Everyone hates him. Except they had done a duet. That not, not taken down, but I took it down to protect the children. But I've still got it. I could put it live on Twitch tomorrow. All I have to do is press publish and it will say all the chat. It will have all the details. It will have the picture of the kids in it. So I don't know happy about that, me. But, you know, it's there. And I've also got this downloaded version. So I can show it you here without endangering the kids. I'm with him. This is what happened live. This is how... He thinks Martin fed so me this information. Right Watch. Those blue things? And there's people in chat now that were there on this stream. Two duets. I see. This can't be faked. Look, it's, it's my stream. I can't edit this. I'm tired. I'm no stranger to the dog. The internet can be a terrible place. I'm no stranger to the dog. The internet can be a terrible place. You lose your privacy. You don't have a minute for yourself. I love to be a dream and all for my skirts Run away, this is no one who loves you as you are My heart's a big presumption to dust And now the girls are placed for us Oh shit! There's me checking the account of the kid and I'm like, why is this kid on this thing? Protection I'm talking about child protection immediately I'm joking about it, I'm laughing, but I'm like, why? You, know, I'm, you can see I'm a bit... Is we all a secret paedophile network or something? Like, that's my first question. Is we all a secret paedophile network or like something? No this little girl if she's not, you know... Being... And then we go on to find out by doing some research... Oh, what? don't show the kids. Um, on this same, you know, stream, we go on and do other stuff and I change from it. And then we go on and do research and we make the video I made. You know, that's how we got to where we are today. Is that I had to... Uh, discover it live on a stream and I've got the evidence that I did and then we came with all the information and all the stuff and you know I did the research I discovered in the media that there are doctors and experts that have already called out apps like Samuel for being paedophile networks so then I made the video because I thought this is pretty important stuff sorry Alan not fed to me that Larry up he doesn't even know it I guess he's too high Guess I'm too high. So I wasn't too high to spot you, though, was I, Alan? You're the one that put this up on the internet. It's on your Smule account still. Like, your account is suspended, so you can't control it. But I can copy this link into chat here, put it in chat. You can go and follow it now if you're on Alan's side. And you can go there and look at it. So, I'm not that high, am I? Alan, you must be high if you left that on the internet for me to find. Songs like 16 Tons, John Gray. These songs now, uh, you you'll find those on Sentries. You might want to watch them. This is funny. He's going to love this. This is, this is a, a joy for me. If you go send trees, Alan had all of his songs removed and he's lost them all. But thankfully, Angry Alan Vinicom sings. It's there now. Send trees, look. 16 tons.
Oh, good. Someone recorded all of them, Alan. So someone's going to be uploading all of them, Alan. And I'm not going to do the kids' ones. They're going to stay separate. I'm not going to upload them. You know, I've already done the kids' thing. But uh, Alan's songs that he's sung on this app are all recorded by me. And he can't copyright it. Because if he says to YouTube, oh, I want to copyright strike this video, that's my song. They'll say, no, it's not. It's the four tops. <laughs> Fuck off, you idiot. <laughs> so that's a joy, isn't it? That's a real joy. This is not, the wig's falling. This is not a joy, this stuff. This stuff's not a joy. And that's all I've done on this edit, Photoshop, is the same thing. I've opened up the thing on the the screen and I blurred out the kid that's live off the internet and I've blurred out the kid and I've blacked out the name I use this as evidence to prove my point Alan thinks this is photoshopped and if it is photoshopped how did he get a picture of the child how did he get a picture of the child with a clear face because apparently I photoshopped it how did he upload this picture to his own account on the armchair detective with a child without the blurred face because I never uploaded a child without a blurred face so somewhere he's got that and photoshopped it then again and put Smule, and then, but he's also got the small app sing and all these buttons and it's halfway through playing. So quite a good Photoshop job from you there, Alan, or it's not a Photoshop job. It's just straight from the app, which it is straight from the app and you didn't blur the kid. I had to blew out the kid there. So fucked up you are, Alan. Look at this. These are the views I've had. 70 views, 10 Yeah, views. no one, no one watches your <laughs> shit on Smule. people that watch me. Now, so that's worse for you, Alan, as well, because it's like something that's going on secretively behind this closed doors. No one's watching. You think no one's watching? Like, it's not that you're doing this for attention and for lots of views. You're doing it weirdly as your private life. This is your private life now, Alan, is it then? Is that what you're saying? From the world who, who, who clocks in 16 tons will see my face on the screen and go, oh, let's listen to John. They won't see your face in this because you didn't record your face in it, Alan. There are ways of, of choosing to do different things on this app. For that one with the, the kids, you chose to record your face in that weird way. For these, you did choose to not record your face. Ray sing 16 tons. Or they might want to do listen to the original artist. I don't care. I don't get many views. I do it for fun. Look. Yeah, you do 19, it for your own personal enjoyment. I understand that. 26. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> I only do it for fun. Well, I did too, up until... That's not a defence against what you've been doing. Larry ruining my life with it last night and calling me a nonce and a P and a sex offender. I said categorically you're not a paedophile. I have no evidence that you're a paedophile. I said that people need to be protected on these apps and people like you need to be protected on these apps because otherwise you can look like a paedophile. I'm surprised that for three years you left this stuff up there. That's what I was saying. I'm not saying you're a paedophile. If people want to make their own judgments about the way you behave, that's on them. I cannot affect that. I have to be very careful on the internet because of slander and libel, and so I have been. So, I have to, I have to address it. They're asking me to address the accusations. Helen, I wondered how it works. When solo logo in the right and green, okay, yeah, I'll explain that. It's very clear that when you make... When you make a solo video... It's white, yeah. And then you put it up here as a collaboration because you've got VIP status like Alan. VIP, John, and so John Bray has got VIP. So now your solo can be collaborated on. And what happens is children will navigate towards certain videos to collaborate on them. They will. I found it out. We put it in the video. That's why I put that in the video. In the uh, Alan is not a nonce video. Um, songs like this one, seven years old. Also, they like, uh, like I don't know, Crazy Frog or something like that. Certain videos, children will now come and collaborate on your video. And the video there, you can see, look, is with a child. It's Smule has put them together. It might be Smule putting them together. It might be Alan putting them together. It might be the person that's done the song from the child's end putting them together. It's not me putting them together. It's, it's not a live recording. Yes, hello, are you on the phone to me? Let's sing a song together. It's not that. I never said it was that. In my video, I said very categorically. In my video, I said very categorically. Let's watch again. I said it very categorically. To the best of my knowledge. To the best of my To the best of my knowledge, Alan Vinicum is not a paedophile. Not just that I said he's not a paedophile, but I said he's not putting these, these live things together. Look. Dead. Musically, 
to a coffee place. It's a place for them to contact and make the first contact. These apps, these these things, favorite songs. What their objective is, but I know these I'm sure that if it was my account. I'd have deleted or blocked access to children for fear this could make me look in some way like I was auditioning children. To be clear, listen, the user does not solicit the duet. Anyone can choose to duet with you. These apps allow children to duet with adults. Maybe they should have a system to separate the minors from the adults. Now I've said duet because I thought two people singing together is what we call a duet because we're normal people. On Smule, the very specific language, and I should probably correct this, I didn't know at the time that Smule had a, a separate word for collaboration and duet, when both appear to be duets to me because they're two people singing. The dictionary definition, they're singing together. But yeah, it's white look, because Alan recorded his, then this kid recorded his, and they put them together. I don't know if Alan gets a notification pop-up, someone's done a collaboration with you. It's here available as a collaboration. If you want to make a collaboration with Alan, you go ahead on Smule, you go ahead. He's put it up there so you can collaborate with him. Yeah? And these people have chosen to do that. That's what's happened. So you can't say that Alan's a paedophile who solicited this from children, but he put himself in a position where children would do this on his song. And he didn't delete this off and say, no, thank you, I don't want children on this. Some people use a song that's like uh, the Gummy Bear song. Apparently this seven years old song seems to also attract children. It might have been an innocent mistake. He doesn't do a very good job in his original of looking like a normal person who's doing a song. In fact, it look, we've got to remember, right, that this guy's sat there with his phone. He told us, he told us in this rant, which we're going to get to in a minute, it's three in the morning. What's he doing at three in the morning, sat over his phone like this? The phone's down there. He's got like, you know, if I was going to sing a song for somebody on the phone, I'd do a good picture of me. He's doing this weird, creepy picture. Why doesn't he care what he looks like? What's he been watching before he make, recorded this song? What's he watch after he records this song? I don't know. I can't say he's a nonce. I can say that this looks really bad for him. And that's why it looks bad. I've explained just then why it looks bad. So you have to be able to use your own brain, make your own mind up. Did he wave? Did you say he waved? Once I was seven. I don't know. He's got that creepy smile. I don't like it at all. I don't like watching it. But, you know, Smule is opening the door here. Alan is part of that process with the open door. I never said that Alan made these videos live with children. I never said that. So for him to use it as a defense that he didn't do that is ridiculous because I never said it. That's not what I'm saying. So Alan set up this fake straw man. Why would he do that? Because it, it's hard for him to argue against the facts, the truth and what I've, what I've put out there. Instead, he has to make up a fake problem that no one said was a problem and then say that that's what he's fighting. And all of a sudden, like you understand what a straw man argument is, don't you? You understand what a straw man is. And that points at him being a liar and a fraud. Because why would he be straw manning me if he didn't have to do that, if he could just be honest? Instead, he's straw manning me. So that's bad for Alan. This is really bad. This is my right to reply. So I'm addressing the accusations they've thrown at me. Gang stalkers. Martin Diem, Helen, Val, Grumpy Granny work together as a team to try to destroy my life for five long years. Every day in their life is dedicated, they'll be watching now, every day in their life is dedicated to destroying my life and my family. My life and my family. You just saw what he'd done to my daughter. What? And I am pressing you charges. You went on about Martin and all these other... I am pressing charges. You're not pressing charges. I don't care if you say you are, you're not. So... I have to answer their question. They want me to address me being an SA, right? I no, I didn't say I wanted to address you being a sex offender, right? What I said I wanted you to address is that you've got this thing with the black bed. We're going to get to that, obviously. You know, we're going to get to the black bed and the, the strange room and you got the Thai holidays, you know, then you play it together with the pictures and the kids on the app. Like, it becomes a lot more, doesn't it? It's not just, oh, I called you a pervo, so you might as well address it. It's, it's like, there's, there's pieces of, um, there's pieces of uh, jigsaw puzzle, and it's a series of questions. I recorded on Smule 143 songs. I have seven followers, <laughs> which is not great. It's weird. It's not that it's not great, it's weird. It feels like you've got a private little group. 
Only a few people are involved in your little network. Whereas on the rest of small, people have got lots of followers. Lots of different people in their network. You've got a very small pe group of people in your network. I haven't invited one person to sing with me, right? Which is weird. Channel. I mean, not, not, not entirely weird. Maybe you don't like inviting people to sing with you. But the fact that you didn't invite them is stated in my video. So it's weird that you would bring it up as a defence. Playlist about invites. My invites, none. I haven't asked one person in four years to sing a song with me. Now, I have to explain, Smule, you can sing solo in a duet or a group. I always sing solo. I'm not good enough to sing with other people, so I just sing solo, right? So? And I don't even know who watches my stuff. I don't even know. Right, well, we know that those kids are watching it, don't we? Because they made those collaboration videos, so we know that. Yeah. Once it's made, the world can see it. I don't know how to set it to private, so I'm going to destroy it today. You didn't destroy it today. I made Smule aware of what's going on, and they suspended you. <laughs> Here's the proof. 143 songs. I haven't invited one person to sing with me. That's not proof not of anything. A, a granny, a mum, a dad, a child. No one has sung with me. Not one. Not live, no. But they've made collaborations with you after the event. And I've written and got an answer back from Smuller Day. And they will go to court and tell them that I've never sung with anyone. They'll go to court. Smule are prepared... Alan wrote to Smule, right, big company that run a karaoke app. Alan wrote to them today, an email. They received it, and it probably said something like, oh, I'm Alan, and I'm a big detective, and I've got these problems. Will you come to court with me to prove that I haven't ever sung with anyone? And they've written back immediately, oh, dear Alan, yes. Smule are completely prepared to come to court with you. What court, when? Tell me where and when, and I'll, I'll be there. Like, it's the most ridiculous lie I've ever heard in my life. Alan has not got a reply from Smule to, uh, to ascend to a court appearance do you think in any world anyone can write to any app and, and request someone will turn up in court to defend them and they'll just immediately write back on the same day with, the, with yes absolutely we've got our media lawyers on that right now alan thank you for drawing it to our attention i'm, I'm looking forward to joining you in court <laughs> the man just can't help but like spew pointless garbage so you are going to be arrested. I'm going to be you're arrested. Going to, have to prove that I sung with a child. Right here we go. Then uh, this is it on their app. I'll just click this button, and there you are. There you go. I'll have to prove it. Will I? Okay. Well, how about this video of you doing it? <laughs> I think they'll. I think they'll accept that as evidence. What about the one where it's not edited at all? That was live on the internet where we discovered it. Oh, they'll accept that as well as okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm good for that then. Good. I'm looking forward to that. Because that's the accusation you made. And I've seen the comments under your video where you've called me this. I've seen people calling me a P because of what you've done last night. I can't um, control the comments. Sorry, Alan. If people put stuff in here, I am actually obliged if someone said something, you know, really bad. Uh, it's my broadcast and I, you know, can can have to deal with that. My, my of course... Opinions in, in chat above my head here are from chat and not my own. So there we go. Dealt with that. Dealt with that. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> if I had a guest on, my guest started saying like, you know, Prince Andrew's a nonce and Prince Andrew's done this and Prince Andrew wanted to sue someone. He could sue me because I broadcast the guest. Alan's done shit like that with his, with his choice of guests in the past. But I mean, that's the truth of it. It's my broadcast, my choice. So uh, yes, there's freedom of speech, Silver Moon Warrior. But if someone came on here and defamed someone, I would be liable for it doesn't matter who said it, it's my broadcast. Okay, not so much with the chat and not so much with the fucking comments because they're your opinions in chat and comments published by YouTube in a chat thing. Now, I'm publishing the broadcast. YouTube is publishing the chat as a separate thing. So uh, I think we're okay with that. If you really wanted to get pedantic in court and argue it and you wanted to go to court over someone in a chat box on a video said something and I believe that Scott is liable, let's go to court. Let's go to court. <laughs> Obviously, here's my songs. People, These are not. Anybody, here he says, lying again. Here's my songs. These are not his songs. This is Golden Hour by Duke. Long Black Train by Josh Turner. Lovely by Billie Eilish and Khalid. These are not Alan's songs. Alan has not sung any of these songs. I've recorded all the songs he's sung. None of these. These are not his songs. He can pick up a song and sing with it, right? 
So supposing I wanted to sing with Cupid, I could join that song. Exactly, just like the kids did with you. It's already recorded it, right? It's already been recorded. I yes. could join in and sing. This is what I said. With them after the event, right? Yes. Not speaking to a child. I don't speak to children. Well, I don't know what you do in, in your own free time, Alan. Once they've joined your, your thing and done a collaboration with you, out of the three people that have done it and the seven friends you have on this app, I don't know what you do. You're telling me now that you don't speak to children. But a lot of the other things you've said in your episode today have been a lie. And a lot of the other things you're going to say are going to be a lie. And I'm going to continue to prove them a lie. So this one's going to hang there between the lies as the big truth. I haven't spoke to one person on this site. And I've proved it there. I've not invited anyone to sing with me. That doesn't prove you've not spoken to people. Get it? No, of course. These Why would you bring this up as your defence? Because it doesn't defend you. It's misguided. It's confused. Gang oh, thanks, Val, for sending me an email. Like, what I want to do, like, obviously things are busy all the time, aren't they? But what I want to do is I just want to get you on the stream. We've got a system where I can just send you a link in an email. You follow it. You can do it on your phone or your computer. It's like a voice call, you know, a video call. And I can bring it up on my thing. You're a guest. You know, I can use it in my software. It's free. So I, I send you a link, essentially. You can choose to have your video on or not if you want. Um, we just get that set up and then you can jump in. So we could either do it on, like, I'm not going to do it now because we're doing this, but like on another stream you can either just jump in if you're in chat or um, we could set one up. I'd like to set one up where we have a thumbnail, Scott meets Val, we have a big, chit we'll do a pre-interview at first so we know where the lines are drawn and what we're going to talk about. And then uh, we'll do a, you know, a stream, Scott and Val, you know, just tell me all about it from, because there's loads of stuff I don't know in the past, isn't there? So um, tell me all about it. Tell me a bit about Val, as much or as little as you want. And we'll have a chit chat, yeah, it'll be nice. Talk to him, back him up. Oh, yeah, doing so well. He's such a terrible man. He's a set so, yeah, 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 he's terrible. He is terrible, Mike. They even pretended. Alan, you are terrible. You're a terrible broadcaster. You're a terrible poker player. You were a terrible restaurateur. You, I'm, he doesn't like this when I say this, but several failed marriages. And if I was his son and he did that shit in the restaurant and ruined my restaurant career. You know, if I was his daughter and I was seeing this on the internet, I don't know where he rates in the father stakes. I was running uh, some sort of agency for prostitutes. What? Hang on. Why are you saying you were running an agency for prostitutes? Terrible man. He's a set so Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's terrible. They even pretended I was running uh, some sort of agency for prostitutes. I love it. Streisand effect, isn't it, Val? Why is he doing this? He's making it worse. And it's because of what Val said in her video. That's why. Bang on. Uh, it's true. We've got the screen grabs. Like, no one can argue it. Alan put a Facebook thing and he tried to set up a business, an escort agency for stag parties. It wasn't for children's parties. It was for stag parties and hen parties. And the concept was it was like saucy. It was saucy. We've got all the screenshots. I'm not going to bring them up now because this is my video about Alan and the lies he's telling about me. But this is a previous thing that he's now going to lie about. But we've got the, the, the receipts. We've got the evidence. It was all there. And now he's going to actually tell the truth about it on stream so that anyone who didn't know before, anyone who just joined him for the Nicola Bully inquest, is going to be exposed to his dark, seedy past. <laughs> this was like, this is like shitting the bed and then realising you shit the bed and getting your hands in it and rubbing it up all your walls. <laughs> because in my previous job, I used to make websites for people and I did a mock-up of an entertainment agency that goes to exhibitions and you have to buy models, which are men, women, boys and girls. What? You did a mock-up of a website to hire men and women, boys and girls that go to exhibitions. What exhibitions? What exhibitions? The darts exhibition, the, the, the ideal home show. That's the sort of thing you attend, isn't it, Alan? The darts and the ideal home show. The exhibitions, you know, the, the exhibitions. But obviously the screenshots of it are on Facebook under your account with you sharing it. And they say things like stag do's and hen parties and sauce. And it's got pictures of all saucy women. Like, what are you on about? What are you on about it? What was it called? Spice. It was called Spice, wasn't it? Yeah. Um... Again, like it's in all his past in all the videos. You know, the other people have got to have their credit here. You know, Val, Martin D, and Truth Justice. You'll find that in their in their content. Uh, I can get the images up, and when we do like when we in Val chat, I would say with Val, what you want to probably do 
like is prepare all your best clips and you know bits so that when something comes up you can show me the screen grab because like i've seen it i don't know if i need to show it here to prove it because he's saying it <laughs> so i don't need i don't need to do it because he's saying it the only thing he's saying that's different now is that it was a, a mock-up I would contest that the reason it's only a mock-up is because he didn't manage to even like every business every business he's tried to run he's failed so this was also a failure and I think he was trying to get a black book of escorts that's what he was trying to get and he wanted a public face for his black book of escorts that's what I think but I think he failed because you can't run a business like that if you don't have a network of friends who trust you so nobody wanted to be part of his crappy agency he didn't manage to, to get that off the ground, but he did advertise that he would be able to procure the services of girls and boys. So I said, this the thing, you can hire men, women, not... not. I say saucy because it was saucy women. But it was called Spice, wasn't it? For sex, to, for promotions. And I hired not for sex, thing, but... You can hire men, women, not, not for sex, to, for promotions. Actually, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed about this, so I do want to just quickly... Um, because he's saying not for sex, but escorts. What are escorts for? Uh, armchair detective spice agency. I can't spell agency. Is it going to come up or is it? Tell me if I'm wrong with the name spice. Have I not spelled agency right? Uh, maybe I'll just go to Martin's channel. Like, I like the fact that you can probably find things on these channels because they, you know, um, agency. Hopefully. No. Anyone know? If, if anyone gets me the link in chat, you know, so I can just bring it up and quickly show you the, the screenshots. He didn't make websites for anyone. No, he did it on Facebook. When he says he made a website, he means he did a Facebook post, a Facebook page, Source. Oh, it's called Source. I thought it was. Source. Maybe um, Val's channel. I'm, you see, I'm struggling because I'm on the fly. It's why I definitely didn't. But okay, I'll try again. Um, I'm chair detective uh, source agency. It's not coming up for me. If anyone's got like an actual um, link, you know, someone can Discord me the link. Uh, one of you mimps can Discord me the link, and we'll get onto it in a bit. Uh, but it exists, and I like I didn't I didn't want to go off track too much. I, I like to get distracted, don't I? But um, I'm sure people have got links to videos with that. We can show it another time. Um, so we're going back to Alan. I hide. I was going to hire DJs and singers and kiss It's called Source. It's on Martin's set. channel. Yeah. But I just searched Martin's channel for the word Source and it didn't come up. So, like, uh... <laughs> this is the problem that, like, I think there needs to be. I think, I'm no offense to any of these. It's on Martin's channel, says Flirty Girl. Yeah, but how do I find that then? Like, just scroll through them until I find it. I'm Chad Detective the Perv. Is it that one? Uh, what what needs to be... I know that people won't make videos in their own way and do whatever, and I've got no... You know, do whatever you want, everyone. But in my opinion, a really good resource would be just the clips of him doing the things, but to make it fair use, you want to talk over it and just describe what's happening and why it's bad. You know, stop it, talk about it, make sure it's fair use. And then in the comment, you know, in the, in the description, everything, make sure all these words are there so that someone can find it very easily and clearly. Like as a catalogue of his things less than, you know, where am I going to find? It's on mine, thumbnail. Uh, okay. TBT2. TBT2, right? And then I'm looking for a thumbnail of. It's moving now. An SS. Maybe if I search the word source here, it'll do it. No. And maybe if I search the word. What, what was the title? No, I'm looking for the 
agency there, your escort agency got you. Thank you. Thank you. And so we have got these pictures. Look. Adam Vinicum on his own Facebook. Thank you, Val, for this. Thank you. Uh, Adam Vinicum on his own Facebook. Source, everything you need for a hen night, stag, photo shoot, escorts, men and female, girls and boys for that special event. Escorts, male and female, girls and boys. Glamour is our game, it says. Your pleasure is our aim. That's not the only post. There's multiple posts. Stripper escorts. Alan wanted to run a CD stripper business. Escorts and obviously he's... Classic Alan using other people's media that he doesn't own. <laughs> other people's photographs and other people's shit. But what he wanted to do was he wanted to create a CD escort business because he thought he could take 10%, essentially a pimp. Motherfucking M-I-M-P. Essentially a pimp. Nosy Nana. Hello. <laughs> Hello, haters. I'm not a hater. We're detractors. I'm not a hater. I'm a lover. I'm your daddy. Your daddy doesn't hate you. He loves you. So what's really funny is Alan's brought this up on his own YouTube channel on the day of the Nicola Bully inquest. And the evidence leads back to fucking weird shit on the internet that makes him look really bad. The only reason he wasn't able to pimp out male and female escorts, girls and boys, is because he hasn't got a good enough, even not even good at being a pimp. But I don't know what I'm saying about him behind the scenes. I don't know what I'm seeing about him behind the scenes, do I? But not in this instance, wasn't able to maintain that. 2017 didn't take off for him. Instead, he became the armchair detective, didn't he? But uh, yeah, good old Alan. This isn't, see these editing things that Alan said I photoshopped? That's not me, That that's the live recording. And I've photoshopped the blur on top. Madness, madness, isn't it? That you would suggest that that's photoshopped. It doesn't exist. And then for five years, they've said, you've invented this source thing, right? You've got this source agency. It doesn't exist. No, because it couldn't exist because you're not allowed to run a business. So you can't handle the finances and no one wanted to work with you. Just like your YouTube channels. Now, if one of you can prove that agency exists, I'll give you a million pounds. No, you won't because you haven't got a million pounds and never will. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> it's a mock-up. It doesn't exist and never did and i'm but it did exist because we just showed it you on facebook so you don't have to have a, a books and an account but you def definitely put that on facebook so it did exist like in terms of services you know you understand alan how the world works that to have a business you don't have to have letterheads you know in terms of a service that you were offering you were offering that service its existence the existence of it is a very strange and complex conversation about physics and philosophy but you did have a, a, a site where you were offering the services of escorts men and female bo boys and girls so don't 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 get that twisted fed up hearing that accusation so that that one gone millionaires millionaires magnum million pound if you can prove i had a millionaires magnum if you can prove i had an agency <laughs> called my favorite magnum anything lie but he's he's lie they, they told him and he swallowed it he swallows it alan you're a liar I've just seen the evidence on the internet. <laughs> so I just pick out song. I'm sorry about this rant, but you need to know because this man has put my life in danger. Anyone could come and... And not only that, right? He could have said, that's not evidence, it's photoshopped. And I could have said, fair enough, you know, those fa Facebook things, you can photoshop that, yeah. But he said that he did it. He made a mock-up because he had a website de development company and he was trying to do it for a, a mock-up. So he said he did do it. So they're not, they're, he's not saying they're fake. So he's saying he did do it, but it didn't exist. Remember, you just heard him. Burn my house down, because he's... Hasn't oh, I love it, burn his house down. Danger. Anyone could come and burn my house down. Anyone could come and burn me, like, what are you on about? Anyone could come and burn my house down. I'll tell you what, he says this so often, if he fucking comes anywhere near my house, I'm gonna jolly well not be happy, I'll tell you that. He's such a creepy weirdo, I wouldn't put anything past him. Why is he going about people burning his house down? Is he that scared and threatened? Well, then don't do all this fucking creepy weird noncery on the internet. Offering people the escort services, boys and girls, is creepy weird noncery. You just said you did it. You said you did make that. You said you did make the website, but the company didn't exist. Even though the company didn't exist, right? Saying it in a Facebook post is still fucking weird noncery, that is, isn't it? 
I, if I didn't have a company that exploited children, but I made a Facebook post that pretended I did, right? It was just, I was only pretending, but it's still weird fucking nonsense, wouldn't it be? Because it wasn't a joke pretendy, was it? It was a mock-up of a company that didn't exist. He's, as I said himself, I'm a P. He's inferred it enough to say underneath. No, no, you've done stuff on the internet that's made you look like it. People saying, oh, I wish I lived near him, I'd go and get him. That's and also, he just said it there on his own video. I didn't say he was a paedophile. Anyone could come and burn my house down because he's hasn't said himself I'm a P. He's inferred it enough to say underneath. People saying, oh, I wish I lived near him, I'd go and get him. That's what you've done, Larry. You set me off as a P. Several people have said there's another Smule account. Well, then Dover and Dolly's mom, let's look into it. We'll look into it. But right now, I'm, you know, dealing with this nonsense. We're only 15 minutes in, you know, I've really got to push. And, and mud sticks. I don't know how you're going to get out of this. I don't think there's a way out for you. You just said that I didn't say it, so I that's my way out, is you just said it, you idiot. I have a crime number. I know where you live. I know your name. I'm not going to say it or dox him. I'm not, I'm not the one to dox. But trust me, it's in motion. And I'm not Oosh, getting a You are one to dox. You are. You've been writing my dad's name in your, in your post. We've got evidence. Val saw it. She said, who's Lawrence? Why are you writing Lawrence? Didn't you, Val? Didn't you? That's my dad's name. Alan's a creepy weirdo. But trust me, it's in motion. And I'm not getting a lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. I need the police. <laughs> you need locking up yourself, you fucking nutter. And if you want to tend this video to the police and say I'm singing with young children, bring it on. Because that's what we're going to blow up in your face. I've never sung with anyone. If the police see those videos and they go in a portfolio of circumstantial evidence, it paints a picture, Alan. That's what's doing on the internet today. Bring it on. Which I'm going to prove. Now, as a YouTuber and a man, I shouldn't be here now, but I've got a family. No, you don't. You live on your own because no one will talk to you. I have a family, and those accusations have seeped through to my family. No, they haven't. Simply, no, they haven't. What do, you, what do you want about? You live on your own. I've said earlier in today's episode, all of my focus is on Alan. I do not talk about, nor do I uh, investigate his close family. His children are not to blame for his behaviour. His ex-wives are not to blame for his behaviour. Okay? Larry. Larry. And you've been set up by Diem, Larry, and you're too thick to realise it, Larry. Well, if you think that, then you're naive, aren't you? And I've got another one over on you. If you make the audience think that, then it's super naive because they're going to realise that it's bollocks. Truth Justice has set you up, getting into your brain, telling Not you lies all. about me. Not at all. And you believed it. If anything, then... out of anyone that I spoke to, Truth Justice really didn't want to have a big chat with me and... When I said I'm looking into this sort of stuff, they said I would be very careful. I don't really think that you should be, uh, you know, uh, saying anything that's not completely true. They, they were just like careful to be like careful about things and they left it at that. Uh, I mean, I could prove these things. I don't really want to prove, you know, personal comments, correspondence. But let's be, let's be frank and real. I put the feelers out because I'm making a video about Alan and I found out all this stuff. But none of the stuff I found out came to me through the feelers. Like... I've had to publish what I can what I can prove that what I've been able to prove, and I've been looking to try and prove it. I, I think that's fine and that's good. So Alan twisting it into these gang stalkers and they've been feeding me information is ridiculous. In fact, isn't it weird because Alan does all of his episodes on his show where he turns up and he sits down and he turns on the computer and he opens up his little Facebook and they've been feeding him information, and then he goes off that. He'll watch a YouTube video of me where I'll disseminate information from like a case or a Nicola Bully thing and he'll take it and use it as his own. So that's what Alan does. He gets fed information. Alan gets fed information by me. That's why he's doing this video. <laughs> he says, I feed the information out live on the internet so he can see it. You run with him. I mean, set you up. This is the truth about Smule. This is Mila in England. Nosy Nana, they're asking you all these different questions about his past. Fuck that, right? I know that you've, like, the thing is, right? Nanny's heard all these questions from the past, Sid. What about today when he's lying and I've just proven him to be lying? What about now in the next 20 minutes where I'll prove him to be, like, is it still loads of this? I've got to stop 
keeps I keep stopping it. I've got to let it roll now. But what about today when I've proved him to be a liar? What's wrong with that, nosy Nana? If you're on Alan's side, how come you said he was photoshopped? It's not photoshopped, Nana. Look, this is it on Smule live on the internet. Here is the link, Nana. Follow this link, right? Nana, follow that link now in chat, nosy Nana. That's the link. Go and look at it on the internet. It's on Smule. It's not on my. I haven't done it. It's not on. It's on Smule. It's still there. The ones with him and the kids are on this collaboration. He put it up there. They collaborated with him, like I said in my video, and they're still there. He's been he's been suspended from it, but you can go and check it's still there. I can't Photoshop Smule, nosy Nana. There's no way that this can be anything except Alan's own look. There's the web, so at the top, there's the HTTP. It's Smule, yeah? Right? Here, this is John Bray, John Bray and Tilly. There's the, the picture. The picture is live on the website. Look, as I've hovered my mouse over it. I haven't, I can't Photoshop that. It's live on the, on the internet right now. You can go and click it. If I click it, I get this with the kid there. It took me to it on the internet. How are you, how nosy Nana? Nana, don't answer any other crap in chat. What about that? Do you think I've photoshopped that? At Nana, answer the question. Have I photoshopped that? Just answer that question. People are asking you about all this stuff and getting the impression that you're on Alan's side. Have I photoshopped that? Nosy Nana, have I photoshopped that? Or did Alan, or did this kid, or did Smule? I don't need to know where it came. Did it come from me or did it come from them? Who's done this, Aunt Nana? Nosy Nana? You're in chat. Who's done it? She said she watched it. She's, here it is now on the screen. Who's done it, Nana? Is it me? Because he's told you in this video that we're watching that I Photoshop it. Nana, who's done this? Did I Photoshop it? Don't worry about the source agency and all this and all that. Is it Photoshop, Nosy Nana? Please answer. Have I done this? Because I've just sent you to it on the internet and you just clicked it. I don't run Smule. I can't upload to his channel. Why are you not answering, nosy Nana? Nana, just answer. Honestly, it's this. This is really important. No, but it's okay online. It's not okay that it's online. There it is online. I don't know what you mean there by no, but it's okay online, Nana. You need to be more clear. I didn't Photoshop it. It's online. Alan put his video up, the child collaborated, the, the duet is now, I call it a duet, it's a collaboration. The two of them are now singing, right? We know that's happened. Alan knows it's happened, Nana. You know it's happened, right? That's a fact. We're all on that as a fact. Yeah, there's, there's no question about that. That's a fact. You agree with me, Nana, right? We're in agreement on that. Alan agrees because he knows it's the truth. But on his channel... Nana, on his channel, what he's doing is he's saying that I've, I've, I've come up with this and I've photoshopped it and that this never happened. So Nana, he's lying. And if you'll lie about that, how can you possibly, if you'll lie about this, which is very serious, how can you possibly trust him on anything else? Because there's loads of things like this in his past. They're talking to you about them in chat. Forget, I mean, now all the bricks start to crumble. All the, all the cards fall. You can't say, here, it's online. Yes, Anna, it's online. He's put it online. That's his account on Smule. That's his collaboration. He said, here's a song. Would you like to collaborate me, with me? These kids have collaborated with him. That's his account. That's online. That's my point. Yeah. His point is that I faked it and photoshopped it, which he knows is a lie. So you know he's lying. I know he's lying. Everybody's everybody's on the same page. Here, Alan uploaded to his own page. You know he's done this, Armchair Detective Blue. You know he's done this, right? You've seen this. He uploaded this to have a pop at me. I've never sang with anyone. This is a random person. On his own Armchair Detective Blue, he showed this photograph. I screen grabbed it. Here it is. There's the picture of the child with no blurred face. Notice how the child, I put the blue on, but the child had no blurred face. You probably saw this yourself. 
How did he get a picture without a blurred face if I photoshopped it? Because all the ones I put on the internet have got blurred faces. How can the one you're watching on this website has not got a blurred face? Because all the ones I put on the internet have got blurred faces. My video is all blurred faces for the children. How has that happened? Because Alan's got the originals. Alan's posted the original from his app, Sing. Look, it says Smule, Sing. I haven't posted a picture with the Sing and this stuff at the bottom. Alan says I'm photoshopping it, right? I haven't posted that with the Sing at the bottom because on the desktop, it doesn't look like that. I haven't got a phone app. I've got the desktop. Alan's got the actual app. And after this event, he's posted this screenshot from his actual app as if it's a defense for him. And I've had to scrub out the picture of the, the kid with blue so I can post it on my Twitter and show people, look, it's from his app. He said I photoshopped it. So now he's a liar, yeah? He's 100% a liar. Guaranteed. You know it. I know it. Everybody knows it. Nosy Nana, I'm not angry at you. I don't mind if you used to think this or used to think that. I just don't care. But don't come here and talk to me and pretend that you're not... Like, I'm seeing you as an intelligent person. You must be able to see this. It's not some charade and facade. And, and Alan is saying I photoshopped it. But he's got the originals. But they don't exist because I photoshopped them. And they're live on the internet right now on Smule, their own uh, under John Bray, which is his. I'm not involved. I found it. I've got a live stream. On the live stream, we found it live while we were streaming. There are people in chat here that were there. On the live stream, I found it right live while we were streaming and so what i did was i immediately took that stream down because it was a protection of children issue but i kept it and i've recorded it so we've got that thank god so we can watch that at any time if we need to okay we watched it earlier in today's stream it's all there all the evidence is fact he didn't know that i'd recorded it live he didn't know that in a stream like this i clicked a website and it opened up and there it was wow he didn't know that, but it's all there. So you are now either defending a man who is lying or you're going to come over to see the truth. And that's on you. Only you can walk that road. I don't want everyone rowing with Nana now. I don't want everyone giving a road of shit. What about this, Nana? What about that? There's too m I, I don't care about this, that, the other, the Chris Watts or nothing. If you think this is not... If you can defend this, you can go and defend anything, can't you? You might as well. There's no, there's no winning with you. But if you're going to be a grown-up and if you're going to have compassion and fairness and see when you're being manipulated and abused and lied to and see who's holding out their hand for you to hold and trying to show you the truth and to protect children, you've got to reflect on this and accept, I've just proved he's lying. And if that card falls on you, if you defend a liar. That's where people... Let's get him! Charlie Brown. Charlie. That's what I do. I sing a solo about Charlie Brown, right? No one wants to sing with me. I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I've never sung with anyone. I swear to God, I've never sung with any children. Now, anyone no one said you did, Alan. Sing with me, Alan, no one said you did. Any... Anybody of any age can pick up this video yeah. and sing with me. That's the problem. There's nothing to do with me. It is to do with you. It. They're your videos. You chose that song. Kids wanted to go and sing on it. You left it there for three years. I don't know what happened when you watched it. I don't know what happened the day after you watched it. I don't know what happened. But if it was me, I'd have looked at that. It'd come up on my notifications and I'd have gone, fucking hell, I don't like this. It makes me look like a massive pedo. I'm either going to delete this or block them or do something, but I'm not leaving that up there. Or speak to them. They could pick up. You see, now, Nana, I'm to believe that he didn't speak to them because he's telling me. But everything else he's told me in this video is a lie. The other stuff he's telling me is a lie. But that bit's the truth then, Nana. He didn't speak to the kids, okay? The Beatles. And sing with the Beatles. But there's nothing to do with the Beatles, is it? I'm not they saying, sung with Gary Glitter, didn't they? I'm saying I haven't sung with anyone. People can sing with me. Anybody can sing with me. This is Alan's buffoonery now. That's a bit of music. Stop the cavalry, John. There's Alan in England. John Gray. Hey, Mr. Chuck. I don't want to listen to the songs. But it's fun, right? 
I'm just having fun. I'm not- it would be fun if it wasn't fucking weird and creepy and you weren't doing tiptoe through the tulips and looking over the phone and being fucking weird and creepy and doing songs that kids duet on. It would be fun if you were doing it like everyone else. But because there's pedos on there and we've seen them and because there's articles from doctors in the mainstream news saying that these apps are being used, it's now a worry, Alan. On here to find children. Get that in your heads. And you've implied that. And I'm if, get- if Nana was Alan 100%, that's fine, right? What's good about it is that he's brought up a conversation that his, his, his spanners would want to have. Like, and I've shut it down and, and proved it. In fact, if that was Alan, right? If Nosy Nana was Alan, right? Then he's had the conversation out loud that his detractors want to have, which is what I want. Because now they've heard it. They've had their voice heard and... And I've shut it down and, and logically just poo-pooed it. That's his defense live in my chat. Oh, well, I've just fucking rinsed it. And, and if any of his spanners hear that, now this is what Alan tries to do. He tries to stop them from even watching it. If any of his spanners hear that, they're going to think, oh, you know what? That's what I would, well, what about, oh, no, wait, he's addressed that now. He's addressed that now. You know, he's addressed that now. And threats, so I'm going to get my house burnt down. Thank you. Thank you for that, because no one I'm threatened that. You and get you arrested. You can't get me arrested. Hopefully, Stick it along up your with ass. Liam and his gang who, who poached you up into this. No, why repeat and repeat? Narcissism, oh, bully hey, you. Peaky blinders. Hey, peaky blinders. Narcissism, bully you, right? It's He's trying to. Again. I'm the daddy now. Swish. Lord and Baker swish. sent tippies. You must be living rent free in armchair's head with his spanners being in chat. We live Super rent free. Super owes five hugs. We live rent free and we sublet his frontal lobe. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing, really. Into this. Oh. Hey, Picky Blinders. <laughs> Picky Blinders, my favourite show. Put my hat on and sing. <laughs> I'm singing on my own. Yeah, which is weird and creepy. Have you not been watching them? We've been doing them on the stream. So on Battery Exhausted, we've got episodes called Angry Alan Sings. And we've been watching them. We get memes out of them because they're fucking weird and creepy. Stop doing the music. It'll get me copyright. Get it. I get you it. Get what Smule is. I get it. Do you get it, Alan? Because it could look really world... innocent and naive and, and nice on surface. Or it could be dark underneath, couldn't it? Do you get it, Alan? Wide karaoke at. And to say someone's a P... Because they're one of a million people doing karaoke around the world. That's not you what have- I said. That's not what I said. I didn't say Alan's one of a million people doing karaoke around the world, therefore he's a paedophile. I said Alan's not a paedophile. I've got no evidence that he's a paedophile, and this looks really bad for him because other paedophiles use this app in this particular way, and other paedophiles have got collaborations with children. They don't duet, they do the collaborations. Uh, like it, That's what I said. So don't get me confused, Alan. Don't misinterpret what I was saying on your stupid stream trying to gaslight people. Don't you understand? Alan is a representative of the narcissists out of the world, and he's gaslighting live on the internet. He'll do repetition and he'll twist things and he'll move the goalposts. It, it's classic narcissism. So what's wonderful about it is that we're going to be able to reanalyze this rant at another time in terms of that and really you know, expose him for being a narcissist. Uh, there's loads of wonderful things about it. There's loads of horrible things too. <laughs> no idea how stupid you sound. You've no, I've no idea how stupid I sound, says the man who did mimp. <laughs> the man who gets his clothes from Ikea the man who's got all the chicken he can eat total gridlock <laughs> I'm first I don't know how stupid I sound so got views hearts no three years ago man stop playing the crappy music and sing with me after the event I'm not there I'm not there. I know you're not there. I know that you're not there. (laughs) You're certainly not all there, are you? Could pick up, read all about it, and do a duet with me. No beautiful blonde. Alan got this weird shit in his mind. Some beautiful blonde could pick this up and do it. Is that why you're wearing your vest then? In case some beautiful blonde picks that up. Is that why you're wearing your vest? (laughs) After the event. I'm not there. He's even laughing. Some beautiful blonde. Manipulation. Pick up, read all about it, and do a duet with me. I don't even know she's done it. You get it now, what Smule is. Do you know what I think Alan thinks he's done with Nosy Nana as well is, right? Obviously, like, you know, we assume it's Alan. Uh, I play into it because I realised that it was an opportunity for me to have their 
their argument voiced and shot down. But I think with Alan, what he, I think part of it is he thinks that he can, uh, he can, what's the word? I think Alan believes that he can probe me for information, get me eggy, and I'll say all the stuff, and then you oh, right, that's what it is. I'll take that photo down. I'll let it that bit out. I'll stop saying this, and now I win. But that's not what it is, Alan. We've just pulled your pants down in public and pulled you, pulled, smacked your ass again. You've done it. Nosy Nana's here. Hey. You get it now, what Smule is. Alan, do you want to come on the actual show and just talk to me face to face? I'll send you that link. Yeah, someone says it in chat, get him on your stream. Alan, do you just want to come on the show and talk face to face? Or are you a coward? It's very easy, I'll just send you a link. You've already been weird with me in uh, emails before with a fake name. Do you want to use that one or do you want to use your own email address? I'll do it on an independent channel as well. We can have a de debate back and forth or whatever. We, I found out from my chat that people will pay at least £10 a ticket so we can make thousands of pounds. Well, I can. You can't on your own. But like together, we don't even have to have the boxing match. We could just have a conversation in public. Are you you're scared of that? Are you scared of that? Probably. Stop it. Duet. One duet. Three views. I've got a heart. Three years ago, and two people sang with me. So, out of my entire catalogue, right? Two people decided to sing my song over me. After, yeah. In the yeah. last three years, it could yes. have been last week. Been That's why it's so weird. Out of your entire catalogue, there was just a, a short spate of children singing on your songs, and it was during lockdown. So you didn't have the opportunity to go out and do whatever else you wanted to do. So you were at home and there was a short spate of children du du collaborating on your song. I call it duets in public in a normal parlance. The judge would accept that two people singing together on an app feels like a, even if it, the technical term is it's not a duet. Technically, it's a collaboration. So you're a liar. No, no, no. Normal people understand what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, it seemed weird, Alan. So to pick this out as well and add to the, the docket, because I didn't put this one on my video, but now you're adding this one to the docket. Fair enough. They're not duets. I haven't spoken to anyone. I don't but know who you've spoken to. Have sung with me. Do you understand? Not with me, I'm not there. This is what I said. They decided they'd like to No one to thinks you're there. A duet with me by using no, you're not travelling to Thailand to molest people, are you? No, I'm not saying you're travelling to Thailand to molest people. No, this is obviously some sort of video app, isn't it? I don't think that people are actually in the same room. Video which we all consent to do if we're on Smule. That's the point of it. Does anybody understand? Yeah, any of you can join and sing any song you want. It's brilliant. It's, it's not brilliant, brilliant because there's kids on it. It doesn't matter how crap you are. The words keep you in time. It's a karaoke app. Good. But to accuse somebody of being a sex offender because they've got a... No, 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 I didn't. I didn't accuse you of being a sex offender. I didn't. Karaoke app. And to have the gang stalkers piling on saying how disgusting it is. Everyone thinks it's disgusting. What? Val, you went to Bahamas. Oh, Val, it's you, Val. He did, he loves you. Val, he loves you. I'll tell you what, I, I, Val does some really clever things. And one of them that I can say out loud, because I'm not, again, I don't think we should show all our cards always, Val. I love the, um, I agree with you on the Streisand effect. But I, when I watched that, I was like, oh, I don't tell him. <laughs> uh, but, uh, a card that Val holds that is public, so it's fine. She says his name, and he fucking loves it and hates it at the same time. Don't you, Alan? Angry Alan. Alan Vinicum. Alan Willycum. Alan Bummycum. <laughs> Alan Willycum. Alan, Alan Cannycum. <laughs> Alan Kiddy. All right, no. Alan Kiddy. All right. Don't say kitty. What? Alan Kitty. They're going to get on that now, the mimps. I've said it now. I've said it off. Alan, what? Alan, will you come? Alan, sorry, what did I say? What is, what is his actual name now? <laughs> Alan. She says Alan and he fucking hates it and loves it at the same time. I didn't say to you, Val, you've gone to Bahamas because it's famous for male prostitutes, did I? No, of course you didn't, Alan. Because Alan Val doesn't have a track record of seedy behaviour, does she? So it would be fucking weird. It'd be like outside the box. But with you, this is just like playing buckaroo. The, the donkey's already got the... the um, you're the donkey, obviously, Alan. The donkey's already got the... Uh, the, satch, the satchel, what you call it? The saddle on it. 
I'm riding the fucking donkey now. I'm the daddy. Uh, but, you know, we, I've come to Buckaroo and it's my turn. And I've just got to put the little hat on at the end. The little hat. And everyone's going, that suits him. And then it pop. <laughs> He's gone mental. I'm not associating you with looking for male prostitutes in Brianna's. But you went there. You put a picture up of me with a girl in the street in Thailand. Where I picked a girl up in the street in Thailand. For you picked a girl up in the street? Photograph. And you convert that to, I'm with ladyboys. Ladyboys? <laughs> like, I sometimes forget it's supposed to be dark and I, I veer into Alan Partridge territory. It's ladyboys now. It's ladyboys. It's, it's ladyboys. Oh, it's ladyboys. I didn't know that. Is it ladyboys, Alan? I didn't say anything about ladyboys. I just showed this photograph from your Thai holiday where you're not in the street, you're inside a bar. There's a bottle of beer and a stool. <laughs> there's people, there's a tile floor. This is not in a street. <laughs> and it's holidayed there. Oh, also the same bar with the same stool and the same bottle. And you again. <laughs> but now it's ladyboys that you pick up in the street. So this isn't a photograph of you picking up ladyboys in the street. I know you're physically holding someone, but you're telling me that ladyboys are being picked up in the street. Where do these ideas come from? Why is there this next level? It's the same with the burning the house down. Either Alan is constructing a weird, scary narrative in his mind, or he's got stuff he doesn't want to tell us that keeps popping out, like those embedded confessions. Now, he'd know about embedded confessions, being an armchair detective. <laughs> Lady boys being picked up in the street in Thailand. Worried because Alan Vinicum has links to Thailand. He's holidayed there. It looks like he had a lot of fun. <laughs> Why'd you do it to us, Alan? Why'd you do it to yourself? You only put one slant on it. But you went there. You put a picture up of me with a girl in the street in Thailand. Where I picked a girl up in the street in Thailand for a photograph. And you convert that to I'm with lady boys. What? Alan, why are you in Thailand picking these women up in the street? You only put one slant on it. And you only put one slant on it? What other slant is there? You're not doing missionary work, are you, you fucking weirdo? <laughs> what are you doing out there? What, you only put one slant on that? Okay, sorry, I'll put a different slant on it. I'll try and put a different... <laughs> Should have prepared this. I should have prepared some jokes. Has anyone got a different slant in chat? This is Alan's long lost daughter. He's been out in Thailand when he was younger, DJ. He's had to go back to pay for her education. That's probably what it is, isn't it? There's a different slant for you. Does that sound better or worse? Alan was trying to get himself a Thai bride. So this isn't just some seedy man trying to have sex with a prostitute. This is someone who wants to make love for life. There's a different slant on it. He couldn't afford it, though, so he just went for the 15 minutes. How about that for a slant? Yeah, he said he picked up a girl to photograph, but obviously he's holding a, a person in his arms here. But the, the thing he said was he picked up girls in the street, so I'm assuming he's not referring to this because this is not in the street. So it's this embedded confessions thing. I picked up a girl in the street for a photograph. What kind of, okay, let's say you're walking down the street in Thailand. You've gone for a lovely holiday in Thailand because you're into Buddhism, right? That's probably what it is, isn't it? And then you've walked past this bar and you thought, oh, hang on. Somebody get the camera out. I'm just going to have my photograph taken. Because I, I don't want anyone at home to think I'm a pervert or anything. I'll just have a nice photograph taken with this lady who's obviously very religious as well. Obviously a Buddhist. She's not into her possession. She's not got anything on. I thought I'd pick her up to see how heavy she was. She ain't heavy, she's my brother. Um, look. <laughs> how, what other slant do you want on it? Hello, Maria. Hello, Maria. Big ups, you feel bad, yeah. You, uh, Maria, like, you're an interesting uh, person because you've been, you know, accepted into his inner circle. And today I'm proving that he's a liar. And I'm proving that the thing he said about uh, the Photoshop is bollocks. That's his own post from his own Smule account that he posted on his own channel where he didn't blur out the kid's face. Uh, we've got that. You know, I've, I've been through it over and over again. I'm not going to repeat and repeat and repeat, but um, I'd be interested if, you know, you could tell the rest of them that he's a fucking weird liar and that the lies he's told prove that he's a liar this week. Prove it. His defense, 
is to straw man and lie. And I pull both things apart very clearly. Like, we should be in a court. We should do Alan versus Scott kangaroo court. You know, he should put his case forward. I'll put mine forward. And then someone should take him out the back and fucking throw him to the dogs. You know, so to speak, in Minecraft as an expression, not really thrown to any dogs, you fucking nutter. Are we not allowed to speak now? Freedom of speech. You can't say that because it might sound like you're going to burn my house down. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I'm going to put up with. I'd said this dogs instead of wolves. Up. But now it's dangerous because they're calling me a pee. I didn't call you a paedophile. I, I, I categorically said it over and over again that you're not one. As you see from here, I haven't sung with one person. Repetition. Gaslighting. Look, look, narcissism. Look. Gaslighting is to make you believe that the thing you saw you didn't see by repeating it to you over and over again and bullying it into you. And the one they picked out is... Uh, once I was... Interestingly, it's the one right after Pimp. Seven years old. I remember that song? Yeah, I remember that. I sung Alan. this three years ago. It's a popular song and three people have sung it with me. Not with me, me and them. I never they said that. They took my video. Yeah. And they've sung to my words, right? Yes, And made yes. their own video. Yes. Not with me. Well, with they you. They just used my video. Your video. Like, you could have used Ed Sheeran's video. But why didn't they, they choose Ed Sheeran? It seems weird, doesn't it, that they would choose you over Ed Sheeran? Like, I find that to be fucking creepy and weird. What kind of child is sat at home and thinking, this picture looks good, I like the look of this man, I'll do, a, I'll do one with him. Like, I've heard through my investigation that people use these websites as like first point of contact apps. I don't know what goes on after that. I don't know what kind of emails go on behind scenes and things. I'm not saying that Alan's doing that. I'm saying this is what I'm worried about because I've read it on the internet and shown the evidence for it. So this is why Alan, I think it's creepy and weird. You using it as a defense, because they didn't use Ed Sheeran's video, they used mine, therefore I'm, I'm fine and in the clear. It, it's the opposite. It sounds the opposite to me. I would rather they used Ed Sheeran's video. I'm surprised they didn't. They used my video. They yeah, did what why? They want with it. That's why? That's what you sign up for. But I haven't spoke to the three people that sung oh, this song. That's the truth then. He's going to tell me later it's photoshopped and he's going to tell me this and that, but that's the truth. I don't know who they are. But they turn it around to I'm singing with a child. No, I said the children are singing with you. I've got the video on the internet to prove it. And if I did sing a child, the child, do you think I would leave it up? You did leave it up. This is really, well, this is just me, right? But there is his, there's his app. He's showing it on his screen now. There's his community post with said app, with the child, with the line, with the greyed out collaboration, press sing. That's his app. He's posted it himself on his own channel. He might take it down now, of course, but it's there. We photographed it. I screenshotted it. It's, it's a un unconditional categoric proof that Alan has that on his own app on his phone and that I have not photoshopped it. That's one of three methods of proof. I've got the live stream where we walked into it by mistake. Oh my God, look, there's the live stream. Shit. I've got the link, which is still like, he's now working behind the scenes because he's got that out of me on. Oh, Nosy Nana found this out. Well done, Nosy Nana. Like that's still available if you want to click the link and go and follow it to the videos, which Smule have suspended his account so he can't interact with anyone anymore. They're ca careful to do that. But this is still in existence as evidence and proof. And I would suggest everyone in chat have a look at it because later on when they take it down, he's going to say it never existed. But I've got all of you in chat. I've got all the people who are in chat during that live stream where I first discovered it as well. So I've got, what, five different pieces of evidence there? Like factual bang on, metadata, everything, evidence. If I've got a case, go to the cops. <laughs> no nosy nana. Alan is the armchair detective. He's on the internet. I'm super chuffer, battery exhausted. Larry, I'm on the internet. We're having a conversation about it on the internet. And you can't tell me not to. This is the court of public opinion. And because you're creepy and fucking weird, you're getting a life sentence in the slammer. You're on the Nazi wing, if you're not careful. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know, I don't care if you want, like, oh, the police and the children thing, yeah. When I get all the evidence I can and, and they can follow it through, do you not think the Avon and Somerset police are interested in this? Of course they are. And I've sent them email, but, like, you know, there's... Uh, do, do you know what the world's like? And they didn't manage to fix Nicola Bully's problems, did they? Um, cobs. <laughs> yeah, the cobs. So it's not about, you know, it's not... Wise up. 
Your silly, mis your silly mistake in chat has, has exposed you again. Wise up. You're behind the times, Columbo. You're on your VHS, Columbo. I'm Sherlock Holmes on the new five-parter with Reece Re Shearsmith or that one from the... What's his name from the... I'm, I'm, who's the latest one now? He's la I'm Vera. Who, who's the latest one? I'm Sherlock Holmes with all the, you know, the Matrix shit going on. You're fucking Columbo with a saggy ass crack. It's just me. Me on my own. Not with a child. And they... Have... What's that face about? What are you looking at when you're recording it? You know how you can record these and you can watch other people's videos? And connected to this is these videos from these... Why are you not, like, doing your sunglasses and looking cool? Photoshopped a child into this image. Oh, so it's photoshopped a child in now? So I'll show you later. They have photoshopped a child into a duet. Now, I want you to learn something. A smule with a white motif is singing solo, right? Yeah. Get that? But you just said loads and loads. Remember, he's just said loads and loads of times. Anyone can sing with you after the event. Anyone can come and do it. He's just said that loads and loads of times. He's just shown you that you can go on the app and you can sing with other people. How do people fall for his bollocks? How do people in his chat fall for his bollocks? Real, with a white motif, is singing solo. Yeah. I want you to remember that. Okay, remember that. This Take is notes. Detective work for you all, right? Detective remember, this work. Remember, the man that's attacked my daughter. Attacked. He's going to be my daddy attacked his daughter i'm the daddy now <laughs> i've not attacked his daughter i gave him some i gave her some really compassionate words of advice it'll be her daddy taken over as a daddy had her in tears a child didn't have her in tears she's not a child if she was in tears it's because she's upset about you and your behavior and she's like dad you need to stop like you've got her in tears because she said I'm guessing now, right? I'm guessing if she saw that on the internet, she might think of, that's what I said to her, you know, think back over your life and the things he's done and add these things together because you know more than I do and you decide for yourself, you know, what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, the gang stalkers, that's okay. That's okay for the gang stalkers, for them to do that to my daughter. That's okay for him to call me a P. He's really upset, isn't he? Because his daughter, in my opinion, what's probably happened behind the scenes, in my opinion, just creating a story now, a narrative. And she's probably been really cross at him and said, I don't want you to see the kids anymore. On a karaoke app. But it's not okay for me to cover crime channels, is it? They're so what? blinkered and hypocritical, it's unbelievable. I'll tell you what, it's not okay for you to do, Alan. It's not, oh, uh, well, I won't tell you. You carry on doing it. And they are a gang. Look, so the song, I was seven year old, is pretty quiet. Yeah, I'll be the daddy in jail. <laughs> I'm not going to jail. I'm the daddy now. Alan's put me in YouTube jail, hasn't he? The YouTube police are coming. Be the first to comment on this performance. I've never spoke to anybody about this song. And there's the proof. And I've written to Smule. I'm going to get all what? the evidence. And give that's it proof. Them. Because that's not proof of anything. Because it doesn't show which account is holding this chat. It doesn't show who's in this chat. It's just a, a, a page that says pretty quiet in here that anyone could Photoshop. Like, it's not proof of anything. When I showed proof earlier, I showed you the URL, I posted it into the... This is not proof. This is a screenshot of something that's not verifiable in any way. It's not proof. Anyone that thinks that's proof of anything is an idiot because I can make that... I can just screenshot that now and put it on my channel and say that's proof that I didn't talk to anyone either. What do you mean? It's just a picture that says pretty quiet in here. It's not the URL and the... Come on. And he will be prosecuted. He won't be prosecuted. And I will prosecute. No, you, you, oh, you will. I thought you already had. I left him alone, so I knew he was probably in problems in his life. No, you didn't. You attack me all the time. You've got no idea about my life and you don't care. You think because I mentioned depression and that I've been successful with my use of antidepressants and coming off them, that I've got some sort of mental problem. You're going to try and paint me out. You're going to use mental health as a weapon against me here. And that's pretty savage. He's taking these, what he smokes and he's on, whatever he is. I left him alone. Until you didn't yesterday. leave me alone. And I'm going for him now. That's irony, because for two weeks I left Alan alone while I was constructing this video and, and building what I was building. So it was me that left him alone for a couple of weeks, you moron. And I won't stop. And those of you that know me, when I say no, that I you're won't a prick. stop, you know I won't stop. Of course you won't stop. That, that's not your problem. You've been on this YouTube for years not stopping. Everyone hates you for it. <laughs> you won't stop.
talking shit. You won't stop hurting people. You won't stop manipulating people. You won't stop with your narcissistic asshole ways. You won't stop scaring your children. You won't stop offending people. You won't stop like painting those shitty pictures. You won't stop jerking off over, I don't know what, mother licks cunt off daughter's face. Like you, oh, I found that actually, by the way. I can't show it on here, but I found it. I found, you know, I found it. I'm a dirty bugger. I found it. I was, Steve of the Dead said, don't search for that because you'll be searching for weird shit on the internet. And I was like, well, <laughs> I found that. <laughs> you won't stop, Alan. You won't stop. That's the problem. You need to. You need to. You need to pack it in. The worse, the more you do, the worse it gets for you. You're like a fucking, <laughs> you're like an idiot who's jumped. Oh, okay. I can't, uh, can I show you? No, I don't want to show you a video of someone dying in... <laughs> I've seen a video, right, of someone who jumps in um, quicksand and they're making it, like, they think they're doing a YouTube video and it's called How to Get Out of Quicksand and they get in and they struggle and they sink up to their eyes and no, like, this is bad, but they die. They're like, they're gone and they're, all that was found was their phone. You're that guy. <laughs> You're in the quicksand and you're waving around and flailing. You're in the sea. Here's Big Daddy Jaws. And you're splashing around like, eh, 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 eh. you need to stop. <laughs> I've lasted on it for five years. I've You've lasted. With this behavior. Lasted. <laughs> Going well for you then, is it, Alan? You've lasted for five years. Lasted. I've been on YouTube for eight years. Well, I've, been, I've had a YouTube presence for eight years. You know, I've been on the internet since its inception. And I was working in media before this, before uh, COVID happened. I was lucky enough, after my life as a hairdresser, I did documentary production work and I was lucky enough to be part of a strong project that went on to Netflix and I've made two other documentaries and I see after being a carer then during COVID, I see this kind of content creation as a very live and live wire place to, to create content and I really enjoy it and with the tippies and the, you know, the money coming in, I'm saving it up so we can go back to making documentaries with a bit of a budget, you know, so uh, I'm having a great time. You're you're just managing to, to, to you've managed to to last. Is that your you've got loads of thousands of views that you can pay for? You've got loads of thousands of subs that don't come back and watch your videos, and you've managed to last. I won't stop. I've lasted on it for five years. I won't put up with this behaviour from this man. Like like a horrible piss stain in the corner of the room that you can't clean the smell out from. You've managed to last. It's dangerous accusations. But it should only be made to the police. It's your behaviour that's dangerous. And even then, you have to be sure before you tell the police. No, I can say what I want in public, Alan. If you don't like it, you can come at me with defamation and all that. You can't do malicious communications, Alan, because this is not that. I'm reacting to you talking about me. This is not malicious communications, Alan. This is YouTube. So don't worry about the police. They're not going to give a fuck. Able police are coming. Oh, oh no. Oh no. If you do something fucking weird and call them in on some fake bullshit... If you threaten my family and come near them, you don't know what the next steps are, Alan. I'm not threatening you, but you don't know what the next steps are. Okay? But if you start doing weird shit like that, don't think, like, I'm right here with my cameras. Yeah? Right? <laughs> you don't know what the next steps are. You don't know what I know behind the scenes. You don't know what other things could, you know, could, could spill out. You really don't want me telling the police everything I know because it's far more likely that they're going to turn up to your house and look for your hard drives which I'm assuming you've already burned and cracked and all that but Alan you don't want this you don't want to take it to that level so I, I think you're bluffing with your stupid poker bluff and I think it's bollocks Alan I think it's bollocks if I wasn't on YouTube now I feel like I want to get my genitalia I honestly I feel like if you're in the pub and you're saying stuff I might be prepared to just sort of get my genitalia out and wave it at you because I just think come on like it's bollocks mate it's bollocks. The cobs are coming. Yeah, the cobs are coming. Do you think the local police in my area are that interested in your bollocks? <laughs> because I've shown videos of you singing, of children singing with you on this app and prove that they're real. <laughs> Why would the police people want to come for that? They're surely, if they're going to do anything, they're going to look at the video that you're sending to them, your, you know, your evidence of what I'm doing. They're going to watch it and have a good laugh at your expense. That's what they're going to do. You fucking clown. Arrest you for malicious insults if you haven't got any evidence. Right. So I didn't sing with anybody on the song they're saying I did. Do you understand? 
go over it again for I me, did please. Not sing with anybody on this song. As you see here, I sung it alone. I love this. I live alone. Been taken and photoshopped the child into a duet. Now remember, a solo is is white. You just told me you can collaborate after the event on your your own video. Now look, this is the real ones. These are the real ones. These are, are duets. They've got a line down the middle. Yeah, these are duets, live duets. They've got a line down the middle and they've got the green thing. I didn't contest this. I actually said in my video that these were done after, that children add theirs on after. I don't know who edits the two together. I don't know if the Smule app does that, if Alan does that or the kids do that, but that's not in contention, so we can skip past that. It's irrelevant, yeah? I don't care. I want to show you. This is me, bad time of day, three o'clock in the morning. Oh, three o'clock in the morning, Alan. It's Here he is again. I I'm the daddy this. now. And then Behind the sash crown dawn sent tippies. If AD is as innocent as he claims, why is he following the young child Hez sang a collaboration with? Oh. She only has nine followers and John Bray is one of them. Thank you, Beyond the Sash and Crown. three hugs. I'm not going to check that now. I'm going to say to everyone who's heard that on my show, be careful. It might not be, you know, I obviously trust you, Sash and Crown, but uh, everyone can check that for themselves and check that fact. I'm not going to broadcast that as a fact on my show. As the guest, as the speaker on my Tippy, I'm going to counter that by saying I don't think Alan is a nonce and he might not be following that girl. You'd have to check it. You know, so now I'm completely fine with any defamation, but I do trust you. Interesting, isn't it? Why would you follow them? Obviously, Alan can't change that now. I can't check it now, maybe. Not live right now, but we will be looking into that. We already checked who he was following. We already photographed and made a note of it. So we, we've got all that in the back. You know, don't worry. It's all in the back. Uh, what I want to make sure as well to point out is if the police come to my house right now, like imagine now while I'm live on the internet, the police come to my house and I have to have a conversation with them right there that you can hear about all of this. Imagine the view count I'm going to get on my live stream. It would go through the roof. I'd point the camera at it and we'd have the conversation like, if I ended up uh, able to then come out, like, even if this stream got shut down right now, like, tomorrow, the day after, I'd have a big stream about what happened, and it would be big news. Can I repost the link? I certainly can. I certainly can. It would be big news on the internet. So, Alan doesn't understand that his threat, right? Unless they're going to come and shoot me in my face, which obviously the police are not going to do. We're not in America. Right? They're not going to come and kick my door in and shoot my face. My local police know who I am. I used to run a business in the town. I've like talked to them on many occasions in a friendly and normal way. So, in fact, you know, I've had to call in the police for little incidents in the street. You know, I was in the middle of the, the town. I had a, a business, you know, like uh, I was connected. You know, they'd walk past and say, hi, how you I used to cut the hair of somebody who worked for the local police. You know, like... If they came to me, they'd say, oh, hello. And I'd say, oh, hello, nice to see you. How's it going? I understand it's you're having some trouble because people be are saying some weird shit on the internet. Still trying to catch up from the last three days. Thank you for making my evening, Scott. Thanks, Sarah. Alan bye hates bye, these tippies. Super chuffer bye, bye, has Frank. 20 hugs. Thanks. Alan hates these tippies. That was a very generous one. Thank you. You're my Nancy's. Uh, so Alan doesn't understand that what he's threatening me with is something that as a media producer who's doing a live stream on the internet, even though it would be a little bit disruption for me, I'm not going to end up going to prison for anything. In fact, I just have to deal with the police on the doorstep and it would make my stream explode and I'd be able to do two or three episodes after that. Like He doesn't understand what he's threatening me with is not really a threat, but it is a threat. He's trying to make a threat. He's trying to push all those poker chips in, all in VIN and bluff singing a song solo right white is solo all those duets you just saw were green right i proved it to you what about a black bed with black sheets <laughs> i'm allowed um, to have a black okay we're going to discuss the black bed now good uh the is there any way to see on Smeal who recorded the song first, says Alan? Because if AD did it after, it's pretty creepy. That's a really good question. Uh, what I would say is that on Smeal, there is a, like I said in my video, 
it, I didn't specify just Smule. I said with this doctor had studied another app like Smule and there was a culture and I found people on Smule who were doing this. There's a culture of people who use songs that are appealing to kids. So if you go on their pages, which I showed on my video, then you can see like it's got a, a puppet in one of them. Uh, there's a song about purple people eater. There's a song about um, gummy bears. You know, there's like a whole range of songs that are popular with kids. So Alan may have picked one off a list or he might have been naive and used a song that attracted children without his knowledge I don't know thankfully someone like me was there to put a stop to it and call it to attention and say look Smule is making Alan look bad he's not a paedophile can we have the tippies link you absolutely can you absolutely can There's no way Alan wins this in any way. The things he said to defend himself are lies. Bed with sheets. That they even think me discussing what bed to have is making me a sex offender. I haven't got a black bed with black sheets, by the way. But that's what they're like. That's what someone just said in chat. That's how they've been triggered to come in here and say, oh, why have you got a black bed with black sheets? I haven't. They don't know me at all. They're a bunch of C's. And that slime ball has wound up oh, his supporters to it. make these accusations. I am sick. So. I'm worried because more recently, Alan Vinicum has been using the services of a set designer to build him some furniture. A black bed, just like one from a picture on the internet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Remember that moment? Alan does. A black bed, just like one from a picture on the internet. This was on his live stream. He clicked onto this window at the end of the episode and it revealed his Facebook. I need to show you this in the wider. The wider. We, this was on Alan's trap, so if you want to go back and watch this, you know, I don't want to go over things that I've already been over and, and other things, but uh, on Alan's Facebook, he revealed that he was using Facebook under a fake account. And it had a picture of a golden retriever or a Labrador in the top right there. You can see that there. Oh. We discovered that account was called Joe Lawson. Uh, I haven't got it on my images yet. But it's in the old episode. I've shown it all. You know, he pulled that apart. He said, I don't use... Another lie, I never use fake accounts and pseudonyms. It was the start of his episode. And then we just immediately showed him using a fake account and a pseudonym. So he thought that he was open with his... Uh, he thought he had a chat open. He did have a chat open with his spanners. And it was over the top of this chat. So he quickly closed the spanners chat. And it revealed this. He's in this Madeleine McCann Truth Behind the Lie group. It's got Madeleine's face there. If you think, why is that little girl there? Why is that weird picture of Madeleine like that? almost one of the worst ones of her in a way isn't it why is that picture of her there it's because it's in this facebook group that he's got open on his screen madeline mccann group private group that he's entered with a private pseudonym joe lawson which has now changed underneath the chat with his spanners was this and he accidentally revealed it it was active we know who river Mirror interiors is i haven't contacted them yet because you know i feel a bit funny about contacting them it's because again. you know be rub jason tippies in first super chuffer owes three hugs i'm first because you know you know why it's weird to contact them yeah <sighs> so this is what it said this is his message he's receiving this message from rivia muria it's active now live he got it live while he was streaming so this isn't like some old message the bed from the web pick and what turned up at yours is for me an exact copy. You couldn't split the two, not even if they were side by side. Honest, bargain of the century. Who wouldn't want a black floor, black brick wall, encased in a greenhouse and throwing black sheets, cool as you like. No chance of dehydration or retina burn. It's fucking weird. We addressed it in Angry Alan Nonsgate. We addressed it in the main video. We are now addressing it again because Alan's bringing it up again. He's really glossing over this and really focusing on the smule. It's so, raining again. I couldn't be ACW happier. ACW sent tippies. A great antidote to yesterday's inquest. Yeah. Thanks, Scott. 
Super Chuffer owes three hugs. You're damn right. This is different from the inquest. I want to get through as well because we're only halfway through. I want to get through it all. And also, I want to make sure it's loads of fun. So I hope we're having enough fun. Sometimes I get a little bit eggy and serious. And this one's a serious moment in a way. Because it feels to me like he's building a, f a set, like a, a film set. Like you might do in a weird room, like sex dungeon or something. I don't know. Because it's all black. I mean, the reasons I can say that are because there's a set designer involved. It's a bed. It's all black. You've got black sheets, black walls. The greenhouse thing is weird. The dehydration and the retina burner are about hot lights. So this is creepy as fuck, isn't it? ABC says dark web, I reckon. Like, this is true, right? Okay, so I'm not saying Alan's a paedophile. I'm, I'm going to talk about something else now that makes me worried. Okay? And I'm not saying Alan's a paedophile. I'm going to talk about something else that I don't like that goes on in the world that this has reminded me of, right? Is that paedophiles get caught because, number one, someone sees a photograph of them with a child and they see them in the picture and they're like, that's you. So they don't put their faces in usually, do they? Then the next thing is they get caught because uh, their hands, you know, something like that, their hands. So then they would wear like clothes, like black gloves maybe, like a mask and black gloves. You know, like black clothes, all black. It's almost like there's a uniform. I haven't seen lots of child porn abuse videos, so I'd, but it would almost seem... And then the other problem they have is that they get, they get busted because someone recognises... And this sounds ridiculous, but someone recognises a door frame and a, a, a um, light switch. And so they say, well, that light switch is a UK light switch. So this paedophile is in the UK. And then they say, well, that door frame is a, a Georgian house. So now we're narrowing it down. And the police obviously haven't got loads and loads of uh, leads, but they've got certain specific things they're now looking for. And if they can tie that in with a certain specific thing, boom, they're in the case, aren't they? So I believe what paedophiles do is they try and create an image like while they're doing their thing that you can't do that with. You can't pick out the light switch and the this and the that. And it would almost seem, and this is my worry, isn't it? It would almost seem like if you were building this weird room, this black room with all these, like, like Alan might just be building a sex dungeon for him and his mate. It might not be anything to do with kids. It might just be for S&M. They might like filming videos. It might be for his detective work, but the bed is a weird choice, you know? Uh, you would normally buy a bed just from a, a, a shop like, um, or from a, a, a reputable supplier like Supreme Beds. If you were looking to buy a bed, you'd probably want to go to Supreme Beds or a reputable supplier. But uh, for Alan, he's decided to enlist the services of someone who can make him bespoke furniture and has not a furniture background, but a set design background. A set design background. And he wants his bed to match one from a web pick. A web pick. So Alan's got a picture he's found on the internet. A web pick and he wants the bed in that picture and he wants it made bespoke so he can't if it was from like let's say he's gone on a website and found a nice bed that he wants it would be cheaper to get the nice bed off the website because you're asking someone to make it individually for you you're not that rich you're not elon musk so why are you asking for this very specific um very specific thing you know why, why are you asking for this very specific thing? These are things that I don't like. I'd like him to answer to. He didn't answer really to it in this rant, but he brought it up in front of his people. So here it is for everyone to see. Alan the liar. Alan the liar has not addressed this really. Alan's told loads of lies today about photoshopping that picture and it can't be this and it has to be that. You know, he said that I photoshopped it. This, he said that I'm in gang stalkers with Martin Dean and that. Like, <laughs> Alan's told loads of lies. <laughs> so... This troubles me and it troubles me massive. We're not going to go over and over and over it. It's there. That's what he's talking about. I thought I'd make sure that everyone saw it because we're now going to go back to his mad rant. Uh, it was in the previous video, of course. Singing a solo song on Smule with say, oh, why have you got a black bed with black sheets? I haven't. They don't know me at all. There are a bunch of seats. The, the bed was delivered to you. It said it in the message. And that slime ball has wound up his supporters. Have you got other properties that you manage, Alan? Are you now in property management? Have you got other properties that you manage? Are you setting this up somewhere else for somebody else? Is this room in somebody else's house? Did you have it delivered? You know, are you like an, a middleman? Like, you know, getting people lovely beds? Is that what's happening? Maybe you don't have a black bed. So where is the black bed? Because it was delivered to you. That's what the man said in the message. <laughs> The one that turned up at yours were the exact words. It turned up at yours. So that if it's not a black bed, what is it that's turned up at yours? Please explain. Please explain. Don't just say I haven't. I didn't. 
That's not good enough. It said it in the message. You did it. Also, that message was deleted off his live. And imagine this. Imagine I open a window and, oh, I don't want to show you this. And I go very quiet. And then I del uh, we're going now, bye. And then this bit gets cut off the end of the live stream. What would you think? What would you think? You'd think that's very strange. So it's certainly not something he wants the public to know about. So he really wanted that to be kept secret to the point where he went very quiet. And we've got it recorded. You know, it's, it's here, look. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm giving you too much information again. <laughs> I always do this. The bed from the web pick and what turned up at yours is for me an exact copy. You couldn't split the two, not even if they were side by side. Honest, bargain of the century. Who wouldn't want a black floor, black brick Good wall, him. encased in a greenhouse? I've got time to read all this. Black sheets, cool as you like. No chance of dehydration or retina burn. And he's, he realizes he's supposed to be talking to his stream, but he's ignoring them now because he's dealing with the messages and the things on. He's obviously writing messages back now to this person, and he's obviously dealing with you know whatever's going on. The, I've put this picture up on my video, but what he was doing on his live stream was damage control, putting out fires, retweets, retweets. <laughs> So people don't, some people remember that. We've got it all clipped and I've got all that. So good one, Alan. And that slime ball has wound up his supporters to make these accusations. I am singing a solo song on Shmuel with the white motif of a solo. See how he, this is gaslighting 101. He's going to draw your attention to something that is factual and true, that isn't a problem, and bang on as if that was the problem in the first place. But that was never my problem in the first place. I never went on about the motifs and the solos. I said, these children add their videos on after. Like, that's what I said. He didn't deny the fake Facebook account, though, did he? No, he can't deny the fake Facebook account. In the same video, Alan's Trap, which is on our channel, he said at the start that he doesn't use fake Facebook accounts and then we proved that he made fake Facebook accounts. My problem is with his followers is why are they like he can paint me out to be a bastard and he can paint me out to be a you know whatever and he can say that I hate him whatever but why do they accept that he's lying? They see that he's lying. I prove that he's lying. Why is that okay? If I was a duet it would be green. Now, here's the boy they've used. I've had to black out his picture. They've somehow got a young boy. How have you got his picture to black out? You're suspended on Smule. In this video, he told you he had to have his account suspended and all his videos taken down. How have you got this picture with the same photoshopping as apparently I did, but his face isn't blacked out? Because in my video that I made about you, I blacked out his face. I blurred out his face. No one can say I didn't. Everyone can see that I did. So if I Photoshop this, how have you got it without the blurry? Have you Photoshopped your own version? Is it just on the app? Did I have to blur out what was just on the app? How have you done this, Alan? It's like magic. You've got your own copy and you've put red on the face. I didn't put red on the face like that. My black line goes further across. My blurring is all the way. How have you done this? You are photoshopping this image with the red stuff, but you're getting the original from your app. That's how. Who sang the same song. I agree. Look, he's singing solo. He's singing yeah. solo. And then duet is green collaborating with you though isn't it because here on the internet is the actual page here on the internet is the actual page right and you can see that if i hover my mouse over it oh there's the two of them in the video two of them and it's called a collaboration i'm sorry i got the exact lingo wrong and i said a duet because two people are singing but on small the duet is of green it's a collab then Oh, pedantic language saves Alan from being looking like a massive nonce. But really, it doesn't, because now you're arguing about the word collab and duet, when the truth is, this is there on the internet. And you put it up there, you put that up there, and then they did this. This has nothing to do with me. And that's what's going to get this man arrested. Because he's accused me of procuring young boys. 
did not. I mean, no, even I if I was singing with a young boy, that's not illegal anyway. Well, Sorry, wasn't. what? And even if I was, he's accused me of procure, procuring young boys. And even if I was, what? Again, your defence of even if I was, it's not bad. It's not a defence. <laughs> and that's what's going to get this man arrested. Because he's accused me of procuring young boys. I mean, even if I was singing with a young boy, that's not illegal anyway. But I wasn't. <laughs> even if I was singing with a young boy, that's not illegal anyway. But I wasn't. I want that as a clip. That's my favourite so far. That's my best one so far. That's the best thing Alan's ever said for me on the internet. This man arrested because he's accused me of procuring young boys. I mean, even if I was singing with a young boy, that's not illegal anyway. But I wasn't. <laughs> Absolutely sounds like he's the one you want to be with. He's the one you want to hang out with. He's the guy that's that's telling the truth. Yeah, I, like, I'm being a little sarcastic, but come on. Like, you know, does that, me being clear and, and I'll, like, you know, clear and straightforward, showing you all the receipts on the screen live and all that. And then there's him saying, yeah, but even if I was, then I wasn't, but I couldn't and I didn't. So it was, but even if I did, it wouldn't be illegal. But I wasn't doing it. <laughs> it's brilliant, isn't it? It's brilliant. I mean, even if I was singing with a young boy, that's not illegal anyway. But I wasn't. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and here's the proof. Here's the proof. No, the proof is you're showing a video of you and the young boy photoshopped together, you say, but from your own app on your own phone with your own photoshopping on the face now without the blur that I had uploaded. So this is not the proof. <laughs> it's a solo. Mine oh, is a solo. Because it's got the white thing, it's a solo. That means that that's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Nonce gate over. Alan uploaded the videos just like Scott said he did. And the songs were produced later as a collaboration with the children, just like he said Scott said they were. So nonce gate over. Alan corroborates what Scott said in his video. Get it? Solo. And here's the crap thing they've done with it. Look at this for photoshopping. So they've got this young lad who sung the same song. I've, I've took his face out. He doesn't deserve this crap. This young man does not deserve this crap from Dion. He's made the video. So you're saying that, Alan, but when you posted it on your actual page, on your community post, when you did that, you actually showed his face. So by your own standard, I blurred all the kids' faces out. I kept all the kids out of this. I kept all their names and their faces it's out of this. Again. I couldn't be happier. Big ups tapped up. Tapped up sent tippies. Love your stand over sing on light horse. Dance in as I am walking. Leave it Scotty. Thanks. Super chuffer owes 25 hugs. Thank you. That would make angry, dub, angry Alan will be double angry that you give me such a generous tippy, which I'm really grateful for. And it would make him double angry that you like the music that I produced. And Light Horse is available on my channels. Uh, if anyone's into that, you know, I don't push it hard, but I've got loads of back catalogue that we need to get uploading there as well. So there will be more coming soon if people like it. I'm really grateful. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Bless. Uh, yeah, here is Alan putting the photograph of the child without any blurring on his own Angry Alan Armchair Detective blue post. So by his own standards, Alan is a bastard here and not me because I blurred their faces out. Alan is the one that is subjecting these children to public perception now on his own post so if anyone's ch child endangerment if he's going to throw this at anyone it's throwing it at himself so they've got this young lad who sung the same song i've i've took his face out he doesn't deserve this crap this young man does not deserve this crap from dion he's made the video look at the crap job of the photoshopping white no. solo white solo this is me doing the solo this is him doing the solo and they photoshopped it together look Look I mean, the, the photoshopping for the other one, as Snood said to me uh, yesterday, uh, the photoshopping for the duet where there's just a straight line is worse photoshopping. This is actually slightly better photoshopping because someone's put a fade, but it's it's not photoshopping. It's the Smule app. It's you and your, your Smule app, Alan. If anyone has photoshopped this, it's you. It's If there's any possibility that this is not automatically put together by Smule when they do the collab, which some of the kids don't have their videos on, so maybe it's not. 
But if there's any possibility it's not automatically done, I would assume it's a bit like TikTok, where, you know, you record your video, you see theirs, and you're there as well, and you, you know, put them to do side by side. I don't know. But what could have happened, Alan, is you could have seen this collaboration with you, and you could have got the video from them, because they're now they're connected, because they've done a collaboration, and you could have photoshopped it. But I had no idea it existed until I stumbled across it. Check out what TB2 is saying, what, in chat. Um, and if he saw this comment, he could check it out. Uh, it's small live chat. It's a new section. I researched it today. Um, if Scott would reply, look at YouTube live jam, he would see it's the same and they talk to each other. Okay, see, see, live, I can't get my head around. I, I like to do it. I will do that, Val. We should talk, you know, we should research it and bring it to light. But I can't live now get my head around a new thing. And I, I worry that I'll accidentally show a child or, you know, go down. It happened with that, Alan before that I was on a live stream and I accidentally, we were doing duets. I want to show you them as well because they were so funny. Um, that live stream needs to be uploaded as its own evidence, really. But we've got it here today as, we've got it here today as, I've got so many windows open. Give me a sec as in my mainframe as this media player. So I should be able to get the media player in the mainframe. Let's take it out and put it on top. Did I close it? Is that what it is? There it is, right, there it is. So this is the media player. And I, I was literally watching YouTube and having fun. Like we were doing a YouTube, uh, sorry, we were doing a, a, we were watching Smule and having fun. There's this woman who did a duet with Alan and she's funny, and she's been doing duets with other people. That's how we learned about Alan's duets, and for the sake of... Uh... So I was watching these detractor songs. This was on Twitch, sorry. So we are on Twitch, and we are watching YouTube. The stars are brightly shining. She actually really comes across... I think this is my... This was a genius decision to do that. Found someone. Do you think she's gone on this app and she's looked to find people who are particularly bad and decided to duet with them? Do you know what I mean? Like, is that what she's done? This was live, or is it like, because the people that were in the chat were like there the live. To do that one with Alan was I've got the recording on, a, here's a, I've got the recording on uh, Smule, sorry, on Smule. I've got so, so many things in my brain now. On twi Twitter, I'm oh, sorry, on Twitch, we stream this live. And then afterwards, I have to choose to publish it. To press the button, go live with your video at the end. And because of the children's stuff, I couldn't. But it's there on my account, and I can publish it at any time. And when I publish it, it will have all the chat with it. So there's absolutely verifiable evidence that this happened. It's not photoshopped. This is an actual stream that happened. And there are people in chat today that were there during this. So like this is, a, this is the, the most... Alan doesn't know. When he said, oh, it's photoshopped, he didn't know that I had this. This one looks like a duo. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> cool star. So she's singing funny songs and doing duets. And she did them with Alan. And I was watching this other kid look. But they did a duet together. I like Connor. I think we're going to make him a star. That got put on the back burner. So we're having fun just watching Smule. Yeah, as well. And then someone said, right, well, if those are duets and Alan's done, you know, these songs and whatever, then, like, you know, we're just having a chat. Then it came up like, well, hang on, maybe Alan's done more duets. And so we had a look at the duets. So live, I did Candy Star look. Spirit boxes. See what we're doing? We're doing one of our streams. So this is not a setup. And then we found this. The reason she's singing with him is because he's a VIP, so she can just pick his recording to sing. She doesn't have to pay for it. But all of his recordings, he's a VIP, but nobody records songs with him. So we have all these questions. We like, There was some, loads of kids there you saw because I had to look through different... Like what you do is you look for an account. So Alan's connected to this kid because of this collaboration. Then I click the kids account and I can see all their friends. And then I look in their friends list, weird old men. And I'm like, who's this weird old man? And I go to that account and it's a weird old man that's got loads of kids on it. You know, it's like a chain of, do you know what I mean? It's like um, six degrees of separation. So we did a bit of that. 
And then we found this. Let me just check that. I check everything to make sure Dick I'm not... pedophiles pretend. And now we found the chicken nuggets thing about kids pretend, you know, people pretending to be chicken nuggets on these accounts. We discovered that these accounts, you know, I, I searched small pedophiles and I came up with that sort of stuff in the media. And then I go back to Alan's videos and we're talking about it and we're looking at them. And this is him once I was seven years old. Yeah. And we're saying like, this is his video. And then there's the kids... And the laughter has to sort of stop. I have to go away from it and say, okay, look, we've seen that. I, I, I'm live on the internet, right? So, and I can't play it for you right now because otherwise I'm playing the kids' faces. I need to edit them blurred or you're, or you're photoshopping it or I just upload that stream somewhere and it goes live somewhere and the kids have to have their faces on the internet just to prove that to some people that Alan's a liar because they won't accept it and they have to have kids' lives threatened in order to prove it, which is a bit harsh, but I don't know, right? So um, do you think that kids' accounts are real or a setup? I worry husties, like, you know, on the internet, I'm not saying this about Alan, I'm saying this about Smule and general paedophiles, right? Is that they um, have kids to order. Alan goes on about kids to order from Bosnia. What they do is you uh, audition, like if you're some weird fucker who wants to audition your kids on the internet, you do something like this and then you get an email and someone forwards you 500 euros through the, the cash app or whatever and then you do your horrible video and you send it to them, don't you? It's like a... You know, obviously they're not doing the pedo videos on Smule, are they? But, um, you know, this came up live. So I'm showing you here that, it, look, it was honest. That, that It's not that I've made this up and, like, come up with an idea. I accidentally saw it. Martin Dean didn't have to show it to me. It's not photoshopped. This is live. It happens. And then I go on and talk about other stuff. We finish the episode with this stuff and we have a laugh. Um, but then we did look at it at the end as well, a little bit more. Uh, and I just thought, look, you can see my face. I had to say, this is not, not right, this isn't. I'm going to have to switch off this stream. You know, it, it wasn't a good day. And then I've looked into it. So that's going bye-byes now. I'm showing you that again. Back to Alan. Fine. It's photoshopped. Good detective work, guys. Uh, it's on another person's name. Why? Yeah, good call. Um, I've got an answer for you that I've got a suggestion, right? Um, but I don't know the suggestion, which is sometimes uh, people might say, I mean, just as a, not as a paedophile thing, of course, you know, disclaimer, because I'm on the internet and I can't say certain things, but, uh, not, you know, and I'm not that I need the disclaimer because I'm not saying anything bad. What I'm saying is that someone else might set you up an account. Someone else might pay for it to exist and you might just have it and log in because you might not be that good on the internet. Maybe you got someone else to set it up for you. Or maybe someone says to you, here is your account. Enjoy that. I'll sell it to you. I don't know. Like Maybe someone else, like a third party, set it up. Maybe it's Alan's choice to use that name. Maybe it's Alan's choice to use that weird picture of those three men that are like quite burly and out in a tropical country, it seems. I, I don't know. But it's a good question, isn't it? Uh, my, my only guess is that someone else might have done it for him. Uh, and you might have like, because it's someone else's account, you might hand over your account to someone else, might you like, oh here, log into this. Um, it's strange that it had VIP status for three years because someone has to pay for that. My daughter. Where are we at? I just skipped by just mistake. Me. A solo is solo. You sang the same song. I agree. Look, he's singing solo. He's singing solo. Duet is green. This has nothing to do with me. And that's what's going to get this man arrested. Because he's accused me... The, the reason that I've said those other things about, you know, people could have bought the account or, you know, what paedophiles do on the internet is because that's the, the non-scape part. I'm not saying Alan's a paedophile. I've not suggested anything bad about his use of Smule. I'm saying that other people do it. It's, it's already out again. there on the I internet. Be happier. Swish, tap, tap, sent to peas. Up why bum ad? We love Super Chuffer. I'm the daddy now. Super Chuffer owes 10 hugs. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Alan gets angry and angrier and angrier every tippy that comes in. And uh, it's very clear, right? It's very clear, isn't it? That I'm not saying that Alan is a paedophile. I'm saying the, the problem Alan has in the court of public perception is that it makes him look like a paedophile because the things he's been doing on the app and the way the app is used by other paedophiles... So he's in that, like Val said it in her video, hopefully we'll get a chance to watch it tonight, because I always say, let's watch some Val, and then I never have enough time at the end. But um, Alan is smearing himself with this problem. And we're just 
bringing it to light and saying, I, I hope that Alan is not a paedophile because I don't, I'm not suggesting he is a paedophile. I'm saying he's not a paedophile. You know, it, it's very bad for people like Alan on this app. You know, what a, what a difficult world it is for Alan. Poor Alan. Alan, if anything, Alan's the victim here of kids singing with him on the app. If anything, Alan is the victim of being made to look like a paedophile by kids singing with him. These bastard kids. Sorry, not these kids. Oh, nice kids. Who's the, who's the bad person? Oh, it's me. is it me? I'm not doing any of this stuff. So it's, I think the kids are... Oh, it's Smule. If anything, Alan is the victim because Smule have allowed these kids to collaborate with him on this thing. Procuring young boys. I mean, even if I was singing with a young boy, that's not illegal anyway. But I wasn't. And here's the proof. It's white. It's a solo. Mine is a solo. Get it? Get it? Solo. Somebody's getting now, it. Here's the crap thing they've done with it. Look at this for photoshopping. So they've got this young lad who sung the same song. I've, I've took his face out. He doesn't deserve this crap. This young man does not deserve this crap from Dion. He's made the video. Look at the crap job of the photoshopping. Right, that's the same thing you posted on yours from your app, though. But you didn't take the face out, so it's your photoshopping then? Because if it's not blurred, I showed a blurred picture. I'll keep going over it. Why is yours not blurred? You've never had from me a non-blurred picture. So where have you got this one from that you've had to put the red on? That must make sense. White solo. White solo. This is me doing the solo. This is him doing the solo. And they've photoshopped it together. Look. Look so you're saying line. you're saying you photoshopped this then, Alan? Because you can't say I'm doing. It's photoshopped, he says. Good detective work, guys. But he's proved that I didn't photoshop it because Larry, it's not a blurry picture. Tougher. You're in the crap. No, you're in the crap. I'm pressing charges. You get of me? What? You hear me? That's a duet. Yeah. The line. Yeah. The police will see it's photoshopped. No, they the won't. Police will understand their lie of saying I'm procuring young boy. What about metadata, you metaplonker? What about websites and record? Like, do you think because your account it's suspended? And then from Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. Super Thank you, Nancy. Three hugs. Come on. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> I'm your daddy now. Uh, the uh, <laughs> Alan, the police have got all the metadata. The website, Smule, have suspended your account. They probably forwarded it immediately to the police. <laughs> Like, all the metadata, all the when you went on, not just like, you know, there's the metadata of these videos, they'll exist, who who created it when and whether it was exported from Photoshop or, you know, whatever, that'll exist. Obviously, it won't do me any problems, it'll prove my point, but the metadata on the internet and Smule will still exist in their servers. So whatever you've been doing, whether you've deleted it and whether your things look clear or whatever, I don't know. But whatever you've been doing, they will have an account of that. Your account is not in the bin burned. They haven't deleted the hard drives. They've suspended you from it. <laughs> okay? So the Metaplonker is shitting his own bed again. <laughs> if you want to take things to the police and ask them to investigate, they will have to take your computers and your hard drives off you and find out all the stuff you've been looking at on the internet, won't they? <laughs> And the comments underneath have all been recorded calling me a P and God knows what else. And the fact that these passive aggressive saying, I'm not calling AD a P. That's not passive aggressive. No, you're inferring it. And that's, that's even worse. I'm not inferring it either. And what you inferred earlier, you know, you said earlier, has he got, I don't know if he's got a criminal record. You're doing it to me today, gaslighting and, and doing all that. I didn't do that. So fuck you. I didn't do it. It's very clear. And I think if anyone wants to know whether it's clear or not, they should go and watch the video. <laughs> Because you incited hatred, I might get my house burnt down. <laughs> That's what you've done, Larry. <laughs> and you will Larry. pay the consequences. Larry. Larry. You will. Larry. Ooh, Larry. Now, the video Ooh. has been taken down by YouTube. No, it hasn't. It's been put That's back so up. It got, it got taken down because you flagged it for child protection. And they looked at it and said, what are you on about? This video protects, it, it protects children you're saying that these, this video is bad and it's not. <laughs> it was. Big up, Snood, you spot, you spot the behaviour, well done. Um, we'll put, you know, we're very, we're very welcoming in this chat. I, I know that, uh, Snood, you don't really like, uh, Sarah's been given the lecture on how to, how I want to, <laughs> I wanted to moderate. You, you just understand the internet and you're my good friend, so you get the privilege, but don't feel you have to worry too much. But if you want to, fine. I always back the mods. 
100%. If you see someone and you think, look, this is just too much or I'm having enough of this, they get timed out for a, as a, you know, one strike and then they can just go. And if someone comes in and says something and they're really being not good, they can just go straight off because like, we don't have time for all that bullshit and I protect the people in my chat who are good people. So it's a safe space for people and I trust the mods. There will never be a case where someone got modded out and I have to go, oh, sorry, the mods were wrong. Like, I'll always back the mods. It's fine because we haven't got time and space for people that are messing. Everyone knows not to be a dick. So if someone starts being a dick, then, you know, that's on them. And even his own, even the own gang stalkers' friends have turned on them and said it's disgusting. Even the channels that hate me have said it's disgusting. Here's the ringleader, Grumpy Granny, the one that tried to do a GoFundMe for $100,000 because she didn't want to buy... I thought she was in chat today. Am I tripping? I know it's herself. Yeah, castasizes me as a... Oh, it's Nosy Nana that was in chat. They sound the same, don't they? Comment. Banhammer, yeah. Swift, no, like in Alan's chat, there's a, there's a back and forth here, uh, sort of dialogue. Because in Alan's chat, you say like, hi, Alan, I heard you had Cocoa Pops this morning. He's like, banned, I had Frosties, banned. <laughs> so you're not allowed to even say anything. But here you're allowed to say whatever you want. But obviously you understand the difference between somebody having an opinion and somebody being a dickhead. Um, I thought Grumpy Granny... Fund me asking people to buy her a house. Hypocrite. What's this now, Alan? Hater, five years... Gang so five years ago, Grumpy Granny did something. I don't need to know about this today, Alan. It's irrelevant. What you're trying to do is you're trying to gaslight people by throwing up loads of different information, loads of juggling balls, trying to prove that there's this back and forth and all these problems, when actually you're dealing with the problem that there's these videos of you on the smule, you've done the black bed. I really think the black bed should have been front and centre. You know, you've got that black room, you've got the link with the set designer, you've got the lights, you've got all that going on. And the children thing is now thrown up there, isn't it? Like, those are the things we're answering to. Bringing up what Grumpy Granny said about her house several years ago has no bearing on this whatsoever. <laughs> Gimpy Granny says TV2, because I think Adam said in his... Uh, he accidentally misspelled it as Gimpy Granny, or deliberately misspelled it as Gimpy Granny. Maybe he's got gimps on the mind, eh? I mean, what do you think Alan's sexual proclivities are like, if he's not a pedo? Because we're saying he's not a pedo. What do you think his, his sexual proclivities are like? Do you think they're normal, like normal people? He doesn't seem to have a normal girlfriend, does he? He doesn't go around with like a nice, normal person. I wonder what his sexual proclivities are like. It's just a question. You know, everyone's got different kinks. I'm not kink shaming. You know, I'm not kink shaming. I just wonder what sort of things he, he likes doing to people. But wants you to give her £100,000 to buy a house. She's one of the worst. She's one of the worst. Because she's got intelligence. But she's dedicated to hating me. This was brilliant. She brought up, he brought up a picture of Jimmy Savile in his own broadcast about not being a nonce. He brought up a picture of Jimmy Savile in his own broadcast about not being a nonce. <laughs> when this happened, it was a joy for me. I thought, this is brilliant. I thought, this is brilliant. Do you think he likes to be pegged like Will Smith? I don't know if Will Smith likes it. He just has to accept it. <laughs> to be pegged, you need to have someone to peg you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, if, I don't know if I go for that. I don't know if, I'm, I don't know if I agree with that. Some people are like one side. Like the problem with the narcissism. This is just me talking now. I'm not saying Alan is or this, but the problem with the narcissism is that it feeds into a sociopathic, sadomasochistic sort of bent, and those sort of people that don't really feel unless someone else is hurting, and that Alan has a, has a sadistic side to him, is is a worry, isn't it? I mean, it could be fine. You can just get into spanking. You know, be, he could he could just be doing some spanking, um, pegging all the way. Okay. <laughs> Everyone thinks he loves a pegging. Pegging is the order of the day. That's okay. We can say that Alan likes pegging. It's not, you can't defame him by saying he's getting pegged. Can you? It's like, it's a bit of fun. It's not like, you know, we're defaming him. We're not like, you know, saying someone like, because it's not even a, uh, you know, it's not like a slur, is it? Kink shaming. We're not kink shaming. Your Honour. I'm here today in court to prove that I don't like getting pegged. <laughs> okay, you don't like it, but does it happen still? How do you know? How often do you get pegged? 
and uh, can you can you at the end of each session can you write me an appraisal on a, on a scale of one to seven uh, did enjoy didn't enjoy went on too long didn't go on too long enough you know can you give me a one to seven over a period of time so that we can chart your uh, your feelings about pegging over a long period of time and then we can accurately assess whether you do or don't like it <laughs> sorry I'm just why did he bring up Jimmy Savile <laughs> I'm gonna imagine you're doing a video where you don't want people to think you're a nonce, right? And you bring up a photograph of Jimmy Savile, who looks relatively like Alan, <laughs> with his grey hair and his glasses and his smug expression and his narcissism and he's thinking he's something special on the telly and he's got a history in DJing when he was young and he thinks that he's been on the telly and he's a bit of a one and he's... Uh... <laughs> she linked me to Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile? She linked me to Jimmy Savile. Did she? Well, why would you say that? That makes you sound bad. Yeah, she wants you to buy her a house for £100,000. Uh, ACW pegging is when a lady puts on a strap-on and bums you up the bum hole with it. Just to be frank, I think it's the sort of thing that we say that Will Smith is into because he seemed to be very angry about his wife's haircut or something. Don't Google it. Don't Google it. It's just a sexy thing. You know, it's not like the worst thing in the world. It's just a, you know, it's like saying someone got sucked off. It's not It's not the worst thing in the world. I don't think you can defame someone by saying they got sucked off. So. Jimmy Savile. Now, I, if you insult a woman, you call them a prostitute. If it's a man, you call them a pee. Why? Where does this come from? If you insult a woman, you call them a prostitute. He said it's earlier as well. If, if it's a man, you call them a paedophile. Is that in the handbook of how to be nasty? Who's ever said that? Where have you heard this idea that if it's a woman, you call them a prostitute? If it's a man, you call them a paedophile? Who said that? What's up, Chuffer? Snood says, Chuffer. I'm missing all the messages and emojis. Take a break. Right. What's going on? Tell me now. Are we all all right? I remember pooing in a bed. I wouldn't even know how to poo in a bed. Says Colette. <laughs> We've got the clips, haven't we? I wouldn't even know how to poo in a bed. Is it a closet gay thing, says ACW? I don't know. I mean, some people just like it up the... You know, there's sensations. Some people like the different sensations. I think it might be a dominance thing. <laughs> Is this why you need me to talk to chat? Everyone was like, oh, you've got to pay attention to chat now. I'm paying attention to chat and you're all just asking questions about pegging. I didn't want to... This didn't need to degenerate, degenerate into an episode about pegging. I'm proving Alan's a liar. He's going to say, yeah, they're saying I'm pegging. I said chuff because I was mortified at your explanation of pegging. All oh, right. <laughs> well, that's how it is, isn't it? Or is it, I got it wrong? Did I get it wrong? Martin's going to bed now. The to all this pegging talk is too much for Martin. He doesn't like it. He's having to go to bed now. Sorry, Martin. Poo in a bed after a good pegging. I don't know what whether the poo... You, you'd probably want to go for a poo before you did the pegging, wouldn't you? So that there was no pokey poo action. I don't know. I, I, to be honest, I don't know. Do you want me to tell you my story? Everyone knows my fucking story. I had this girlfriend once and she was a bit of a nutter, right? She was a bit of a nutter. Uh, I like nutters. <laughs> that sounds really bad. She was lovely. Let's say she was lovely. Bernadette wants my attention. Think what you will, I refuse to cast pearls before swine. Uh, I give up, I tried to do the right thing, I'm scared of him, I tried to expose him, he threatened me and tried to choke me up. Who's that? Alan? Bernadette. Who are we talking about here? Me, not me, obviously, because like, <laughs> I haven't tried to shut you up. Uh, Bernadette, are you okay? People are trying to get you to talk to them in chat. I mean, Bernadette might be some randomer. It might be like you. People take all these Facebook messages at, at, at face value. It might just be someone trying to disrupt and confuse people. Uh, Bernadette wants to speak to me. Okay, like if you want to speak to me behind the scenes in private, I've got email. You know, you can true binaural at Outlook me. Um, AD. Oh, she's saying she's a victim of AD. Okay, okay. Um, then true binaural at Outlook dot com. Get on that. That's my email. I can't answer on the day. I've still got an email um, to reply to from a notable creator, for example. Uh, I'm, I'm not quick to, to respond because I'm really busy doing loads of shit like sitting here talking nonsense. But email me the important stuff like that behind the scenes and we'll get on it. You know, no problem. 
you know, email me behind the scenes and we'll get on it. And simple. Okay. You want my story though, my cool story. So this girl said to me, she said, we're not having the old sex unless I can have sex with you first. And I said, well, that's fine because, you know, you can have sex with me. I want to do that. That's the point. No. What do you mean? No. I want to have sex with you first. What do you mean? I want to have sex. No. You don't mean, hello. You're not putting that in me. It's not that big. You're not putting it in me. We're not having sex then. Fine. And that evening we didn't. And the next evening, and I started getting well fed up. You did get fed up, didn't you? I did. I broke you, didn't I? Well, not. I said, all right then, fuck it. I'd had a few drinks, not things up my bum. I'd had a few drinks, right? And I was like, right, do it then, fuck it. Take one for the team. Come on then, let's have it. I had about five minutes of fucking... I didn't like it in any way. It was, if anything, it was painful. It was like going to the dentist. That's the best way I could describe it. It was like going to the dentist. I know you didn't like it, did you? No. You silly... You nutter. I'm not a nutter. I just... Then we had the sex. We certainly did. My turn then, wasn't it? it well... Was it? It's not a fight. I know, but you made it weird. Look, we're not doing relationship counselling now on the internet. I told you to never talk to me again the last time I spoke to you. You did, didn't you? <laughs> I kind of regret it, though. You know, I'd still like to maintain a relationship with you, even if it wasn't going to be... Uh, if I didn't feel I could trust you in the long run, you know. I don't know. Yeah, well, fuck you. <gasps> right, so... The... Um... <laughs> anyway, we're talking about Peggy, and we're talking about Alan. I told you my story. I had the little fucking, like, she had a little moment. She had a little moment. She had a few moments. After that, it was all, it's my, I was in charge. <laughs> that thing's going out the window. You don't need it anymore. It's been up your bum. That's going in the bin. Okay, that's going in the bin. You don't need it. What am I going to, oh, you know, keep put it back in your handbag. No, just fucking put it in the bin, mate. You don't want to touch that anymore. What does the dentist do to me? I would complain. Well, at least they give me a fucking anaesthetic. Jesus. Anyway, look. Armchair detective. I mean, I've lived a life. Let's just say I've lived a life. <laughs> Armchair detective, when the mask slips, is Jimmy Savile. He's brought it up himself. He's saying it on his own stream. It is defense of himself not being a nonce. He's drawing attention to the fact that him and Jimmy Savile have some ties. Or someone said that they had some ties. And I said they got some ties because they got some similarities because they both were into the DJing when they were in that era. They both got the same sort of hair and they have similar glasses. <laughs> This is so childish, Grumpy Granny. You're, you're surely you're better than this, but you're not. You're one of the, you're one of the man in America's best friends. You all work together to raise money to sue me for something I haven't done. But I'm taking this, I'm not taking this man to court. The police are. So that's the difference. So that's one of the gang stalkers. There she is. Spends her whole life, five years, hating me. Watches everything. Do you know what? After years later, I don't want to say this with someone else on the screen like this, but after years later, I mellowed and I was like, I, you know what? I now don't have to terrorise a lady in terms of, oh, can I have a go in your bum hole? Because I don't know how it feels now. I'm like, fuck it then, don't, don't bother. <laughs> if you don't like that, let's just leave it alone. Some holes are just exits. It's fine. For me, anyway, for me. I do. Links me to Jimmy Savile. Links me what to can Jimmy Savile. about it, guys? All I can do is expose it. <laughs> don't they expose. Me, don't expose your own links to Jimmy Savile. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> as I, part of your defence as to why you're not a nonce. Answer. I am answering. They asked me, why aren't you answering the allegations? I'm answering the allegations. Thank you're you, liars. Val. Thank you, Val. Hypocrites. And you're demented. Thank you, Val. Because Val, Val said you've got to answer this, you know, and I said it as well. But I, I believe he listens to Val. So <laughs> this feels to me, after I watched Val's video after, uh, you know, after the event of this, uh, I felt like it, it, he'd watched it. I felt like he had. He must do because Alan goes on the internet and types in his own name and searches for himself, doesn't he? Because he must do. Same man, Martin. Five years. He's made over 2,000 videos against me. Has he? Because there's only 181 on the screen there. 
Alan says he's made over 2,000 videos about me and it says clearly on the screen 181. <laughs> All against me. All, All against me. All against, against me. <laughs> to destroy me. What you do is you go on the internet all the time it's talking a load of shit and we can't keep up with it, Alan. Like, we can't keep up with it. You think that there's a lot of content made in retaliation to your bullshit. We can't even keep up with it. If you are ever going to suggest that anyone's obsessed, then you're going to have to put into the public contention your own hours and hours of bullshit. This nonsense... To be like, it's one thing for Martin to be making his videos. It's quite another for you five years later to be complaining about the same fucking five years ago. This woman wanted a house. They've been doing this for five years. They said I was taking kids from Bosnia. Like, it's it's one thing for it to have been said over time. It's quite another for you to dedicate on your Nicola Bully inquest broadcast an hour long segment to fucking ranting and raving about it. So if anyone's obsessed, Alan, it's you. <laughs> And he always will be. This is a man accused me and Dr. B, who's a real doctor, because she's from Bosnia. We were exporting children from Bosnia to America. What? Talk about embedded confessions, mate. This is a man accused me and Dr. B, who's a real doctor, because she's from Bosnia. We were exporting children from Bosnia to America by them ordering a pizza. We would transport. It's not funny. It is a bit. Well, it could be funny if it was. If it's not funny, it's serious and tragic. But if it's not serious and tragic, it's kind of funny. But uh, you're exporting children from Bosnia like pizza. This is this thing again. It came up last time. He had a rant when I kicked him off about. Uh, like he had a rant about the trolls and he got them in a bag and like, we've got all the clips. So he, he elevated it to his next level. They're going to burn my house down. They're going to try. And, You'll get me killed. You'll get me killed. And uh, they say I've been moving pe children like pizzas to America. So, so now, though, on his own show, where he wants to prove that he's not a nonce, at the end of the Nicola Bully inquest, he's raving about how people have said he was transporting kids from Bosnia to America like pizza orders, which is fucking weird because in the context of what I've been suggesting about like, you know, how bad he looks on the internet, you would put that thing in the box of all. I'd like to find out more about that and dis discover more about where this idea came from because it, it goes with the non stuff, not against it. <laughs> That's what he was saying. And people actually believed him. Nosy Nana's saying about sub numbers and people think Nosy Nana's Alan. Now, let me tell you something about sub numbers, Nosy Nana, right? YouTube now, sub numbers is like, it's like an old person saying that their car has got like a V8. No one gives a fuck. We're on a new generation electric vehicle. Sub numbers are basically irrelevant, okay? What's relevant is engagement, view count, and growth. I think more important than, than a sub number. Because you can literally buy a sub number in a call centre in India. Over years, you can gain lots of subs. And then they can just stop watching and turn off. And if that happens, your channel is... If people have subbed to you and they're not watching your stuff, YouTube, if you've bought the subs as well, YouTube thinks your channel is rubbish because it's dead. There's not engagement. There's not uh, interest. The, you know, it's about your numbers compared to your subs. So if you've inflated your sub numbers over time, like Alan has, it's a mistake. And in the long run, it makes him look bad. You might get to 100, you might get your, your, your button. People will assume you've bought it because they'll look at your videos and say, how come you've only got like 2,000 people on this? How come this guy, Super Chuffer, right, have a quick compare, a quick dick measurement. Let's have a look. Super Chuffer, right, Super Chuffer has got 7,500 subs on the way to, come on, everyone, sub, 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 on the way to 10K, growing, yeah? And Nicola Bully, No Justice, Inquest Day 1, got 14,000 views. So I got twice as many views as subs. 14K, 7.5K subs. This is good. This is good. It's not like, oh, they all watched it and they didn't sub. They're not all, they don't all. That's not how it works. I've got more people watching my stuff than I have subscribed to my channel. I'm a growing channel with a positive 
balance on those metrics. It's good for me because it helps me to grow. YouTube thinks this is going well and I've got lots of engagement and lots of metrics. People tippy and all that as well. YouTube likes that. You know when people super chat, YouTube likes that, believe it or not, because they get a cut, don't they? So that's all going well, right? Let's have a look at Alan. Alan Vinicum or the Armchair Detective. Let's have a look at Armchair Detective Blue. Armchair Detective Blue has got 8,000 subs, 1.8 thousand videos. Like he said, the other man had thousands of videos. So it looks like you're pumping out videos desperate, pumping them out desperate. Just, you know, trying to, instead of, instead of lots of people viewing one video, you've got a smaller amount of people viewing lots of videos. It doesn't look as good on YouTube. You've got 8,000 subscribers. And on here, your Nicola Bully, your latest Nicola Bully inquest, got 2,000 views, 4,000 views. 2,000 views. They're the videos. Your lives got 6,000. Oh, it's a bit better. This one with the black coat man and like, you know, all that shock, shock, shock horror, 10,000. Super Chuffer got more views than you. Your latest one got 6,000 views. Super Chuffer got more views than you and has fewer subscribers by a massive margin, the subscriber number. So Super Chuffer's channel is going a lot more, well, it's going a lot better. YouTube will look at this and say 80,000 subscribers, but you can't get 8,000 views on a video as a regular. Not even 10% are watching your stuff. That's bad. This channel has died. It's getting resurrected because of Nicola Bully. There was a sudden resurrection because of Nicola Bully. You know it, Alan. I know it. We all know it. But other than that, this channel's died. And it doesn't matter if you buy another 20,000 subscribers from a call center in India. It doesn't matter if you buy thousands of views for your, your, your episode because they uh, YouTube understands where those views come from and the metrics. It, it doesn't think you're worth sharing. It doesn't think you're a big growth, in, interesting. It thinks you're an idiot that's on the way out. YouTube has got a sense, like it's got algorithms, but it's also got humans working in the background. It's got a sense of where it wants to go with its content and it's got a sense of who it wants to be on the, f the front page you know, to, in order to get shared on YouTube's front page, you have to tick a load of boxes. I might not tick them because sometimes, you know, today we just talked about pegging, but <laughs> you can't tick them. And not only can you not tick them, you're not, like, it doesn't like what you're doing. The, the metrics tell it not to like it. So numbers and subscribers, you can wave your dick around and say you've got 80,000 subscribers, but it actually looks stupid. It looks bad. Because when you say it in the same breath as, but only 7,000 people are turning up and please, Nancy, give me $200, it looks pathetic. What's happened for you, Alan, is that you had your moment, right? You had your moment, right? 81K, not 8K. Yeah, no, 80,000. Yeah, 80,000. Um, so... He's had his moment, right? The moment was earlier, before the Nicola Bully stuff, and he failed to capitalise on it and move forward and solidify on it. So what happened is it died. If you've got 80,000 subscribers and you're not getting all the views, it died a long time ago. I don't know when. I've not been following him all that time. But if I scroll down, it, before Nicola Bully, it was in the fucking doldrums. 1,000 views, 1,000 views, 2,000 views... That one got 7,000, 2,000 views, 2,000 views. This is the buying Kobaj, you know, he's desperate for it. He's struggling, struggling, dead channel. 80,000 subscribers, 2,000 views, struggling. At some point, Alan was on the curve up and he was at the peak of his channel and he failed to maintain, capitalize, not capitalize is the wrong word. You know, he failed to connect with the audience. He had that point where everyone looked at him and subscribed to him and then they've decided not to go back. That's what's happened for Alan. So 80,000 subs looks bad. It's, it's actually a negative. I would be really interested, Alan, because with your art channel, you didn't just start a new art channel, did you? With a new channel. You used an old channel, repurposed it because it's already monetarized. But I'd be interested what would happen, Alan, if you and I both started a fresh channel tomorrow, just a fresh channel with nothing on it, and we said, let's go. Are you going to get 80,000 again? Ever? Can you ever even peak over 10? Like, jealousy is not a healthy thing, says Anthony Lee. Exactly. Exactly, Anthony. Jealousy is not a healthy thing. And the way that Alan is jealous of the Super Chuffer's view count is incredible. Because the Super Chuffer, me and my third person, Super Chuffer, me, right? Got too many windows. Give me a second. Alan said it, literally. They're stealing my views. 
he tried to shut those women down, didn't he? Don't go on the internet, you women, because, you know, I want the views and you shouldn't have the views. Yeah? Do you remember? Alan is in this weird competitive mindset that... Super Chuffer. Like, Alan is jealous of Super Chuffer because Super Chuffer got 12,000 views. I didn't do six different videos in one day so that my metrics look good on my... Like, the same 2,000 people watched six different videos, so I got 12,000 views. I did one video, and I got 12,000 and 14,000. And Alan did two videos and got 2,000 and 6,000. So he's jealous of the Super Chuffer by his own account, by his own metrics because I'm getting more views. He's also jealous of the Super Chuffer, right? Alan is also jealous of the Super Chuffer because if you go on this other channel, Armchair Detective Red, and you look at the videos here, right? Down here, Alan did some videos called Body Talk, and he's an idiot. Right, body talk, he called it. He's an idiot because YouTube doesn't call it body talk, it calls it body language. So the algorithm's not going to understand what you mean, you fucking idiot. That's why we shouldn't have used nonce, we should have used pedophile, but I said he's not a pedophile. These videos for Alan doing these body language analysis got less than a thousand views. Body talk. Jody Arias, body talk. 700 views. 700 views. Yeah? His body language talk videos, body talk about the McCann's, 1,000 views. 1,000 views for body talk with AD, the McCann's. Yeah? Super Chuffer. Search body language. And it's not because you didn't do the right terminology. That was stupid, Adam not to do the right terminology, but that's not the reason you didn't get a lot of views. You didn't get a lot of views because it's shit what you've done. But what I've done, body language, my my body language videos get fucking loads of views. They're the, the flag mast of the channel. People got 30,000 for Paul Ansel. Uh, Alison Hammond, 4,000. Body language view videos from me, analysis from me, body language analysis, the things he copies from our channel, the ideas he steals, he wishes he could create. I proved it because on his channel, he made these videos and they were awful and people didn't think there was much there and not worth doing. He had to give up on it. But on my channel, I did Madeleine McCann body language, right? And I got uh, 8,000 views. That was one of my earlier bigger views on the channel. So AD Live now talking about me because he wants me to stop doing what I'm doing. We'll watch him in a minute. We'll finish what we're saying first, thank you very much. I'm not going to be pushed around by him. But I'm proving the reason he's jealous of me. Agreed? Agreed. Jealousy is a terrible thing, Alan. Well, some did. This is the worst. He's the worst. He now lives in England. He's been doing these videos for five years. You want me to answer your allegations? I'm answering your allegations. I'm this up in the playback speed. Spends his whole life desecrating me, character assassinating me. Desecrating like you're dead. Whatever. I know we're all tired, but this has got to be done. And here's one of the worst. She's called Val. Val. She's got black short hair. She's the one that said. She's got. She's got black short hair. So that's. It looks a lot like those paintings that he did as well with the black short hair. We'll go back to that sometime. She's got black short hair. That's a feature he wanted to pick out from you, Val. You've got a nice haircut. Sharp. I saw you had it cut the other day. It's nice and sharp. I like it. Sharp like you. That was a very sharp, sharp-minded person. Uh, Nosy Nana again with the haters comment. You're the hater by saying it. It's weird. It's like no one's mentioning all these weird... Like Nobody talks in those terms anymore. <laughs> haters. Gonna... Yo, haters and scrubs. Like, what are you, where are you coming from? <laughs> 1990. And kill me. And she keeps denying it. She said, I will find you, I will kill you. Bringing this, this up again, one of the she worst. quoted a film. Black, Black she did a quote from a film. Like earlier on, I did a quote from Full Metal Jacket. It doesn't mean I'm a soldier. Who spends her life trying to destroy me. She's made this video. If you go to her channel... Join his live. I can't join his live. I'm blocked. He's desperate for me. He's desperate to, for, to distract from what we're doing. 
That's what he's trying to do. He's desperate to distract. What, is he on the blue? He's not on the blue, is he? Is he on the red? He's not live now. If he was, I would assume he's trying to, you know, distract. He's not live now. You know, if, if other people think he is, I'll go back to it and check it, but he's not live now. Truth be told, right? Exposing the online... Lottie says he is as well. Like, is he though? Because like, there's his channel, look. Lives, not live. And then the blue one. Like, this is no good advert that I'm showing him on the channel. Like, it's no good advert for him. It doesn't matter. Like, it's not like, oh, he's got his channels up on the channel. Well done. He's not, he's not live. He's not. He's scared. He's watching this and he's trying to control three different fake accounts in the chat. Predators, right? I'm a granddad. I don't even go to the house. And she does this with this poor boy, photoshopped. So she's photoshopped it as well, even though I just gave her permission to upload the video that I created because get it out there, share it far and wide. It's the damn truth. This is me. This is the boy photoshopped. And she's put this on a channel. This is an old woman putting this child through this. You're putting him this. through it, Alan, because it came from your small account. It's all come from you. You are putting them through this. This man. This is photoshopped. And I proved it. No, you proved that, if anything, the only person who could have photoshopped is you because you showed pictures without the blur and I've never uploaded pictures without a blur or a black line. You had your own red thing on it and the face under there was uncovered and it came from your app. So you proved the opposite on your own show, which is fucking stupid. Please go and leave a comment. Go and leave a comment on a, on a video. What a terrible man I am. Please go and leave a comment. Alan says, so he's repeating what it says here. Please leave video comments here to his own audience because he wants to inspire them to try and do his dirty work. That will be taken down. That video will be taken down next. No, it won't. Disgusting. And if it does, they'll She's win the, the appeal and it'll go back up. Dedicates her life to trying to destroy me. Never sees any good in me. Everything I do. Like, because someone makes a 10 minute video every now and then, like, doesn't mean they dedicate their life to you, Alan. Like, that's narcissism. Who's wrong? The You're right there. How very rude. Who's being rude? Alan being rude to you. Or I hope I wasn't being rude. Liar, crook. Got you. A con man. Bermuda rain, eh? Yeah, you like it in Bermuda, don't you? Wonder why you like it in Bermuda? Bermuda. He is the, he is Who the... wouldn't? Who wouldn't like it in Bermuda? It, it sounds much more appealing than grotty Thailand bar. You know, Alan, do you enjoy it in Western Supermare? Why does, it, why does he have to, like, say something about someone? Like, what I say about Alan is just facts of the matter. I'm not like saying, oh, and then I bet you'd like it in Bermuda, wouldn't you, Alan? Like, you know, he's such a petty little vindictive snide. I wanted to beat them all. The scaredy cat, sly, sly one that goes and around. Now he's, the thing I just accused him of, he's now throwing out at Truth Justice because he felt it in himself when he did the snide thing live on the internet. He thought, oh, I'm being a snide there. Yeah, yeah this one's a snide. Classic Why narc. people I know? Saying how terrible I am. She's the one. Uh, this is part of his hour-long rant. I've, I've sped it up now. I, I really do need to try and get through these a bit more quickly now. Um, I think I've made all the points about the facts about these children and this smule thing. So I think I'm glad with that. So we're on a slightly higher speed. And I'm going to speed him up once more to see if we can tolerate it at 1.5 speed. Because now he's going through all this old stuff over and over again. It's gaslighting. We really don't need to be gaslit. That got super tougher to do this. By infiltrating his channel, poisoning him. Oh, he's repeating it. Eddie bloke on it as well on the hate train. And now she's the one that's responsible. She's was, the slightest one. It was she never was at the front. She someone else was responsible earlier. She and now in front of the camera Val was the one that was responsible. Then hides away. And now this one's responsible. And she's organised this. And it's not Super Chopper who's responsible. On the, on the eve of the inquest to try to character destroy me on the eve of the inquest, knowing I haven't got time today to fight back. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that you haven't got time, Alan. It's that I did it deliberately because I had to release it either after the inquest when it doesn't matter as much because people aren't going to be watching or when as max I had this information in my hands during this process and I thought well the day before the inquest is probably the best day whatever we've got on that day we'll go to press with and the reason is because there will be most eyes on it and that's true it made it m much more difficult for you to retaliate to it's almost Alan isn't it if someone's it's almost if Alan, Alan is are you angry that I'm a bit smarter than you in that I'm not going to say it sound like condescending in this but it's almost as if you're angry that you got like 
you know, you got done. Like I did something clever. I did do it at the opportune moment. Yes. Yes, Alan. Like you're angry about that. It's not, you can't character assassinate me for doing it. I told the truth when most people would hear it. So you can't really, oh, damn it. That went really badly for me. Oh, they shouldn't have done it like that. That's not fair. Change the rules. Like, we're on the internet. And then they say, why don't you answer the allegations? Well, because you set me up on that night on purpose. You planned this. Whole you set up those women, Alan, on that Facebook group, didn't you? Or did you? I don't know. You know, you were there to help them when they were set up. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Alan was right deep into this Facebook dispute and was there to help them because they got set up. Uh, true, uh, Rachel, Rustic Rach, had that horrible troll. And then there was someone there. It was Essex Boys Outlaw just there to help them, saying all the things that Alan usually said, right there to help them. Uh, it's almost like Alan knows about setups. It's almost like he thinks in this way. And isn't it funny that he got caught? He said he had all of us in a trap. He had all of us in a bag. And now Alan got set, set up by the simple fact that I told the truth on the most important moment. It's not massively set up, is it? I didn't have to, like, you know, I didn't have to get Top Cat and Officer Dibble on it, did I? You know, I didn't have to set you up. Like, I might have pulled the strings like the wooden tops, though, might not I? Weeks. These people are organised as a gang. And they pile on. And you should see the chat. You see the chat here, you're lovely people. Go and look at their chat when they write about me. Look what they write about me. I'm in my 69th year. I don't need this. I love... There he is. Write stuff about him. It's above my head now. Write stuff about him. My community here. I love talking about crime. But I can't go on with this much longer. The accusations are, are outrageous. What it is, Alan, is you can't go on much longer with the diminishing returns on your ever-increasingly chaotic bullshit. It's five years. All these people I'm showing you, five years. They just hate me. I don't mind them hating me, but not the accusations now are not not fair. It's just not right. It's not it's not cricket to call a poor old man a, a pee. It's not cricket, so I should go in and fit some uh, framework of dispute between two gentlemen on YouTube between Alan and me. It's not cricket. You stole my video and put it up on your channel. We're not playing cricket. Because I sang karaoke on a karaoke app. It's not because you sang karaoke. I've not read my email, no. Essex Boys Out, you are banned from the main channel, but you're here now. Uh, it's almost as if I called you and you arrived. So careful or you get banned from this one. Obviously, you know, we've got your number. That is ridiculous. And I hope karma gets you all. That's all I can say. I hope karma gets you all. And here they are in Larry Super Chuffer's chat, Super Justice, all backing him up, all giving him yep. tips. Oh, you're great, Larry. They're all happy with the work I'm doing. They all think it's good. You don't have this same support, do you, Alan, from a community on YouTube? Harry, Scott, you're great. There they all are. Apart from genetic code, he seems to have gone a bit off the reservation. And they tell me they're not a gang. There's Val. They're not a gang. That's a gang they? proof. That must be they're our sign. Gang, they? They don't Laughing work face. No, of course not. No, they all do it individually, don't they? Yes. Grumpy Granny. I don't know. Who, I've never heard of Grumpy Granny until you just drew my attention to them. They're not a gang, guys. They just happen to be um, a gang. Stalkers. Where's his new profile pic, says Martin. I can't find him. He's removed the dog. Where can we find him? This is their... Please note, these are just very close-up comments from where, when, what. Like, this is not... If you took this to court, I would just have it thrown out because there's no... You haven't shown the context. So I don't know if this is just your own Photoshop effort. Like, he shows this stuff as if it's proof and it's to get people wound up. and It's, it's, it's all he's got. It's, it's, it's very weak, this is. This is very weak piss. Like, oh, someone left a comment 17 hours ago about his Facebook page. He might not even be talking about you, Alan. Like, you can't prove that because you've not had the context shown. And that's because you don't like to show the context because it makes you look bad. Like when you clipped me talking about your daughter and you didn't show the bit before and the bit after. You just showed the very narrow framework. You don't like it when people do that to you. It's, it's, a, it's because you haven't got much to go on. Like, you haven't got much to show. Addiction. I am their addiction. Look how addicted they are. Okay, Jessica, Jessica Boys down. Outlaw, I will look at it, but I'm, again, fair enough if you sent it me today. You know, I'll be open-minded. I'll be open-minded. But uh, you understand that we had, and today, have had a lot of Alan accounts, and you're close to being thrown in with them, and you understand why. So I will read your email, but, okay, you've got nothing to do with AD. I will be open-minded to that. Uh, I'm not doing it right now, okay? Where is he? They already destroyed my Facebook. I'm deceased on Facebook. I'm happy. I'm right behind you, mate. Happy to help with the legal fees when he comes after you. 
Well, it won't be any legal fees. She adds those words when they comes after you. She didn't, she didn't say that. He adds things. He embellishes things. Today we've done him for lying, 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 lying and making things up. Because it's criminal and I will press charges. As soon as possible. It takes a while. So he thinks by saying, I'm not accusing Alan of anything. What, but then he goes on to imply it. And these are the comments you get. Now, they decided this child that I didn't sing with is 13 years old. And that child... So now he's confused because, and he's, again, by taking things out of context, he's misrepresenting them. This becomes misinformation. This comment is about... Alan had a sex offender on his stream. The sex offender had been in prison because they'd had a relationship with a 13-year-old girl, from what I can understand. Alan defended it. We showed it in the Nonsgate stream. We showed the evidence. We showed the stream. We showed him with the man. We showed him defending it. And he said, well, it was consensual. So that's what this comment is about. Not Alan's video with children, but the man Alan had on his stream that was a sex offender. That's what this comment is about. Now, Alan is going to weave it into his narrative about himself. But it's not about him. So without the context, we're left confused. I've unspun the confusion. Either he's doing it deliberately to mislead, or he's just confused. Can't consent to what? I don't know what. It's karaoke. Anyone who's fully knows a child is underage to consent. A male could be charged with sexual encounter because that's an offence. It's a crime. ADC understand that. I've seen male pictures of that boy somewhere before. No, you haven't. There's no sexual encounter going on anywhere. That is slander. And that's what you've enticed, Larry. And that's what you've... YouTube comments are not my... I'm pretty sure, I mean, we can discuss it in court if you want, but it's, <laughs> you're confused about what it's about. It's not related to what you're saying it's about, so it's not the slander you think it is. Left under the video for people to read, which is even worse. How I'm having sex with a child from what you've put out there, I'm never- Sorry, what? Normal playback speed. Sorry. And that's what you've left under the video for people to read, which is even worse. How I'm having sex with a child, which is even worse. How I'm having sex with a child, which is even worse. How I'm having sex with a child, which is even worse. How I'm having sex with a child, which is even worse. How I'm having sex with a child, which is even worse. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying not to break out into hysterics now. How I'm having sex with a child, which is even worse. How I'm having sex with a child <laughs> from what you've put out there, I'll never know. It's disgusting. Oh, hang on. What have I done now? Stupid me. My daughter sent me this. I want you to <laughs> destroy my Facebook. I'm deceased on Facebook. It's disgusting. And I will press charges. No, you won't. And the fact you're leaving this stuff up is even worse. No, it's not. YouTube approved Some it. Some people have a little bit of sense. Hey, Scott, glad you're protecting yourself. It's important to have all the facts. I definitely think AD has the potential to be a predator, but I'm reserving the judgment. All oh, right, fellas. And this is a nice one. The cringe factor has always been off the charts with AD. There's no question. He's reading comments that make him look bad on his own channel. Like maybe I shouldn't go 1.5 speed over this because it is just glorious. Maybe we should just really take this in and enjoy it. Uh, I, I was like, I'm keen to get through the stream because it's going to be a long stream otherwise, but it's a long stream then, isn't it? Fuck it, you know. Facts. I definitely think AD has the potential to be a predator, but I'm reserving the judgment. Oh, right. This is the Hamlet cigars. This is, this is, you know, the advert, you know, having a Hamlet. You know, this is Alan's having his moment. Actually, it doesn't quite tie in with the allegory for it, but I'm, I'm smoking my fine cigar while Alan is reading out comments about him being a predator on his own channel. There's <laughs> the potential to be a predator. But I'm reserving the judgment. All oh, right, <laughs> and this is a nice one. The cringe factor has also been off the charts with AD. There's no question about that. It irks me that people can Ooh. support him. You know for a fact he lies about information. <laughs> and this is one of the nicer ones. Why would you so put that? All right, that's on your Nicola Bully episode on your main channel on the day that everyone is watching on your best ever bit of media at the peak because what we should be doing on youtube is we should be moving for every stream not every stream can be your best stream yeah no has he really been sending the police to you out val we'll talk about that if he sends them to me it'll be a huge mistake because that would immediately go on like the list of harassment and i will be taking that further 
Like, there's no way I'll be accepting that sort of nonsense. He knows not to fuck with me. Look what happened with this. He knows not to fuck with me. And plus, it'll explode my channel into a YouTuber gets busted, uh, not busted, arrested uh, because Angry Alan threatens. Other people will talk about it, but make videos. I'll record everything. Like, you know, it won't be good for him. Or for me, it'll be, it'll, it, it will make my channel grow exponentially because I have this massive thing that I can talk about that no other people have got. Like, you know, Alan set the police on me. They're here at the door. You know, wow. Like, it would be a huge mistake for him. Huge mistake. I see it as a bluff. But he might think, right, I'll call the bluff. And he might actually call the police. And I think the police would be naive to listen to that nutter. You know, I think they'd be a bit wise to it. Certainly when the things that are said against him, he'll have to say, they're saying this about me. Here's the video. And they'll watch my video. They won't just turn up. They'll watch my video and they'll say, well, no, he's kind of got a point. He's not doing the defamation. Defamation is a civil case. This is not malicious communications. I'm answering Alan's rant about me and other people on the internet. Alan is an internet personality who is in this true crime space and he's made videos about me and taken my content. And I'm not attacking him and harassing him. I'm making my own content on my own channel. I don't go on his channel and leave comments. You know, I don't go in his chat. I'm fine. There's no... There's like the police would have to have a reason to actually come here, wouldn't they? Oh, smoking pot. Okay, well, then arrest me, officer, for like, you know, probably less than an eighth of left of pot. <laughs> and we'll, we'll do that. Like, just ridiculous. You have to protect yourself. It's too late. I will press charges. After but what you've done the joy, the real joy is that it doesn't, like, let's say, for example, right, the police come here and I have to go down the police station and fuck around all night. Like, this doesn't change. He's still doing this on his main channel, on the special Nicola Bully. Like, you're supposed to be making your best content every time, pushing forward. You know, you're supposed to be only as good as your last video. And Alan's last video finished with this hour-long rant where he showed his audience, if they're new, he's bringing up all of this and showing it to them, and they're going to think, who is this Alan Nutter? This this Nutter with all this stuff going on about him. And then they can look at what I've done, and they go, oh, that's who he is. And then they'll be on my, then they're coming to me. Then they're on my channel. They're, they're now enjoying this. They're pro some of them are probably here enjoying this episode today. You know, some people have probably watched his show, didn't know who I was. They've ended up here today. <laughs> it couldn't be better. This is the absolute best thing that could have happened for me. Ever going to stop, Scott, so after the thing that Alan doesn't realise is that every time we've been going through this process, every time these things are happening, I feel it's the absolute best thing that could happen for me. So if he's thinking of sending the police to me, and I'm telling you live on the internet how it's going to benefit me, every other thing he's done has helped. This will also he's got to question what he's doing. He's got to sit down and say, hang on, my approach to this is all wrong. And I've told him before how to fix this, how to go about it correctly, is that we need to talk live on the internet with each other. It doesn't have to be my show. Oh, you'll get all the views on your show. We'll do it on an on a independent. We'll find an independent to be a, a mediator. We'll, we can even charge people ticket price. The best thing about what we're doing, Alan, is we're on the internet. We're basically entertainers. Doesn't matter whether you're a crime entertainer or a cooking entertainer or a fucking smule singer. You're an entertainer more than a, a, a detective. I don't claim to be anything more than some chuffer talking on the internet. So the best thing he could do is to take this to the next level. I suggested the boxing match because Jake Paul and all those internet people do boxing matches. And I've got someone I can email who will set us up with an actual boxing ring and all of the stuff. And we can do a YouTube boxing match, like a proper one. We might even get on the card with a, a bigger event. So we could make something of it. Like, um, it, it's not just about punching him in the face in a boxing ring. It's about using our position as media producers and the problems that Alan is bringing to the table to do something positive. Well, I say positive, to do something with it in the media field because that's what we're doing. At the moment, it's a one-sided conversation from me and then Alan has his rant and then it's a one-sided conversation. Alan can be here and have the conversation if he wanted to, but he's a coward. So at the moment, we're stuck at this point. And Alan thinks, oh, I'll do this, I'll get the police and this and this. That doesn't help him. Forget whether it hurts me as well. It doesn't even help him. Because on his internet show, he's ruining his own show. He's already, that's way gone. You know, his content is crap. Decisions are bad. Fans have dwindled away. 
the pay pigs that he's got, you know, the, the one or two Nancys, the pay pigs, the people he, he milks for cash, you know, there's only a few of those left. When they get into all this stuff, they're not going to like it. Uh, he's not got a future in this field. So I've offered him, a, 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 you know, what Alan needs to do, and he hasn't understood this either, is Alan's in a position, he's failed to cash out at the opportune moment. That's what he's done. He's sat at the table too long and his chip stack has dwindled to the point where he's got no power. I'm offering him a chance, a little chip stack. I'm offering him a little, you know, don't worry about the, the poker table. We'll step away from that. We'll go to the, imagine it's a, like, you know, the debate table or whatever you want to call it. Come on an internet show. We'll give you a chip stack. You can walk away with that. You don't even have to gamble with it. You can cash out. Alan needs to try and cash out because he's not got long left on the internet. If he tries any more of this bollocks, it keeps blowing up in his face. It keeps getting worse. It keeps getting worse. He's sinking in the quicksand. He needs to reach out to me because at the moment, where else is he going to do it? Do you not understand, Alan? We might be opposed in our views and opinions and attitudes and against each other, but we're on the internet. So Chris Eubank and Nigel Benn didn't like each other, but they made a lot of money. Yeah? Like, I'm not saying we have to have a boxing match, but if you want anything out of this, this is your only chance. For me, I can do other things. I don't have to use you to make money. That's not what this is about. I'm giving you a chance to cash out in a way that... Ha I, th I would find it a lot of fun. I'd have a great time. I don't know what you'd think about that, but it's not an olive branch necessarily because I'm going to give him the lickings of a dog. I'm going to rake him over the coals. It's going to be combative, but it's his chance to make something out of this situation. But other than that, he can't. what he's trying to do is, is making it worse. I know how to work this. I'm telling him on the internet how to do it. If he doesn't take that choice, he's a naive, ignorant fool. Rap contest, yeah. If you want, Sid, a rap contest. You know, that would do. Anything like that. Imagine the views if Alan and me, head to head on the internet. We don't have to be in the same room even. Like We can start off just head to head. But imagine the views. Imagine that like, you'd want to watch, wouldn't you? So maybe his people would want to watch. He could get it all off his chest. It's just insane that he doesn't want to step up to the plate. He's a coward. But there you go. That's Alan's best chance now because he's not going to be able to be around on the internet. He's not going to grow any further. He's not going to have any big paydays. Nicola Bully has now gone by the wayside. He's going to scrape that barrel for weeks and weeks, ending up talking about psyops and black men in fields. and Sorry, not black men in fields. The black... What do they say? The man in black. Sorry. Black men in fields. The man in black, you know, in the field. He's, he's going to dwindle away, drift away. Or he can have a bit of a, you know, a moment on YouTube. I can't do it on my own. I can do my stuff on my own. I'll, you know, successfully go on on my own. But with Alan and me, this stuff that we do, you know, the next level involves us actually doing things together because it's a, a back, like we're having a back and forth on the internet do it together in the like it's like being on a um it's like donald trump and hillary clinton not having a debate you know isn't it why would they not have the debate why would they just go on separate because shows? you'd be in jail all right after what you've done to my daughter i ain't ever gonna stop scott after what you said to my daughter that's it it's not alan after what you did to my daughter, it's pathetic to try and turn it on that. It's all about you, Alan. Don't bring your daughter into this as your own shield now. Fucking hell. Uh, I'm never going to stop, Scott. Yeah, using my name now all of a sudden. Oh, getting the courage up to use my name. You can hear the quiver in his voice when he does. And you're never going to stop. These are threats now that Alan's giving to me on the internet that he said you couldn't do. Couldn't do these threats, but he's doing the threats. And I, I, you were never going to stop. You didn't stop before. You haven't stopped for years. That's my point. You should stop. You're making yourself look bad. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> You're sinking in the quickstand. Eventually you will stop and it won't be of your own accord. <laughs> Sound like a dickhead. The awful part of this is even if he's innocent, which I am, in some people's eyes this... <laughs> even if he's innocent, which I am. <laughs> the awful part of this is even if he's innocent, which I am, yeah. in some people's eyes there's slam dunk that A is a P. He's left that there. It's, I didn't do it, Alan, you did it. Um, Snowbunny999, he was offered a thousand bucks to do a debate and he wouldn't do it. Yeah, that, I've offered him that, haven't I? Or has that happened before? I've just recently offered him that. The other, I've offered him a thousand pounds to do a debate in a stream before. I'll offer him it again now. I'll give you a thousand pounds on the nose to do the debate. I'll take all the money from the debate. Or we could do the debate and you could halve the money. 
Like, you've got the choices. You won't do it, no. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks. Now, people will read that and say, oh, that AD. And people have suggested a poker game, yeah. Maybe do that. The thing is, if I wanted to, if he was still doing his poker tournaments, I could turn up at one of them and he can't avoid it. If they put me on the table with him, so what? What's he going to do? He, can't, he can just walk off. He can, it's the public then. But, uh, you know. Pete, as they say, shit sticks. What has he done? What has he done? What has he done? What have I done? I've exposed the things you've been doing on the internet and said they look really bad. It's really obvious. I made a video about it. It's really clear. He's been set up by Diem. No, not this again. He's Stop repeating right yourself, you fucking idiot. And I'm getting called this. And he's not even removing these comments. You're putting them on your own show? No, YouTube don't do a lot about it either, to be honest. This is his channel. If you report him, they rarely do it, but they have removed his video. So, will my family read this? My daughter gets told she's going to have a new daddy in a sexual way. I didn't say anything sexual. It, like, I'm going to be your daddy. No, no, I didn't say anything sexual. That's, That's not fair. I didn't say anything sexual, did I? I was being making an emotional appeal about Alan's behaviour and his lacking as a father figure. And he doesn't think he's going to get arrested? He doesn't? He thinks it's a joke? Does he? Only another four minutes to go. Did you hear him say only so another four minutes to go, right? There's actually, there's actually <laughs> 18 minutes of this still left, right? We're at 1.5 speed. Uh, he said only four minutes to go. I think he said that because he likes to run and like, he looks at the clock and says it's like five minutes. He's only done, like, I've done four hours and 44 minutes, yeah? So I need to do another 15 minutes to make it five hours and then I'll get more views on YouTube or something like that. I think that's what he thinks. Why is he timing how long there is to go <laughs> on his... Uh, on his rant. And this is it. Alan's like, he does eight hour streams on me. Alan, we're nearly up to five hours and we haven't got through 50 minutes of your rant. This is the problem with you, isn't it? There's so much content. Alan has been doing this for years. It's like a gold mine for me of content. This isn't the first time he's had a rant. You know, it's not the first load of bullshit he's put on YouTube. Alan keeps putting it out there. So... It's like a gold mine of, of, of content for me. Thank you, if anything, Alan. Well, then, no. You can yell it from the rooftops and some will believe it. Hard to come back from this, even if you're innocent. It's too late what you've done. Oh. It's too late, Larry. It's what you did. Right, so... So, now he's going to go through a list of threats, and Alan's been doing these to me in this video. <laughs> Pipe threats. Just for your, your own... If you ever you're a target, right? Here's the threats you can get put in prison for. A direct threat identifies a specific target, me, and it's delivered in a straightforward, clear and explicit manner. That's what he does. Okay, I didn't do that to you though, did I, Alan? The police will see that, that's, fine. As you can tell from the comments underneath, they're in no two minds that I'm a P, and they all agree with him, because he's told them that's what it is. That's a direct threat. An indirect threat No, it's is not. Me saying Alan Vinicom is not a paedophile, I have no knowledge of Alan Vinicom being a paedophile, I have no evidence of Alan Vinicom being a paedophile, is not a direct threat. It's not an indirect threat, and nor is it a veiled threat. But what you said earlier, and I picked them out through today's broadcast, I should have said to people, edit this when I'm saying it, edit this. I can't remember them off the top of my head, and nor do I care to. But they're in this broadcast and can be easily picked out by one of my many friends that are watching. So if anyone is watching and is one of our MIMP squad and you want to pick out any... These are the criteria that you want to be watching for. I've said before, watch for Alan on certain things. Now we've got another pin board that we need to put up. Threats. Anytime Alan's made threats... Today, he even cast aspersions on my character by saying he didn't know about my criminal record, which of which there is none, but threats. And he's been doing it today in this episode. So what an idiot. Unclear and ambu ambiguous. The plan is intended... Ambiguous. ...to victim to motivate others to threaten me. And they mask it, right? So he's doing it. He's projecting me as a P, but he pretends he's not. But the police see it, and it's called an indirect threat. No, it's and not. press charges. That's not an indirect threat. I wasn't vague, unclear, or ambiguous. No. A veiled threat is one that's strong in the pipe. These are things... What they, what the, what he, the police... Because you get called a P or an N, a paedophile or a nonce in chat, right? That's not an indirect threat. An indirect threat would be... Would be... And this is an example. So, you know, time out an example. Would be to say... Uh, something... Uh, People who talk about this sort of thing might get themselves hurt. You know, that sort of thing. It's like, you know, the way that people are vague and threatening. 
Well, what we're doing here is not that. Not with a wig on. <laughs> not that. Like violence. He's trying He's to get an idiot. He's country. such an idiot. Because it's a veiled threat. It's not a veiled threat. I'm not threatening you with anything. It's breaking the law. Conditional threat. Violence will happen. This is why Alan's so fucking out of the box as well, right? It's because, I've said it a number of times today, what's going to happen to Alan is you're all going to decide whether you think he's a fucking nutter and a, a P or an N. You know, you're all going to decide that. I'm not threatening him with anything. I have no mechanism to go and bully him or, you know, I'm not going to burn his house down. Like, I'm not threatening him with anything. I'm making videos exposing him on the internet. There is no threat. That's a fact. I'm not saying I will expose you or I could expose you. I am doing so. It is being done now. <laughs> right? So it's not, there's no threats. There's only uh, truth here. And Alan's twisting this to try and serve his own ends. And it's ridiculous. I'm not scared of this, Alan. Get, he's telling my daughter, get your dad off YouTube. Or we don't know what's going to happen to him. He's I didn't say that. To my daughter. I didn't say, or oh, we don't know what's going to happen to him. I said, you should tell him to stop because it's causing you hurt. It's causing you emotional problems in your life because your daddy's on YouTube doing shit like this. I, I'm, I'm empathizing with your daughter. I'm not threatening her. I didn't say, oh, this will happen to him. What are you on about? <laughs> Unless she gets me off YouTube, violent acts will happen to me. Because he says he can't control what other people do to me. So he's made a conditional threat to my daughter. And I will press charges. What is stalking and harassment? Stalking and harassment is when someone repeatedly behaves in a way that makes you feel scared, distressed and threatened. My daughter why, is why scared, don't you ask, distressed why, and frightened. Why, I, why don't you ask Frankie Rusick about that? <laughs> you fucking nutter. Uh, your daughter is scared because once I made a flippant comment about how you've been a bad father on my stream and, and did a, a, a joke about I'm your daddy now. It does, jokes don't stand up in court. If it's def defamation, it's still defamation. But in terms of threats, they do. It's clearly not a threat. So, not stalking, not harassing your daughter. We're fine. Everyone's happy. We're fine. I'm scared my house is going to get burnt down. You're not. Um, You're angry. Really? Oh, yeah. He will do an eight-hour program hating me. And he's done over Nearly five years. hours tonight. There are different types of stalking and harassment. Anyone can be a victim. Stalking are effects under the United States. Anyone who's ever been stalked or harassed should feel very angry about Alan using this in his defence or in his service because Alan is not a victim of stalking or harassment. And in all his work, he's looked at all these poor people who have been murdered and stalked and whatever. Like, he's looked at them. And to think that you would be so callous as to just take that and their pain and use it as your own threat. It's very strange. 1997 Act, which I know very well. He's broken all the laws he can do. He knows the Act very, he knows the law very well, wanted, apparently. emails and visits, well, he hasn't done that yet. No, I haven't done that. Harassman is unwanted behaviour that's happened more than once. I've asked him to stop, and he won't. In fact, you he can't just say, because you don't like what I'm doing, I have to stop. <laughs> as you said, the harassment is unwanted behaviour, unwanted behaviour toward you, phone calls, gifts, text messages, none of that's happening, right? Just because I'm making internet videos about what you do on the internet, <laughs> it doesn't have to stop. You're, it's like, Mr. Free Speech doesn't like what I'm saying. It's worse every day. His threats and his accusations can't no longer get any worse. He's now trying to get somebody to burn me down or kill me. That's what he wants, what? in my opinion. Because he's triggering people to come and get me. And that's what I don't run sleeper cells. No, he's obsessed with me. We know that because he'd do an eight hour show on me. He'd do eight hours on me. How would he feel if somebody come and actually burn my house down? Would he be cheering? That's a good question. How would I feel if someone burned your house down? Indifferent, probably, just indifferent. I'd hope you weren't dead because I'd like you to do more videos on the internet. I'd like you to face me on the internet. But, you know, if your house was burned down and it was on fire and it burned, I, you would lose all your art supplies. The, the gin would go up quick. Your computer would melt. So I think it'd be a shame that we didn't get your hard drives. Uh, and that'd be that. I'd just like, oh, just wouldn't give a shit, really. Is that what he wants? Pink Roses says it's still harassment. No, it's not. No, it's not. Alan doesn't have to watch this. 
I'm not going to his YouTube channel and, and putting any comments on there. Alan has made this video talking about me. So I'm replying to it on the internet. This is streaming. It's not harassment. Is that what he wants to do? Is that what he wants to do to me and my daughter? Now, before... Today's video has been all about proving Alan to be a liar. So bear in mind I've proved him to be a liar a number of times tonight about a number of different factors. Why would you believe him on this? Born in science, oh, I'm fixated. He's fixed on me. He's obsessed about me. He's unwanted. I've asked him to stop. He's repeated. Four. He passes them all. He's stalking. Asked me to stop? What do you mean you've asked me to stop? Fixated is ridiculous because I do my main it's channel on other stuff. I couldn't be happier. Swish, tap, tap, sent tippies. Everyone do a random act of kindness today. Make someone smile. It feels amazing. Good call. That's Super you know, owes 15 hugs. Over the last... Since I've been streaming this, I don't know how long with the time scale we should factor in. I want to try and factor in the £200 we gave to the guide dogs. But since we've been streaming this year, we've given like hundreds and hundreds of pounds to charity. So I'm really grateful to that because it's only because I'm being supported by one. And when we got back on YouTube after we got that Eurovision monarchy, I said I want to give a big donation. And then the other day someone gave us a big donation. So that got, you know, we could turn that into a big donation for charity. So um, they, they said specifically to do that. So I was really grateful for that. Um, yeah, it's only thanks to your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's up to two years in prison. It's up to two years in prison. No. I'm not getting two years in prison for making these YouTube videos. And there's no way out. Fake accounts, well, there's a lot of fake so accounts. So the problem Alan's got here is about personal information, communications, because he has been in my chat using my, my family's names. He has been in my chat using the name of a member of my family. So that's personal information, communication. It's been recorded. It goes in the file. Alan has done some online stalking and harassment. People suggest he's been in our chat today under different names. Alan has done some online stalking and harassment. If he wants me to prove it, I'll have to go and get the chat logs where he's used my family's name. Uh, Val read out my dad's name on the internet when she was reading his his um, his his community post. So even though he's edited it and deleted it, Val recorded it. She read it out on the internet. I've got witnesses to say that Alan has used personal information relative to me in communications, community posts, comments. So Alan should watch it, really. He shouldn't, like... He's really weird, Alan is, because he does this stupid thing of bringing something up that he's guilty of, and then we find out he's guilty of it himself. It's narcissism, but if he wants to go down this road... And he wants to get all oh, the police and this and that. I mean, he's already got the Rusek people. He's already got, like, when you talk about a group as well of harassment, if you've got a group of people supporting you and you've got one person harassing all the different people, the police are more likely to think that it's Alan that's doing the harassing than all these other people who are having to defend themselves against the harassment. Like, imagine the amount of documentation. If I said to everyone in the community, I'd like as much content about Alan, please, as you've got. Give me all your Alan stuff when he's been personally or in your comments and imagine the stuff we could th they'd throw up and put together like it's strange that he'd want to bring this up channel making these accusations against me but they're they're in danger as well because of what they write all media of them, all those threats creating fake accounts mr joe lawson damaging the reputation i don't know anything about his criminal record spamming and sending viruses uh he's got those literally there's there's websites that if you go and click on that search alan vinicum and websites will come up and they he got binned off youtube recently for phishing scam malicious communication phishing scam didn't he? he he said it was for uh he said it was for copyright but there was loads of weird email address they asked people to go to a weird email address in his chat and youtube doesn't like that because when you follow the email address it goes to a weird site and my computer won't let me see it because it says not not safe tricking other internet users into harassing or threatening tricking other people would involve telling them lies and and saying you should go to their channel and, and do this and that harassing or threatening identity theft is a bit extreme threats to share private information he's done that today he said i know where he lives i know his full name i'm not going to dox him he said that on this exact episode today he's done a threat to reveal my private information on today's exact episode 
all those words said under his videos we've kept. I told the police, the police have told me to keep all the threats. I've kept everyone. Well, if, if you have to, spoken to the police, which I do not believe you have, what they've done is they've said, yeah, keep it all in a file, mate. Write it all down. And then you've hung up and they just don't care. Said. Tricking other internet users into harassing and threatening somebody. You, Dion, have tricked this man into harassing me. Dion's behind this. The police haven't said that to him. He's looked on the internet at the advice. He's, he's gone on a website about harassment and it says there, make a note of it. And he said, the police have told me to make a note of it. You can report it to the police. They don't do a lot. But you guys can help. You know, if you see any of these threats, it's really You can help. So now he's doing what he just said. Tricking other internet users into harassing or threatening. It's like in the same breath, he's contradicting himself on this. He's such an idiot. Tricking other internet users into harassing and threatening somebody. You, Diem, have tricked this man into harassing me. Diem's behind this. You can report it to the police. They don't do a lot. But you guys can help. You know, if you see any of these threats, it's really incumbent on you to report it. If you see any of these threats against anyone, not just me, you're supposed to report it by law. If you see these threats, you're supposed to report it. And that's the only way social media is going to change if people start reporting it. <laughs> Not me, anyone. If you see anybody who's been threatened. Now, I'm dyslexic. I'm part of a protected group. He's oh. in big trouble attacking a protected group. I'm in my 69th year. Alan, I've not attacked you for being dyslexic, so I'm not in any trouble. <laughs> and I know age doesn't matter, but that's another protected group. I had trouble phoning the police. but I would I've had trouble phoning the police. Listen to this. I had trouble phoning the police, but I will do it when necessary. But I will do it when necessary. You've got trouble phoning the police because they probably understand, like, oh, this is that Alan Vinicum. They probably heard about you in your local area. You know, you're notorious for having that restaurant on the seafront that was done for the tax evasion. So you could call the police. You haven't done it yet. But you told me repeatedly in today's episode that you called the police. You've, you've gone on and on about calling the police. And then you've just said that you didn't call the police. So who's lying? You. I had trouble phoning the police, but I will do it when necessary. They've recorded the incident. That's all I, I will do. do it. I won't be um, suing him. I won't, be, I won't waste my money on it. All I've got to do is keep details only. Do you mean I will do it when necessary means I did do it? Because to me it sounds like I didn't do it, but I'm prepared to do it. You witnesses, if you've heard him saying this stuff, then you need to keep the proof as well. Keep a record of the people. Yeah, all my all my streams are up. They all sit as context. Judge can watch the entire fucking thing and have a good laugh and then find in my favour. Saying these things about me. We might need it one day. And if you see channels doing it, then it's up to you to put a stop to it. It's up to you now. Because Alan can't do anything. But I've had threats now because of what he's done last night. <laughs> and you've heard of, in, the, in, the, in England, of people burning down people's houses in the middle of the night. You've heard of, in England, people burning down people's houses in the middle of the night. We've gone to that now. When someone's just told them that someone's a pee living in their street. Can you imagine? The sort of people that go, right, let's get him. That's what he's done. That's what he's done, done that. to me. It's not, not a joke. You've done those videos. I don't even know what I'm going to do about it. Because once it's out there, it's out there. I have not sung with any children or spoke to any children online. That's what he's trying to appropriate me to. Once it's out there, it's out there, Alan said. You know, I should be doing this on... This is like his face, he's scared to put his face on because I'll do the body language analysis on him, isn't it? Once it's out there, it's out there. What's out there? The truth. You don't talk about I that. I don't even know what I'm going to do about it. Because once it's out there, it's out there. There's nothing you can do about it because it's the truth. I have not sung with any children or spoke to any children online. That's what he's trying to appropriate me to. Okay, so they took down the video. Thank you for reporting the video you found inappropriate. The video's so Alan reported my video. Falsely. It's been reported as, and it's been removed. Well, there you go, Diem, Grumpy Granny. Here's your hero. So by this point, if YouTube then reinstate my video, I will be correct then, Alan, because you're using this as support for your argument now, and YouTube reinstated it. So here you go, Grumpy Granny, Diem. Like, I got reinstated. <laughs> this video's been taken down because it's obscene. You're supposed to be helping some bloke in America because you, you have empathy. Have some empathy for me. Why? You're the narcissist who's doing all the abuse. Or at least see what you're doing. 
see the light stop stop for god's sake enough's enough surely surely a friend of ours norman actually died through so he puts the url of the actual video here which is helpful not as helpful but people can still see this video it's back up so that url now works so thanks through this same sort of stress norman Norman, who tried to help me. Norman. Died. Died. Because of this stress. I killed Norman. They don't care. I don't care. I really don't care. Okay, this video has been moved. Removed because it's violating things. Because <laughs> it's disgusting. That's why it's been removed. No, because you give it a false story. Because it's more important a gang of them. Pressing charges, Larry. Larry. He thinks he's safe. He's not. Now, this is genetic code who doesn't like me. In fact, I say she hates me. Over the years, she's always been hating me. This was kind of fun, although I'm surprised, you know, Genetic Code went weird about this. But uh, it's funny because he thinks it supports him, so he reads it. But actually, it says lots of bad things about him and he reads them out on his stream. So he says, this is someone who's supporting me and I trust. And in the same breath, he then has to read out, I'm a seedy bastard. It's funny. Fairly, right? If they Fair. cross a line, like with the fake lawyer and that, she tells them they're fake. And I thank you, Janet Code, for being an honest person. At least you're not two-faced. She wrote, What I witnessed last night was the most disgusting and disturbing play of absolute true effery in the four years I've been hating our Jedi detective. That's two not what she wrote. She said exposing and debunking, but he changed it to hating because he didn't want to say exposing and debunking, but he showed it on the screen because he's a fucking idiot. In the four years I've been hating our Jedi detective. And he laughed. Do you hear him laugh? Because he's changed the words and he realises he's been caught on the internet doing a lie. Oh, <laughs> I've just changed those words and I did, I got, I, oh, whoops. She wrote, what I witnessed last night was the most disgusting and disturbing play of absolute true effery in the four years I've been hating our Jedi detective. Too back to be exhausted. I intend to give a warning. You now have to suffer the consequences for your extremely reckless decision. Uh, I don't remember you giving me a warning. I don't give a shit. And the consequences from my extremely reckless decision are things are going quite well. Making this revolting video. Uh, Bosey, the video that I uploaded about Alan, uh, it's called Angry Alan is Not a Nonce. Here it is. It's on this channel. Uh, that got taken down. Well, not taken down. Somebody flagged it for child protection issues. So YouTube immediately you know, removed it from the public. And then I appealed that because it was a wrong thing to do. Like, they shouldn't be taking it down for that reason. I won the appeal. YouTube had a manual person look at it, and they put it straight back up. If you flag videos for child protection issues, YouTube might be careful about it. Good. I'm glad they did. When they view viewed it and looked into it, they put it back up immediately. So it's not been removed. He was too quick to judge there. He thought his little plan of giving me a fake strike would get it done, and it didn't. So the video is completely back up. It's called Angry... Armchair Detective Alan Vinicum is not a nonce and it includes all this stuff that he's angry about and the stuff that he won't really face about the black bed and the stuff like that. It includes these collaboration videos with children on Smule and you can still access those to prove that they're real so that I'm not photoshopping anything because there's the proof there in chat there. There's another link. So everything's there above board. I discovered it on the internet and I showed it to everyone and genetic codes are angry. It's been taken down, right? As for the revolting, stirring rejects, Martin Diem, Helen Schaefer... This is interesting to me as well, because there's a lot of ats here. And I know who I am, but I'm not on there. I'm the main one that she's maybe saying it about. Um, I know who Helen is and who Martin is, because they're going out with each other. And I know who Val is. I'm not sure who Truth Be Told 100 is. I think that might be Truth Justice. I don't know who Sarah Bellum Quandry is. I'll have to look at their channel now. I don't know who the Piss Fairy is. I don't know who Dark Angel is. So it's like, there's like a group of people who have been in this truth of community since before Chris Watts and, you know, and angry about Alan for the Chris Watts and Madeleine McCann, you know, there's all this backstory and all this, you know, stuff. I think the truth of community fell apart through backbiting at some point as well. So I don't know any of this stuff. I'm not really in this, but it's weird that Genetic Code did this post. It was like, Super Chuffer's done a bad thing. Uh, Battery Exhausted is the channel, the Larry channel now that we're on. But they call it Super Chuffer because that's my main channel. But yeah, okay, I'm the Super Chuffer. Um, and then all this stuff got brought in and thrown around. It's, it's the same thing that Alan does. 
like get your fucking head screwed on onto one clear point and let's talk about it let's not just like roll around in the shit and just throw the shit around and be like rah, 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 rah. it seems a bit silly because i can't really answer this i don't know what to say about any of that bow swift be told the piss fairy sorry i don't know who this is sorry buddy and them dark i don't know who they are but so-called genuine rusex supporters guess what they all knew in advance what was going to happen last night. It was all no, they didn't. They didn't all know. Those people did not know. I did forward an early version of the video that I was making to a couple of people to say, this is what I'm working on. Can you help me? And the people that I did were a little bit reticent, didn't send me any stuff really. Like, you know, uh, I even forwarded it to one of my friends who works in law in America. So like I've got this other circle of friends. I've got two different, three different circles. You know, I've got different circles of friends on the community, on the internet especially. I've got this detractor community that I'm friends with. Um, you know, I did forward my video around a little bit to a certain few people to get, uh, as I'm, as I was making it, to to you know get things in order. Um, but none of these people were, were party to that really. Uh, I think one might have been, and I'm not going to dox anyone. And say, oh, you know, this one. But you know, people I trust. Uh, it doesn't mean that they were all aware of what was going to happen. That's not what happened. Like, I didn't prep everyone. Do you know what I mean? Organised. Because they're gang stalkers. Fake as F, Cheffer and Val. Hands activity that Why? were in the live chat during the stream. Why is she so angry at these people? It's weird. Of course, Val stripped out her comments afterwards using the blatantly defamatory material to put out a video because she had to be first to disgrace herself over this. Dion made a community post 11 hours before the live stream started with her. Is it, I'm first? Is that the problem? A link. To Did I not invite genetic code like, to like a conversation or something? You know, if I accidentally not invited her into the club and she's a bit eggy, I don't know. Like, or maybe it's nothing to do with me, really. His own video a month ago. Um, I think he was sort of talking about Helen Chaffer rather than Chaffer. There's a similar name there. In the Val stream, to help push the innuendo and insinuation that Alan is a, a P word. For a man to be so obsessed with the P word, what does that say about him? Me? I'm not obsessed with it. You've been going on with it over and over. You won't even say it, you weirdo. <laughs> are you saying that people that go and bust nonces are nonces themselves? Is that what you're saying? Is that your defence? <laughs> is he gaslighting his own P onto me? What? I don't know. You're a nutty gaslighting narcissist. Am I gaslighting my own pee onto you? No. Let's get that clear. No. <laughs> Please don't make a mistake. Alan has done Columbo so in chat now, really... retracting messages. What's going on with you? Are you an Alan bot? Or have you chosen Alan's favourite television show to use and posting weird messages that you're detracting? Please <laughs> just be careful because you will get moderated out. <laughs> Creepy, pervy things that do make us whatever. <laughs> This is being honest. This is being honest. Did she just say pervy things and he's saying that about that himself? That do make us hate him, right? Side eye him, okay? Brilliant. Pervy things that do make him. gaslighting his own pee onto me. I don't know. Please don't make a mistake. Alan has done some really creepy, pervy things that do make us whatever. <laughs> He's read out on his own channel to any new people that are going to watch for the Nicola Bully inquest on his main bit on his big day, a post that he said he agrees with. She's fair. Don't Alan has done some pervy things and he's read it out on his own channel. This is absolute gold. Really creepy, pervy things that do make us whatever. <laughs> At least he's being honest. At least he's being honest. At least she's being honest. So that's true then. You have done creepy, pervy things. She's being honest. Why would you say Please that? Please don't make a mistake. Alan has done some really creepy, pervy things that do make us whatever. <laughs> this is being honest. This is being honest. She's honest. That do make us hate him, right? Side eye him, okay? But these dark accusations arise because of Martin Dean. So she's angry at Martin Dean. P word. And he's on a show that's making tippies out of calling tippies. me names. Instead of making tippies, you should go to the cops. There are special units. You can do whatever you want. You know, if you want to go to the cops, that video's out there now. If you want to take it to the cops, take it to the cops. Like, you're angry at me because I haven't gone to the cops. How do you know I haven't? 
Like instead of making tippies, instead of doing journalism on the internet, he should shut the fuck up. You should shut the fuck up. Go back in your box. I'll do what the fuck I want. Don't tell me what to do. They've been sending videos of me to the cops for five years. I've never been arrested. I've never been to court. I've never done anything wrong in my life. Hello? As Alan just said, I've never been arrested. I've never been to court. I've never done anything wrong in my life. So what about the... <laughs> what about the tax thing? And the being disqualified from running a business? That's not right, though. That's not good. Is it, Alan? Oh, that's on your record. Oh, well... Well, there's no way back for them now. Police know they're a gang. No. If ever, ever I go to court with the boy from America, this will come out. No, it won't. You, If you go to court for Frank Rusek's defamation, what will come out is all the things you've said about Frank Rusek, and you will have to defend that. On the other side, if you say, somebody, Martin says I'm a fucking thing on the internet, they'll say, okay, who's Martin? I don't care. Shut up, Alan. That's not relevant to this. The judge will be angry that you're trying to just bring random bollocks into your case. Oh, but other people are bad to me on the internet. We don't care what other people say about you on the internet, Alan. You're here to defend yourself from the defamation reset case. So we're going to be looking at the things you've said and you need to defend yourself. They're bad people over there. They said bad things. Okay, guilty. Go, take him down. Like, they're not going to care. This is just, just Alan throwing out this. He's trying to, what he's trying to say is the people that support the reset case Okay, um, they're really deep into this. You know, they've done the crowdfund. They've got the uh, the court case thing. I don't know much about it. You know, I need to ask people and have them on the show and talk to them. Don't know too much about it, but that's going on. And he's trying to threaten their progress. He's trying to use my stuff to threaten their progress. So Scott's doing this stuff and he's threatening you now. So you Rusik people, you should get on Scott and tell him to stop. You don't need to worry Rusik people. What I do on the internet has no bearing on what you're doing. It has no bearing. The judge won't care. It's ridiculous. He's just trying to turn people against each other and cause dysfunction where there is no, there's not even function. I don't even talk to those people, so it doesn't matter. There's no coming back from what they did last night. The whole lot of you are sick, twisted misfits and make me sick. Genetic cold. Thank you. Yeah, ending up bankrupt. He's going to, um, Fiona, I think he's going to, it's important to me that publicly he is morally bankrupt. It's it's important to me that publicly he can't save face from this. The, the truth is true and real and people are seeing it. And it's great that he's doing this on his own channel because if, if anything, this is the best advert for what I've been doing because people are going to want to see the video and make up their own minds. They're going to want to see the follow-up stream that we're doing like this one and make up their own minds. And the more and more we can talk about it, the more people that might hear it and come forward from other places and have other stories to tell me. And the more I get, the more I will then go cross check, verify, and then bring to the table. And the more and more it happens, the worse and worse it's going to be for Alan. You can't be a conniving scumbag on the internet and make money from your loyal supporters and grow. You know, you can't have it both ways. Like the internet and YouTube is not about whether someone sent the police to your house. The internet and YouTube is about whether people want to watch your videos because they think that you're a decent chuffer. And if you're not a decent chuffer and they see through you and the mask slips, it is over. Thank you. Even though you hate me, you're still fair. Finally, someone told me, I know there was a lot of people reporting last night. Some of them are my enemies. And I said, yeah, that poor kid being dragged into this because of their hate wagon. Uh, you dragged the kid into it when you had them on your small account public on your small account. I found them through your small account, Alan. Don't try and protect yourself by using kids as a shield. That's ridiculous. We did nothing other than make a video about a song on his own. With you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is this guy. Me. He does eight hour videos about me. But it's Alan, never makes videos about other, uh, never makes videos about other content creators. Uh, he says, but what he does is he makes the videos and then he deletes them. And Alan, we're into an hour long rant on your main Nicola Bully content about me and all these other people. So if you want to say that we are obsessed with you because we're making content about you, you have to take it on board that you are also obsessed with us because you're making content with us. And not only that, you're obsessed with the, the children that died in the Chris Watts case. You're obsessed with Madeleine McCann, who was a poor child that people say was abducted but may have been murdered. You were obsessed with, like, you know, let's look through your channel and see all the different dead children that you're obsessed with. The John Bennett Ramsey, you know, those 
poor girls in Idaho that got knived. You seem to be obsessed quite heavily with children and young vulnerable victims, females, who have been murdered. That's your obsession. If you're going to judge it on your own on your own criteria of how many hours of content there are made by a person about a subject, you are obsessed with that. I am most obsessed with ASMR because my ASMR channel... Oh, I don't want to click that because I'm going to... We, my daughter sent me this. I want to be I'm over here, don't I? Daughter, again, a lot of fake bodies. But because she had to be first. To, this is, Where are you, Alan? No, even though you have a better... There you are. Um, super chuffer. Like, this is the stupid thing that Alan doesn't... Like, this totally undermines what he's saying. Super chuffer, my main channel. Yeah? The main channel. On the live streams there... I seem a bit obsessed with, I suppose, what would you say? True crime, body language, uh, stuff like that. A bit of variety. There's no mention of Alan. <laughs> we, his name came up in a couple of streams recently because of all this business. But Alan does not feature. Not on the videos, not on the lives. Then I've got these other channels. So Ganji Impact, my second obsession. If you want to count up the hours committed. This is hours committed to Genshin Impact. <laughs> So I'll accept that you could call me obsessed with Genshin Impact. Then the next channel that you would say is the most prolific would be True by Normal ASMR, which has got hours and hours of ASMR videos and content. Like I'm a variety content creator, and one of those bows in my arrows, you know, one of, one of those strings to my bow, one of those arrows that I fire, is on Battery Exhausted. We do live streams about idiots. And it's not just you, Alan. Look, there's Dark Side Phil... And there's uh, Martin Leeker. But you, more than anyone recently, have been on those live streams. But it doesn't become obsessive because by your metrics, it's not the content that I make the most of. Yes, there's some big streams there, but as part of a variety offering on different platforms across my media content. So I don't count as being obsessed by with you, by your metrics. But you, Alan, by your own metrics, right? What you are is obsessed with dead kids and murdered people by your metrics yeah we're agreed with that aren't we you're obsessed with dead kids and murdered Nicola Bully and you know murdered Chris Watts's kids and all like the number of hours and hours and hours you've poured into looking at and talking about that it seems that would be your obsession which is fair enough some people are obsessed by true crime you know some people are obsessed by the savage murder of children i guess how do i get the time for all those channels uh put work in i guess uh built it up over a long period of time val and not everything gets serviced all at once i'm trying to build up a team of editors so that i can do more live streaming and edits can end up on these different channels and it can help to um maintain them but yeah maintenance of a channel is a difficult thing it is ladies and gentlemen it's this guy thank you dream big because eight hour videos about me but he's not obsessed, is he? At all? No, Alan. At the end of this, I'm not going to think about you tonight after this episode. I'm going to love the rest of my life and enjoy myself. When we're doing you, we're doing you. It's a topic on a stream. I'm not obsessed by you, and it's a strange thing to suggest. But of course, it's the language of the narcissist, so it's to be expected. And if you support him, then you have to live with that. So now he's attacking you. Because you support me. You're here in chat. You're being positive. You know he's attacking you as well. Support him. You have to live with that. Thank you, Hugh London Mental Health and Crime. I'm sorry for what your daughter had to go through. With. Huda has been on our channel before. Huda, are you that nuts that you believe is bollocks? <laughs> I know Huda. Like, I've seen their own channel. Like, you know, he looked at one of their videos on our channel. Why do I... Every time I advocate for a channel, they turn out to be a fucking nutter. <laughs> Um, Huda, what are you doing in there? Do what you like, you know, but I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Don't just because a man says aggressive things about women. Like, he's saying aggressive things about his daughter. I didn't say aggressive things about his daughter. He miscontextualised me. Even the things I said weren't aggressive. They were compassionate. When you listen to the words I said, they were compassionate, Huda. And don't be misled and manipulated by this man. Live with that. Thank you, Hugh London Mental Health and Crime. I'm sorry for what your daughter had to go through. We won't have disagreements, but we need to show respect and boundaries towards each other. That's what I told Alan. That's what I told Alan. Don't go near my family. But then Alan started using the names of my family in my chat. So 
Uh, Alan crossed that boundary. You know, Alan threatened me with doxing. Alan said that he knew where I lived. So Alan crossed those boundaries. You know, boy, in the video needs to be taken down. Yes, and I, I, I applaud you, Larry. Take down the bloody video. This poor no. kid should not be on display. He's not. I, I blurred his face out. But when you put it up on your community post, you didn't blur his face out. So you put him on display from your own screenshot, from your own app. So, Alan, if you're getting angry here, you want to be pretty much turning that back on you. I'm not angry about it, but you're pretty angry. And, Alan, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. For you, Larry. Take down the bloody video. That's Let's what it's all about, isn't it? All these threats, all these bollocks. You just want to be able to control me and my, my behaviour. And you really can't. And what I do, it's like I've got puppet on a string. Noddy, little fucking wooden top. Little weed. Got a little weed on a string, haven't I? Got a little weed on a string. And I... Do you want to see this? Look, this is a cool video. Look, watch this. Look, watch. Ooh, sexy women. Oosh! Oosh! <laughs> the dogger did it. The dogger. Look, check this out. Ooh, sexy women. Ooh, doggy! <laughs> That's a good video. And I was looking at some other good videos and doing some clips. Wasn't I? Where's my clips? Where's my clips of Mr. Weed? Where's my clips? Here they are. Weed? <laughs> Little weed? Who's used to pop up. Little weed? In the garden shed. <laughs> You're taking me places I haven't been. Little weed? <laughs> Little weed? Who's used to pop up. Little weed? In the garden shed. <laughs> You're taking me places I haven't been. Little weed? <laughs> Little weed? Used to pop up little weed, little weed. Where are you live? Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angel. <laughs> the blonde one, the dark one, and the and the butch one. I don't remember the names. I used to like the very pretty dark head one. Fire Force it never did nothing for me, and the Butch one didn't. But the the nice, really pretty brown haired girl, I don't know her name, but I still like her. Eric Estrada, yeah, Chips, that was good. I was always for Superman. I liked his kryptonite. Superman was mine. I didn't like Superboy. I didn't like Supergirl. I just liked Superman. Yeah. Batman didn't get like... He did get Batgirl, but he didn't get like... He didn't really... He just didn't appeal to me, Batman. It's just like a bloke who could climb up buildings, really, wasn't he, Batman? He had a nice car. He didn't have any superpowers, really. I was always for Superman. In the garden shed. <laughs> You're taking me places I haven't been. Little weed. Little weed. Little weed. <laughs> Used to pop up. Little weed. <laughs> In the garden shed. I'm glad we had this time together, Alan. It should not be on display. It's not between him, is it? It's between you and I. Be a man. Take the videos down of that. You won't be a man and face me. How dare you be a, be a man, Alan? You're le like, by any criteria, Alan, you are a failed example of masculinity. You've not been able to maintain relationships. You don't have your loving family around you. People don't like you on the internet. They feel that you're creepy. You don't have any physical power or strength not that that is a measure of a man but you don't have it you complain about it if i was 20 years the reason i said it is because he said if i was 20 years younger in one of his veiled threats he said if i was 20 years younger and had two legs you do have two legs alan you're no measure of a man be a man i've been asking you out I've said, do a boxing match with me, do a poker match with me, do a chess game with me, do an internet debate with me, have a conversation, come out from behind your fucking fake accounts. We can meet up. 
You won't even face it, Alan. And on your own stream, cowardly at the end, after all this, be a man. I've offered to be your daughter's daddy because she needs somebody better than this. Alan, be a man. You couldn't spell it. Between him, is it? It's between you and I. Be a man. Take You and I. It's between me and you. Is it really, Alan? Is this between me and you, Alan? You'd like it to be, would you? Because I actually involve all these other people, all these other people in the comments, in the chat, all the other people that watch the stuff, all the kids that are on those small videos, any connections you've got with whatever people connected to your accounts and this and that. Doctor B and your children to, to Bosnia that you said, you know, I don't know, whatever the you said, you said. All these other people, I think it's about them as well and about all the people you've spoken about, all the people you've hurt. I think it's about the Rusiks, the Chris Watts, the whole thing. I think it's about the people from the Madley R. McCann groups that did all that hard work finding out facts about Madeleine McCann's life that you stole and then used on your YouTube channel even though they didn't want them monetized. I think it's about all the spanners that have been upset over the years. I think it's about that woman that you called up and she was crying and you were up there on the Skype. That she, to her testimony and account, you were on there on Skype. I, you know, I think it's about all those people as well, Anne. But if you want it to just be between you and me, then we can go there. But again, you're afraid. You're a coward. What if I came to your house? Like, he's threatening to come to my house. I'm not threatening it. I'm asking you. You just told me you want it between you and me and men. So would you like it then? I'm asking as a question if I turned up at your house and we could talk about this. Would you like that? I don't think you would somehow. So I find this to be a really strange sign off. It's not between him, is it? It's between you and I. Be a man. Take the videos down of that boy. It's disgusting. You've used him in a foul way to get at me, and it's all lies. And you've got that boy on the screen. You've used him in a foul way to tell lies. The truth of it, Alan, as he's checking how this is coming across on his little window with his chat, as he's checking midway through his performance, the truth of this, Alan, is that you're using that boy to try and defame me, Alan. In this post on your own channel, where you fail to cover up his face. And I had to cover it up for you when I posted it. That post from your own app, I can't keep going over it. What has he done wrong? You should be ashamed of yourself, but I know you won't be. And as for Val and Helen, holier than now, what do you think about using this boy to try to get me? How do you feel about that? I never sung with him, I don't know him. It's all lies. Right now, you're using him now in this verbal as a, as a leverage position, Alan. He's got no idea that you're talking... I haven't talked about the children in these videos at any length. I haven't said where they're from. I haven't, I've looked into it. I haven't said where they're from. I haven't tried to expose their... Even which continent they're on. Yeah? Alan, instead, is now... It's in the conversation. This boy is up there with... He's my shield. Fucking disgusting. About using this boy to try to get me. How do you feel about that? I never sung with him. I don't know him. It's all lies. They photoshopped it together, your boyfriend, Diem, photoshopped it together. And yet... Now, Diem photoshopped it. Does he think that Martin photoshopped it and sent it to me? Is he that naive? You think it's okay? That boy deserves better. I demand that you, Val, take down your videos with that boy in now. I demand you take down those videos of that poor young boy. Narcissist. Boy in now. Narcissist rage. I demand that you. I demand. You know how? Who are you to make demands of anyone? Who are you to make demands of anyone? You're a confused old man in a house that you claim you don't own because you signed it over so that you can continue taking the housing benefit or some shit. I'm not saying you take the housing benefit. I'm saying it's weird that you signed it and say you don't own. Forget it. Oh, it's defamation. He said I was on housing benefit. Like, fucking hell. Like, calm down. Like, you're a strange old man in your little room. You like doing your poker where you take the money you've managed to grift on the internet and piss it up the wall. You failed your businesses. Your family doesn't want any, like, anything to do with you. The dog is fucked off. <laughs> you do your own little quiet painting and you do some seedy back room, black bed, black room, video light shit. 
you know, the things I can and can't say, you know, the other things I'd like to put on the list of, you know, who you are that I can and can't say on the internet. But, you know, Alan, who are you to make demands of anyone? You, you're pathetic. You're nothing. It's not who you think you were in the past and you were some great DJ and you were a big shaker and you got on the telly with your poker. You know, it doesn't matter, Alan. They ground out, they, they took Jimmy Savile's memorial headstone and they ground it down to gravel and now it's just someone's drive. Alan, you're nothing. You're nobody. You've invented your own status on the internet and some quite naive people have bought into it over the years and that's how you deride your status. Because most of us, I mean, I deride my status in different ways. I certainly don't deride it from YouTube comments or views. I certainly don't deride it from subscriber numbers or Tippy's account. I'm really grateful to all the Tippies. I want this channel to grow. I want the other channels to grow. I'm, you know, doing all that. But I've got my status from knowing who I am from inside, from the connections I've got with my close family and friends. You know, it's not because I have a certain job or a special position, but the respect I've got, I don't know, down the fencing club or at the art society you know, from the people in the communities that I've interacted with is based on a sense of, I give them respect and I do my best to be a good person and then they respect me back. That's where I derive my status. You derive yours from some weird nonsense on the internet talking about dead children. It's raining again. I couldn't be Angie happier. sent tippies. And then to think I watched him when I was watching about the Watts case, thank God for choice. Super Chuffer owes five hugs. Yeah, and he filled the vacuum for a bit. You know, he was, he does this, this thing he understands there is a public appetite for certain topics so he will talk at length about them even though he's got nothing to say that's part of his modus operandi as well expect lots more nicola bully videos from him in the near future you know even though the family have specifically asked that we don't really although so i'm going to continue to do more but you know just watch him just see how don't watch him actually don't watch him that's the whole point isn't it don't watch him he's a sad pathetic loser who's got nothing to really offer so why would you watch him he, he hinged his whole thing on these saw some shadows on a Chris Watts thing that somebody had to send him on Facebook. He saw it on the page. We've got proof of that. It's all in the, the backstory. You know, he hinges his reputation on other people's work and he has nothing to say. So eventually that gets exposed and he's just left there naked, willy, willy wafting in the wind. Oh, scared little ninny willy in the wind. Do you think it's okay? That boy deserves better. I demand that you, Val, take down your videos with that boy in now. Really eggy about Val, isn't he? I demand you take down those videos of that poor young boy being accused of singing with me. Damn. It's filth. Are you saying independent... Sorry, I just spotted that. Independent Global News. Yet you're following out him, Alan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Alan, yeah. Alan is following that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Take it down. And you, Larry, you better remove those videos because already you're going to be arrested. I mean, I call... People think they've got different names for different things. Alan's a lol cow. We call it a lol cow. It's an idiot online who does stupid stuff and we laugh at it. And I believe, some people have got slightly different definitions. I believe one of the definitions of a lol cow, uh, part of it is they take themselves very seriously and they don't see why people are laughing at them. They don't get the joke and they get angry about it. But another part of being a lol cow, it's an internet term, a lol cow. It's a modern internet term, uh, more American really. But the reason that Alan is such a good lol cow is you can milk him. You can do things and he will have to respond to them. And he does rant like this is an hour's rant in his own episode. This is ruining his own. It's like it's like um, it's like your favorite singer comes out on stage and he starts doing a few of the favorite numbers and the crowd are getting into it. And they say, stop the music. Listen, right. Somebody said that I was a fucking this and that. And I tell you that fucking that fucking Angie, she's a fucking this and that. And Val, have you ever heard about this Val? Val's a fucking prick. And like, the people in the audience are like, I just don't want to hear this. I'm not here for this. Like, what's going on? Um, I didn't realise they were saying this about you. Hang on. And they check on their phone. And it's like, oh, here's some loads of stuff about Alan being a nonce or whatever. Like, you know, like that they find on their phone. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying he's a nonce. I'm saying they, an example of what would happen. He's done it today. He's put up things about paedophile and this and that on his own on his own thing. And that paint, in their mind, that paints this picture of this seedy man who's a weird, angry person and all these people think he's dodgy. And then they say, all right, thanks very much. Enjoyed your show. I'm never coming back here. Like, it was so bad what he's done. So he's a lol cow. We can milk him for laughs. We we can literally milk him. Like, he does the work for us. 
He's one of the worst kinds. Val needs to go to sleep. Oh, sorry, Val. I was going to watch your videos at the end, wasn't I? Maybe we do a Val episode tomorrow. Oh, we're going to get you on anyway, so it is nearly six hours of my stream. I do appreciate it. It's going on long. We are at the end of Alan's rant, and we will need to decompress, so we'll see. Maybe you just tune in and watch what I did at the end, and we do watch your thing. Doubling down. And if you leave those comments under the videos, call me a P, you're trebling down. You haven't got the brains you were born with because you're smoking too much. I'd like to thank you all for listening, but you have to understand I have a daughter that's had to put up with this. Yeah, she's probably called you and said, your bollocks has caused me great upset today. She hasn't called him and said, this super chuffer needs taking down. She said, Dad, can you stop? I don't want you to see the kids anymore until we're sure about you. That young boy has been portrayed in a bad way just to get me. And they put it out the night before Nicola Bully's inquest to get maximum effect. Now, honestly, if you're a reasonable, thoughtful person, you see my video, you see that it's all true and it, all his nonsense is bollocks, you follow the links, you go to the, the small, you see it, you'd ring up your dad and say, what the fuck is this, dad? Why are you on small doing this? Like, you wouldn't be angry at me, you'd be angry at him. And like I said to her on that, you know, little clip that he clipped, she knows more well than I know about anything. So, you know, she's had to live this life. She's had to go through all this shit. She can put her ideas together. I'll leave it up to her to decide what she thinks. It's disgusting. That boy's face should never be there. Val, using that boy's face, you don't even know how low you go. You used his face. And I hope there is such a thing as karma. Because you haven't got a clue. Karma is, karma is when you die, you haven't got a clue. Karma is when you die, you come back as something else. So if you've lived a good life, you get this like, you know, better rebirth experience, I suppose. Alan's going to probably come back as a, a wasp or some kind of mollusk. How can you Alan is already a detritivore. Do that. How can you? You say you're an empath for people. You put that child on the screen on your videos. Go there and see it. Alan's Truth blatantly be told, been watching Val. Truth be told, too. She's got it up now. That boy is up there now. Promoting and she's asking it. me to answer their accusations. They are, Val. That was my answer for you. Brilliant. You're saying I'm too scared. Val's done a great thing. I mean, I'm sorry this is happening and she's got to go to bed, but Val has done a great thing. I love that he actually directly responds. I absolutely love it. I also think it's because he doesn't want to say at the end that I'm doing this about Super Chuffer. I think Val is a softer target for him than I am. So he doesn't want to mention my name all the time. So he's able to misdirect into Val a lot. Like, because a lot of the stuff that come up, I, I put on the internet. I'm not trying to say I'm claiming this. Uh, he is saying Val's name a lot here. Um, and I, like I said, I think it's a little bit rich that he would put all of his aggression toward her towards the end of this video when I'm above the parapet and can take it. And I, Val can take it too, I'm sure. She's had it over the years. Like, you know, I bet she can take it. But uh, worry, I'm not saying anything sexy. Um, but like... Uh, what Alan's doing is he's trying to deflect onto the softer target. For him, the easier, more vulnerable target to throw his vitriol out at the end instead of saying Scott Super Chuffer at the end because, like, you know, he's scared of me. He only said my name twice in this whole thing, Scott, and he said it quietly and with a little flutter in his throat because he's scared. To answer the accusations, I've just done it. Yet you're using that child as a tool to get me. No, that child not. deserves better. Don't, how dare you use and that child as a shield? Away with it today is I've been too busy with my investigation of bully to sort this out. What investigation? You had the news on. The reason I dropped it, Alan, is so that on the day of the Nicola Bully inquest, you would be confused and disoriented and angry, and it worked. Yeah, I chose that date because it worked. I had to release it either sooner or later. I thought then's a good time. It totally worked. And so that I didn't expect this. This is Christmas on top for you to go and do an hour long rant in your Nicola Bully content to put. Put any, if anyone new comes to your channel during this Nicola Bully inquest, which is the, a big thing, lots of new people are on my channel, they're going to look at this and they're going to think bad things about you. They're going to follow it through and look, see bad things about you. And it's just ruined your channel. It's like, this is the worst thing you can do. You trod on the landmine. You thought you were being set up and then you trod on the landmine. <laughs> Today, but tomorrow, I'm doing, the, I'm doing the trial again. On Wednesday, I'm going to sort you out, Val. And you, Diem. And you, Larry. That's today, Wednesday. He's not sorted us out. He took a day off. My advice to you is take down those videos because they're going to be taken down anyway. You have any idea what you've done? Yeah. And here's the funny thing, right? They don't. I do. And they will make videos saying it's all my fault. It is. That poor boy. The boy yeah. is a minor. Take it down. The boy is a minor, yeah. Take it down, Val, now. Why, haven't you, why didn't you take it down for three years off your smule? Larry. 
Larry, Larry. Can anyone tell me in chat? I know it's late now. I, I do. I, I want to watch one of Val's videos before we finish. So we're not going to just keep this in. Yeah, we're going to stick on for a bit. I know there's a few of you like, like night owls. So I, what I'll do is I'll change the tone. It, the numbers drop off. I noticed that the numbers drop off. But there's a few of you night owls. So I'll start talking more quietly because my family are also in bed. It's like late at night. I'll change the tone towards the end of this episode and we'll watch some Val and we'll, you know, chill a bit more because this has been quite um, emotionally charged, hasn't it? So we'll change the tone. Um, and I'll carry on, you know, I'll carry on for an hour and a bit. Take down the videos with that child in. It's BS. I've never sung with him. I don't know him. It's been photoshopped and you've fallen for DM's tricks. And, <laughs> and you're in the crap. Thank you for watching on Ted. He threatens. He throws out these threats. It's a poker game for Alan. This is his move of the chips into the middle. Call my bluff. You're under... It's a threat at the end. Not a veiled threat. A threat. <laughs> Detective, tomorrow I'll be on my red channel at 10 o'clock. If you want to come and see me on the red channel at 10 o'clock in the morning after I've had this massive rant at you for an hour about these fucking troll channels and all this stuff about me being a nonce. <laughs> Obviously, it's not a nonce, but, you know, all this stuff. Uh, imagine what, what kind of person... Could you imagine any normal modern YouTube viewer accidentally tuning... Like, just somebody who wants to find out about the Nicola Bully inquest. They don't know anything from anything. They've heard it on the news, Nicola Bully. Oh, it's the inquest today. Oh, do you know what? It's not really in the mainstream news much. It's not on the BBC. I'll have a look on YouTube. Oh, who's this armchair detective fellow? And they tune in and they hear that for an hour. <laughs> it's brilliant. This, is, this was gold-plated. This was brilliant. Val is very, very much, you know, very, very, very... Good night, Andy. Um, Val is very, very much... Uh, to take some credit. You know, I, I did my little video. I'm so glad when Val asked that I said, absolutely put it on your channel as well. Um, I'm so glad that I did that. You know, I wasn't uh, desperate for the views on my channel and it has to send, send them to, you can talk about it, but you have to send them to my channel. Quite happy to share. It's gone really well. It's turned out better than it ever could. He brought up Val loads. He said me a lot. Um, he really smeared his own, like he brought out of his bag of shit loads of other shit that I hadn't put in my video and smeared it all over himself as well, didn't he? To any new person that's been watching, it, this is like you go to the zoo and you stop by the monkey cage and one fucking weird monkey is smearing their own shit on them and you're like, I'm not going to watch any more monkeys. I'm off, I'm off to the, uh, I'm off to the uh, elephant house. I'm the daddy now. I'm the elephant, the big boo. Um, it's like he's rolling around in his own shit on his main channel during, I, I just really, really, you know, want to drive this point home because it's how stupid Alan is. This is how stupid he is. And if you think, um, if you think it's worth listening to him about anything, like if you've got a broken toe, don't listen to Alan. If you've got a, uh, you know, if you, if your car broke down or if you want to learn how to make an omelet, don't listen to Alan. He would he would fucking break the eggs up the wall. He doesn't know what's going on. He's got 6,000 views, like I said, on this episode here. 6,000. I've got 12,000, double the views on this episode. And this is the episode where he did the massive rant. Or is this it? Or is it the one before? Sorry, it might be the one before. It's this one, isn't it? He's got 7,000. Oh, I've and got four, convinced. 14. No, it's not this one. Which one's the rant one? Is it the one with 10,000? Oh, please say it's the 10,000. Or is it initial police response? No, it's this one, isn't it? Is it the 10,000? Oh, no, he did it on his red channel, didn't he? No, here it is. It's on his blue channel. It's the one with the most views. So what we learned from this is that you've got about 6,000 people who are interested in your Nicola Bully content and a further 4,000 who are interested in the rant and the, and the stuff that's going on in the rant. That's why that got... I thought it might be because the man in black thing. It's not really, is it? When Alan talks about me on his channel, he gets more views. For Alan, diminishing returns on everything else, talks about me and Val, gets more views. Yeah. And the fact he did it on his own show like that, what a plonker. What a massive plonker. I've never seen such an idiot in all my life. But it gets dark, of course, so, you know, there's that as well. A song that kids enjoy. There's that as well. We've got Angry Alan's stupid songs. Um, we've got Angry Alan. 
at the Nicola Bullion Quest. I want to finish with Val. TBT2, isn't it? Because uh, now in context, this is actually really good. Um, the, she asked him to address the stuff, and he did. This one, the reason I wanted to play, play this is because it actually, I want it on my stream recorded as well, that uh, Alan put my family's name in a community post. She reads it out. Like I believe it counts as, okay, like, I don't have the, like she's got the original, she's reading it out, but you'll all know what's being said. So um, I need to take a quick bathroom break as well. So we're going to listen to Val a bit and then I'm going to come back and like talk a bit while Val's talking and we'll bring the tone down and it's night, night, sleepy chuffers. Wow. Oh, just to let you know, well, people who might be interested. Um, I've had my Lego hair trimmed today, just to, in case anyone's interested. Oh, by it the looks way, good, that's been plagiarised off uh, I have a problem. So plagiarising, bam, plagiarising. Let's get on to today's video, shall we? So, um, we've noticed, <laughs> we can't help but notice this uh, community post from, you know who, you've probably all seen it by now. Sorry, I'm just messing around with cables down here. Um, two words to you, Alan, two words. Spell check, okay? Now, grumpy granny, please, you can't let this go. You have to do this. You have to do the review and you have to literally go over his community post because I have never ever seen anything so hilarious and if you want to be taken seriously so when you type what normally happens with me if you type a word Alan are you listening normally if you spell it wrong it comes up like red or a line underneath or something and what you do is you you tap it with a little pinky tap it and what happens is it changes the, basically the word to the correct word. Uh, that was very dry and it's very funny, but I don't think, I think Alan's too drunk to even bother. It's but, yeah. raining again. Tap. I couldn't be happier. Swish and then whoosh. Thank you, Tap Tap. Tap sent tippies. You have the Late best channel. So entertaining, you're quite brilliant. The new for your hard work. Can't wait for the new music on Light Horse. Make a song about AD. Hee hee. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. The Shadow Man song. Uh, Valley's a lovely lady. I'll put a YouTube in chat there, so if you want to head over and see this video and subscribe to her channel, if you want to do that. Once. And that will actually fix the spelling mistakes. Mind you, the one called... It's meant to be karaoke. I think it's going to have a very... a big difficult time trying to find karaoke out of the word. That you put it's down raining again. Of... I couldn't be happier. Broadmoor inmates sent to So, as you know as well. Medium white out, star, medium white star, shared, medium white star. Um, Thank you. Super Chuffer owes three hugs. Battery. I really appreciate that, Broadmoor like inmate. My battery's kind of exhausted this week, but I'm sure I'll be okay. Um, so, obviously Scott's taken his down for his own reasons. I didn't take I'm it down. I, mine. See, see, we don't talk. You know, she didn't have all the information. Uh, I... I didn't take it down. As we saw today, Alan got it removed, but it went back up. So that's clarified right. now. And I did do a video as well um, this morning saying that obviously people are scared to share it because of the very reasons that you've just, um, you've just shown us this ridiculous commuter post. Alan, now let me remind you of something. And Tosh did the same thing. Tosh has made a video as well. Firstly, if you have spent four or five years defaming someone, lying, slandering, huh? doing the very thing that you're accusing Scott, and most probably I, after you've realised I shared his video, you're taking the piss, aren't you, man? You are. You must be. Because... I mean, the saying pot kettle black has never, ever, ever been clearer than this. Throwing stones in glass houses. What is there? Anyone else know any of those things? Just write it in the comments section below, please. Have you ever heard of the... Have you ever heard of the Streisand effect? So you told me about the Streisand effect, which is a bit of a chief, chief you on. I... It's a bit of a shame because uh, the Streisand effect is that 
Barbara Streisand had some trouble and she kept talking about it and no one knew what the trouble was until she fucking went on and on about it. So, <laughs> uh, actually, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I've got another video to show us as well. Well, Because Val's not here now. I, I thought it was going to be nice we could talk about a video together. So maybe we'd, I keep saying we'll show Val on the channel. We've shown her. I'll put a channel in the chat here. Look, copy and paste it in here. So subscribe to Val. But I've got another thing to show you as well, which you're going to like. So I, I think we'll finish with this instead um, for our chill out time. I won't be able to. Simple as that. But as you know, my leg goes on. We're six weeks on Monday. I can drive my car. You don't even know what that's like. I can count down six weeks. I can drive my car in six weeks. I can drive my car in five weeks. And I'm going stir crazy. I'm stuck at home. On Monday, I can drive my car. Why is he wearing all black? You know when you set, because in this background where it looks like he's outside stalking someone, you know this background, it's all black and he's got the black on. If you were in an all black room with an all black, in a dark, dark room, in a dark, dark, with a dark, dark, all you have to do is put on a mask and you're everyone then, aren't you? You're no one. You can't even be seen in the room really, can you? It's very weird, isn't it? Imagine he was wearing these clothes in a black room with black walls and black sheets and a black bed. It's almost as if he's like, Creating a very weird situation. Like, he's always wearing these all black clothes and it looks weird. He's like a floating head. But... Go and see people. Yeah. Good evening. <laughs> it's um, quarter to 12. Quarter to 12 here in the UK. Big ups, Tap Tap. I didn't realise that. I mean, like, you know, fingers crossed, obviously. Oh, that's coming. I'm getting prepared for the uh, Nicola Bully inquest. With stock. This is what you pay for on his Patreon account. That's on Monday. I don't think anybody knows what time it starts um, or what time is a recess or what time it finishes. So that's something somebody could do for me now while we're here. Maybe look into... Is there a... Is there a Preston County Court? Preston, Preston, Preston Coroner Court. Somebody look it up and see what it's scheduled for Monday and Tuesday. But, you know, like, what time does it start? <laughs> what time does it finish? If somebody give me a hand with that, it'd be great if we could get that sorted out. You couldn't look that up yourself? Yeah, I'm walking Winston again, which is good for me. That's good. Is that truth? Because I thought Slowly. Winston didn't live with you. Slowly. This is what they pay for on his patron. Yeah, so uh, I don't know what's going to come of this. It's a white whitewash, isn't it? It's going to be death by misadventure, uh, death by drowning, and they go, oh, we don't know what the scenario was. <laughs> the hypothesis was that she fell in the river. Pouring. Because... So that's it, basically. They don't see it as a possible win-win. They can't win. So anyway, not my problem. I didn't pay. I didn't. I didn't pay. They did. Can't say much about it. Don't want to say much about it. Other than there is no court date. Okay. And hopefully one day it will just be. I don't even know how. How many years time? Because basically, if you're running a fund to get me more of this boring bullshit, imagine you paid for this on Patreon. I'm sure that. Paul Ansel and Emma is going to get a whole load of emails. Do you realise that this channel on YouTube is saying you did this and you did that? This channel is saying you did. Imagine what's, you know what was said in this this post, don't you? Some of you read it. Well, the people that have read it out for views. Kissy, kissy time. Views. The people that read it out for views. This is his trap that he laid. Do you remember we did an episode on it? He's so pathetic. Well, the people that have read it out for views... Yeah, Colette, you might wear a lot of black, but you don't look like a floating head on the screen, do you? Like, you don't disappear into your own environment. <laughs> like, if someone took a photograph of you, they'd be able to identify you in the photograph. That's my worry about all this black clothes in the black room, man in black business. And now the one's in trouble. Because... 
crazy people will hear what they're saying and say, yeah, you're right. This anonymous guy, he's brilliant. He's right. Oh, yeah. Dangerous. But they've done it now. I know at least three channels have, have, have literally read out this post by Anonymous. I spend my whole life not reading out stuff by Anonymous people. <laughs> and you know what I say? I will not do anything without receipt. Did you see the way he tittered and laughed then? We've got another one. We've got another one. We've got another. Look at him. Look at the creep. Look at the creep. Ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in creepy space for your nighttime chill stream at the end here. I, someone said I suggested I should start playing more House Flipper. I really should. House Flipper's great. We've got another one. I spend my whole life not reading out stuff. By anonymous people. And That's his face. Know? That's his face. That's the face of it. That's the face. The creepy, naughty. Like, oh, it's naughty, isn't it? Oh, it's naughty. I'm so naughty. But actually, it's creepy and weird and disgusting. Can you stop doing it to me? Oh, no, I'm so naughty. Yeah, naughty or, you know, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Oh, a bit naughty, a bit cheeky. Today, chauvinistic and sadistic. <laughs> and why is this related to some people read out anonymous posts? Because as we said, Alan, mate, sorry, I'm doing my ranting. <laughs> Alan made an anonymous, I believe somebody, I think it was Alan because he was right on it. He was telling the story. He was there in their channels and, you know, he, someone came to my channel to suggest that I read it. Someone put an anonymous post on a Facebook group and told all the different channels to read it out on their channel. And when they did, Alan came to their rescue and said that, oh, you shouldn't have done that. I made a big video about it. So it's almost as if, like, how was he knowing what was going on on all these channels that he doesn't watch? How did he know what was going on on a Facebook post that he doesn't look at? Like, it's almost as if he did it himself. Oh, clever. You're not that clever. You thought you set a trap. We did a whole episode on it, so if you haven't watched that, watch it. It's called Alan Sets a Trap or Angry Alan's Trap. Uh, he's revealing in his body language that who he really is, this creepy weirdo. It's not nice, is it? Reveling in this horror. Someone read out a really horrible Facebook post on the internet. What he's told you is that someone read out a horrible Facebook post on the internet. And you know what I say? I will not do anything without receipts these days. I've learned my lesson. You can't. You have to have receipts. It's all right to speculate when you have like something like the Nicola Bully CCTV. You can see it's been butchered. And you couldn't. Right? You couldn't. That's he he couldn't. He he put it up. Jizzy's my friend. Okay, but you can't just come out with slander. <laughs> How can I put it? Free speech is great, right? But you can't go into a cinema and shout out fire, can you? Very original. That, you'd be arrested, wouldn't you? So yeah, you get free speech. You're confused. You can do that, Alan. The, the free speech aspect is that you're held accountable to the things you say, and that's your problem. <laughs> But there's, there's a line. And these YouTubers today, they've crossed that line by repeating what this crazy person, Anonymous, has said. And if you read the whole post, which it was sent to me, I read it, it reads like an episode from a TV program. Like It's like not even realistic. It's like all the rumours from Nicola Bully for the last four months cobbled together as a story. Like That was what was coming out in my chat. I had to ban people. This is Alan... Jack and Ori story time thing. And it's all cobbled together. That, that uh... Creepy weirdo. Uh, no, I don't normally name channels. No, don't you? But I can ask We, we just literally heard an hour of you ranting with all these channels. Um, uh, Kaka, tell me the 
channels in chat, not on here. Tell me the channels that have repeated this wild anonymous accusations. I want to, I want to see who's in trouble. I want to help them. You can you just put in chat who's done it? I know, I know it's three or four channels have covered it. I hope they're going to delete it before it's too late. So I want to check if they deleted it. I gave my, my advice. If they don't take my advice, that's fine. But Curtis has been arrested. Curtis has had all his Facebook, all his, all his videos taken. Enough of this. I think I checked these things. Past, like the 90s. To me, I'd say those pictures were 90s. Um, Curtis asks his subs to download his videos so they're saved. That's a good idea. We've Don't saved all yours. <laughs> For the amount of like reports, they even like. Are you Mr. Anonymous in this vid? No, Alan is Mr. Anonymous. The person who wrote the post on YouTube is Mr. Anonymous. And Alan's so certain it's a man and was there on the account. I, it's. <laughs> I'm not like overstepping the mark by saying I believe it was Alan. Stormed the offices of Google in London in the COVID area. They went and stormed it. Let us in. They went there with binders of AD evidence that I'm a crook and a con man, right? Let us in. We want to see the CEO. Of course, they didn't get in. <laughs> they got the police call on them. But what I'm saying is there's no limit to what they do to get rid of me. No limit. They love it. That's poker term, no limit, hold and poker. If I was closed down. No limits, Alan. They have a party for a day, and then day two, they want me back again. What no. would they do without me? Eh? Think about those five-year trolls that have been trolling me for five years. What would they do without AD? Just live their what lives. Would they they'd see it as a celebration. They'd look at each other and go, well, they, I'm going to start on you now. That's what no, 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 they wouldn't start on each other. I mean, genetic code seems to have gone a bit weird recently, but I believe what they would do is they'd see it as a big celebration day, and then they'd go about and live their lives and have joy. And they devote their YouTube time to other topics. Like, you know, y it wouldn't be the end of the world if you just stopped. We'd all just happily move on. What they're doing at the moment, they're eating each other, right? Because I'm not doing the what's case, they're eating each other, which I find hilarious. <laughs> oh, Pat M, you finally got in chat. Hello, Pam. I, I was trying to get you in. Uh, welcome, Pat M. To to is she Pat or Pam? a circle of AD where you can talk to me if you want. <laughs> you can talk to me if you want. Okay, they're lost without me. Yeah, I know they are. This is what you pay the money for. <laughs> they all have no content. No, they turn on each other. If you look at them now, they're all fighting each other. You know, once upon a time, there was a murder in 2018 concerning Chris Watts and Nicole Kissinger. They're not talked about anymore. Nicole Kissinger <laughs> and Chris Watts are not talked about it anymore. They're, it's all about the egotistic characters that form channels on the back of the Watts case. That's you. That's what they talk about now. It is, honestly. They talk about each other. And they, they, they think like, oh, God, I've got 60 people in my life. I'm important. No, you're not. You're, You've got 60 people in your live, you need to do something else. How many people do you think were in this live stream now on his patron that he's talking to? Just my opinion. And to be honest with you, I don't know a successful channel that makes decent money that just drags people all the time. It's so boring, isn't it? I think... Me personally, if I want to... I don't, I don't just drag people all the time. I'm not a good example of that, but I could give you good examples of that in the detractor sphere of people who make detractor content devoted, mainly about dark side Phil, but in wider circles. I mean, there are people that do that on the internet and they do make good money. Sit down with my cup of coffee late at night. Well, I'm getting old now. I'm, I'm like, what should I watch? And I watch somebody, and if I watch it and they're slaughtering another creator... Which... If I watch it and there's... It's what he's trying to say to people is don't watch Super Chuffer. Yeah, but he's trying to feed it into their mind as like an idea that it's a way to behave. If I watch it and they're slaughtering another creator, I switch off. What you're saying, Alan, is you go through the other content about Nicola Bully and other stuff and you try and dredge up ideas for yourself. It doesn't interest me. It doesn't interest you. It doesn't you. interest me what creator A thinks of creator B. I'm not. But you watched all that Val video and you, had, you knew everything she said about you. <laughs> I don't give a damn. 
I want to be entertained. So I want, I want to smile. I want it to be funny. Smile. I want it to be coherent. We'll go and watch whatever the fuck you like, then you weird and worth tosser. watching, right? But troll channels aren't any of those things. And I'm all what... those things. I'm all those things. F funny. Today we've been funny, coherent. You've learned something. Uh, I'm all those things. Well, they get stuck on 500 subscribers. Or I'm not stuck on... Because they don't have anything. Not stuck on anything. No, no, no. Keep moving Google around. Google Grannies, I gave them that name. Google Grannies. non law and lawyers, I gave them that name. Big, big special person you are. Clever. Big fat, big hand. Oh, hand. What's the joke in it? Where's, um, where's Pat M? Is she here? I can't see her. Is that your new girlfriend? Pat M, talk to me. Is that Isla? Is Isla your new girlfriend? on their scooters. I find it hilarious that people in their 60s and 70s spend their life watching some bloke in England who's got a mobile phone. And that's thinking the point. that I'm important, right? Thinking that's that I'm that's important. the whole point of your whole channel and your setup. That is it, Alan. We find it hilarious that people, like you described, that's mainly the demographic of your audience, are doing that. They think it's weird. And I don't know why you keep going on about this phone. <laughs> You're also talking into a computer with a green screen. Important enough for them to spend their life on me. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? I don't give a damn about them. Exactly, you but don't I give a damn about life. them. And I sometimes think, like, this is so strange. That yeah, I'm... that's the exact thing that he's been playing on for his whole appeal. The, the, the Nancys of this world. That's who you just described. You just described your Nancy. Their life. And not only have their life, all they want to do is hate me. Narcissist. What a boring, miserable existence. It seems quite fun over here. <laughs> Cox. I haven't seen it for ages. Huh. Oh, yeah. Hello, Pat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cheers. I drink coffee late at night. Don't know why it keeps me awake. For all the gambling. No, you're making I, making you videos guys, in your black room. I don't know there's only a few of you here. <laughs> Most of you are Spanners. But this does get seen. I look, right, this will get seen by a few hundred people. But then for some reason, not many people are up this time of night. <laughs> After midnight, it's not many people in England that are, to be fair. What it is, Alan, is people have put into your Patreon and forgot, and they, they forgot to cancel it, and they're not turning up to these things. Op. And most of them are asleep. So they'll watch it tomorrow. What weather, isn't it? What, what fantastic weather. Oh, <laughs> 28 minutes into your paid behind-the-scenes offering. We're talking about the weather. <laughs> I think... One of my family's going to take me to the beach tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I doubt it. I hope. Oh, Kitty Wee takes Thrive. Ah, thrive. I'm going to push you in the sea. I wonder what Thrive does to you. Is it like coffee, isn't it? It's caffeine. Thrive's based on caffeine, isn't it? See, I know everything. I was right about um, the College of Policing. There is a set procedure for missing people. And they didn't follow it for Nicola Bully. I don't know why. You shouldn't you shouldn't be telling the parents that their daughter's dead when you're searching for her, right? This seems strange, doesn't it? And I know you're gonna say, well, they didn't say she's dead. They said she's in the river. No one can survive in the river for twenty three days. So they're basically telling the loved ones oh, Shame in it. Oh, it's a so many people have asked her for chicken lady. She's taken a step back. She's not well at all. And she's not been well for a long time. And, uh, you know, doesn't mean to say that I don't think of her. Or I remember what she did for this channel. You know, I do remember that. She did very well. But she needs to take a step back, which is fine. In fact, I think she should. Can do your head in this game. You fucking can, Alan. I'm glad people are taking a step back from your channel and supporting you. Robbie's got a, little, a black kitten, has he? <laughs> Is he still married? <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. What time is it? Time for bed.
Time for bed? No, you're supposed Done. to be doing your patron broadcast. You're half, halfway through your patron broadcast. People are paying their, like tenner ahead to be in here, aren't they? Nosy Nana's in there. No, he's, Nosy Nana's in there, look, on the list of the chatters. So maybe no, Nosy Nana isn't actually Alan. She's in there paid money to be in the chat, or maybe he's chatting to himself. 30 minutes. That's why, that's why I set myself at the moment this, this late at night. Thanks for watching. And I'm glad Pat got in here. And um, Saturday's a day off. Sunday, I've got a special guest on the channel. He doesn't even, this is before the, the nonce gate kicked off. He doesn't even know what's coming, <laughs> but he's worried about it. So he got this special guest lined up. I do feel a bit bad for the special guest because I gave him the lickings of a dog for all that Cyrus bollocks. And then he put a comment saying, I thought you were open-minded and listened to different ideas. And I'm like, yeah, I do. But like, and he's like, I, I didn't, I thought I asked you and it was okay to put your clips in my channel. I don't care if people want to clip me and put them in their channels. Like as long as they're not slating me. Uh, go ahead, you know, like, so I, I probably did give him, you know, if someone said to me in the comment, is it right if I, you know, clip this and put it in my video about Nicola Bully, I'd be like, yeah, go ahead. But I did, when they did that PSYOPs 9-11 stuff, and sorry, uh, 7 or 7 bombings and all this, um, I don't know if they were saying they weren't real, but I got a bit offended by the whole tone of the channel being all about it's all fake PSYOPs. You know I don't like that shit. So when Alan had them on his show, I gave his guest the lickings of a dog for being a nutter. But I kind of feel bad about that a little bit because you can be all your psyops all you like and it is point, you know, point taken, fair fair comment, different opinions. I gave them the lickings of a dog. But also they were on Alan's show and it was important to me that uh, they realised that by being on Alan's show, they opened themselves up to that. So they don't want to associate with Alan. Uh, that was their own mistake. Great. Can't say it is because the trolls will troll him. Don't go on that show. That man is a crook. Yeah. I remember Torchy. Torchy, Torchy. What's this now? Uh, light on. Yeah, Torchy, look. What's this I, now? God, I remember Torchy when I was a little tiny boy. What's this now? We're about to get our final golden hour of tonight's stream. We're about to get our final beautiful golden hour. My background music's piddled its way out. Where's my background music? Which I've got so many windows open. Where's my background music? I have this. My background music. I remember Torchy. Torchy, Torchy. Uh, light on. Yeah, Torchy, look. I, God, I remember Torchy when I was a little tiny boy. I used to love Torchy. I used to love Torchy. God, that's some, that's got to be 60 years ago. He used to go along, didn't he, Torchy? <laughs> the torch on his head. <laughs> Did he? Torchy. <laughs> I remember that. Where's this come I, from I now? I remember that. <laughs> Where's this come from? <laughs> oh, yeah, if anybody's friends with Chicken Lady, she's got a post on the Chicken Lady channel today. Go and watch it. Forget that. Talk about Torchy again. Torture the battery boy. Yeah. I'm going to get him up for you. <laughs> Go on, show Torchy us on the screen. The show us on the boy. screen, That's Alan. Fantastic. Get him up on the screen, like. You know, I'll show I you my like background music, look. As well. Watch. Boy there in it the is. circus. Get it up on the screen for us. That'll be good. We'll have a look. Torchy. What's Torchy? Get it up on the screen. What are you doing with your tongue? What's happening now, Alan? Hang on. <laughs> I have trouble spelling, as you know. Yeah. Torture the bat British television. Torture the Battery Boy. Right. Torture the Battery Boy is a British television series. Is it? Jerry Anderson. The, it was his first series. Remember Jerry Anderson did the Thunderbirds? Well, he right. started off with Torchy. We're Now we're going to go very hard into Alan Partridge territory, okay? So get your... Get your uh, sorry, I'm trying to find background music that's got Chuff in the right tone. This is not the right time. Sleepy I want. Shut up. This'll do. We kinda like this. Okay, so we're gonna use tor we're gonna have Torchy now. Um This is going to be really good. This is going to be really good. Alan's going to go hard 
Partridge on us to finish. You know Alan Partridge. You love Alan Partridge in chat. There you're good. Like anyone who knows Alan Partridge, watch out. Alan Vinicum is going to go hard partridge. But I also maintain, from everything we've seen, don't let this fool you. He's still the monster that I, that I talk about. But uh, this is part of his bumbling buffoon lovable rogue act. The lovable part. He's love bombing his chat here because they're the people that give him money and they're on his patron. So this is part of that. This is um, disarming approach here. Trying to appeal to their own sense of nostalgia. Okay, so don't fall for it. But at the same time, he's going to go full partridge and we're going to have a lovely good laugh at this. 1959. I was, I was a little four. I was four. Oh, directed by Anderson. It was a collaboration. Oh, yeah. You can see the Thunderbirds think I'm... <laughs> oh God, I hope this doesn't get copyright. <laughs> Dodgy, dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy. Dodgy. Do 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 it looks well rubbish. That's torture, yeah. Fantastic. Shit. And his Shit. one secret gift, he had a torch on his head. Wow. How have <laughs> we changed? You could actually make a series out of a boy with a torch on his head. <laughs> it's little boys again. Why are you doing this, Alan? That was the forerunner of Thunderbirds. Luckily, he had a torch. And with that torch, he did <laughs> a lot of good. Luckily, he had a torch. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> oh, see. Notice it was Americanized. Although it's see the thing with Anderson, who did <coughs> Captain Scarlet, Thunderbirds, and that. It was really it was British, but it was made for America. So all the voices were American. And even then, Torchy, hey, Torchy, Torchy, the battery boy. He did it for the American market to sell to America. He really did. Well, you're going to struggle to hear a Torchy. It was that long ago. 1959. Call it 60. 63 years ago. He's had a bit of his coffee now. He's come to life, hasn't High he? High tech. He's come well, to we life. got this superhero. What's his superhero <laughs> gift when he's got a torch on his head? <laughs> This is what you pay your patron for, the snake-eyed man talk, talking to you about torture. He's got the snake eye because of his funny green screen look. The snake-eyed man. <laughs> wow. How would that be super? Well, you can <coughs> see things in the dark. Yeah. Yeah, Stingray. Who was I in love with, Stingray? Stingray. <laughs> Marina. No, Marina, Marina. Partridge. I just met a girl called Marina. He had a... A mute sidekick called Marina, the Stingray. She, she was liked from her. the sea, but she couldn't speak. I remember that as well. That's the right kind of woman, isn't it, Alan? Where they don't speak. And also, they're from the sea, where they're going to end up later. And then there was Joe 90. <laughs> Joe 90 was a follow up <laughs> from Torchy, who had super glasses. <laughs> a follow up from Torchy. <laughs> this is all English stuff. This is all. How did it go then? So it goes Torchy, Stingray. Solving the case. Captain Scarlet. <laughs> Agile mind at work. What did I say the boy was with the glasses? In with the glasses. <laughs> and then, of course, Thunderbirds. Brilliant. <laughs> You're like the Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds. You're my puppet. So, You're my, my puppet. Aquamarina. Yeah, Thunderbirds. Wow. Stingray was good. He had some really good villains in it, like <laughs> like Neptune type villains in Stingray. That was good. Joe Ninety. Yeah. Did he fart then? Joe Ninety. Really good villains in it, like like Neptune type villains in Stingray. That was good. Joe Ninety. Yeah. I think he farted. Right. That was good. 
Joe 90, yeah. Joe 90, so they said it in the uh, <laughs> yeah, 1990. He said, Gigi, you're right. I was in love with her. What was her name? <laughs> yeah, that's straight out of Anchorman, isn't it? That's, that's straight out of Anchorman. I was in love with... I, I thought I was in love once. Yeah, what was her name? I can't remember. <laughs> 90. <laughs> Joe 90 was a follow-up from Torchy, who had super glasses. <laughs> this is his patron. This is all English stuff. How did it go then? So it goes Torchy, this Stingray, Classic Partridge, Captain Scarlet. <laughs> and why is he talking about all these kids the stuff? The boy was with the glasses, in with the glasses. And then, of course, Thunderbirds. Brilliant. <laughs> like, obviously, he's not a nonce. Okay, he's not a nonce. Don't let anyone, don't let anybody accuse him of being a nonce. But he's now going to do forty minutes on his favourite children's shows. <laughs> Thunderbirds, that's the one. That's my favourite. Aquamarina, yeah, Thunderbirds. Wow. Stingray was good. He had some really good villains in it, like like Neptune type villains in Stingray. That was good. Joe Ninety, yeah. <laughs> Joe Ninety. So they said it in the uh, nineteen ninety, right? <laughs> well, we're 30 years beyond that now. Yeah, and it was a puppet show. You <laughs> so won't know any of this. They didn't get it right. <laughs> Twizzle. <laughs> Twizzle. Is, is, that, like... is that not Partridge, right? Is that not Partridge doing, um, when he does the speech at, at uh, Lynn's baptism? And he goes, who, he says, who likes the 70s? Tis, uh, tis was, tis was, you know, and he does that. Crackerjack. <laughs> This is, this is Alan Partridge. This is hilarious, isn't it? Well, we're 30 years beyond that now. <laughs> you won't know any of this. Twizzle. <laughs> Twizzle. It is one that none of you are know. <laughs> no. There used to be a series. Right, you fuckers, you won't know this. But I've got a special favourite from way back in the past. Here's one that none of you will know. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring out the, the example that nobody can relate to. <laughs> Because I've got some sort of superiority complex, even when it comes to nostalgia about children's television. <laughs> I have to be the only one that knows this. You won't know this one. I'm better than you. Here's one none of you will know. <laughs> Do you have to? Do you have to one-up us, even on our nostalgia about children's television? <laughs> Here's one that none of you will know. <laughs> there used to be a series which was all silhouettes. Right, I don't remember any of this shit, bear in mind. I don't remember any of these things he's talking about. When something comes up that I recognise, I'll, I'll mention it. But until now, I haven't really had any experience of any of this shit. I like, of um, Elizabethan times, it was silhouettes. I can't remember what it's called. Do you remember? It was just silhouettes. You said none of you will know this. <laughs> These days, right, the best people on YouTube, there's people out there like Krutika, I don't know if you know Krutika, the Mermaid Scales. She makes like TikToks and YouTube shorts. I don't know where she is at the moment, but she's made so much money, it's insane. Uh, and most of her stuff is just about being relatable. Just relatable stuff that you can all, you know, or like relatable, you know, like when you do your fish fingers, do you turn them or do you cook them on one side and then, or do you put them this way? Or, or how do you do your fish fingers? I do vegan fingers. I don't do fish fingers, but you know what I mean? It's like a little, which well, doesn't do much about fish fingers, to be honest. That was a really bad example. But I was trying to, you know, something we can all understand, something relatable. And Alan has decided to go to something you won't remember or understand that's very personal to him. And now he's asking you to fill in the blanks from his adult memory. <laughs> I can't remember what it's called. Do you remember? It was just silhouettes <laughs> from Elizabethan times. That was weird. <laughs> I prefer Captain Pogwash. <laughs> yeah. That was naughty. <laughs> Captain Pogwash. <laughs> Captain Pogwash was infamous in... Uh... I don't know if it really... See, I don't know. I, I'd have to research this, actually. This is probably a YouTube video we should do. Captain Pugwash was infamous for being naughty. I don't know if it really was, but they had a character like Roger the Cabin Boy and, like, you know, finger in your bum hole or something. So he was supposed to be naughty. He loved that one. It was very, very, very naughty. Remember naughty. You see, naughty, lovable rogue. We're all having a laugh, remember? But I want you to keep in mind, this is part of his 
facade. This is a chameleonic aspect of, of Alan, the love bombing, the lovable rogue. You know, we're all friends here because we've all given you £10 to watch this. So like now he's happy. Oh, I've got the money buff. <laughs> we'll all have a laugh. Alan's fan club. You know, he feels like he's in his safe space. But just because he's buffoonery around talking about kid shows doesn't mean he didn't do the small stuff, remember? But yeah, like this is part of that act. Fool the BBC. Fool the BBC. I don't know. I mean, these are the BBC that ban records, right? Yeah, Pugwash. We won't ban that. You know, like, uh, Pantos have double entendres. Seaman stains, you know? good call. Well, Captain Pugwash was all double entendres <laughs> for kids. Very rude. Yeah. Captain Kangaroo, yeah. Yeah, you're talking about the American series now. Ah, forget the American series. We had, we had um, Bill and Ben. Fuck you in chat with your shit American series. We had Bill and Ben. You're talking in chat now. You've paid your money. You're in the private chat room with Alan where you're allowed to talk to him. He said that earlier. You pay. You have to pay to talk to him. You get to talk to him. You say your little thing and he says, shut up, you, you fucking prick. I don't want to hear about Captain Kangaroo. The flower pot men. <laughs> yeah, weird Andy Pandy. Yeah. The Americans can't touch Andy Pandy. Andy Nancy. No chance. Weird Sooty, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't Sooty? Twizzle, yeah. didn't, hang on, did America, did America have Sooty as well? <laughs> I know Matthew Corbett did it, but... Sooty's British, television franchise. I just got the feeling that the Americans had it as well. Sooty to launch US career 75 years after. No, they didn't have Sooty. Okay. They didn't have Sooty. Stretch his arms. You had, we had Twizzle, stretch his arms. You had, was it Captain America? Well, no, Scratch, Stretch Johnson or something, didn't you? You had Stretch <laughs> Johnson or so stretched his eggs on that. Stretch Armstrong. Stretch Johnson. <laughs> you had, we had Twizzle, stretch his arms. You had, was it Captain America? Well, no, Stretch, Stretch Johnson or something, didn't you? You had Stretch Johnson or so Stretch his legs. <laughs> stretch Johnson. The Muppet Show, that's good. The Muppet Show's good. Muppets was made in England. <laughs> there you go, made in England again, but for the American market. Fuck you, America. Stretch Armstrong, yeah. Yeah, it's a good one at Muppet. She's been corrected in chat. Peter Sellers on there once. Okay. Yeah, Peter Sellers on there once. What is this rambling nonsense? <laughs> <laughs> Made double funny by the fact this is his paid content. This is his patron show. We're switching on memberships on our channels. We're going to do that. We're going to switch them on. I didn't want to really do it during the Nicola Bully Inquest thing because I think it's a little bit like, oh, I'm doing the Nicola Bully Inquest. Incidentally, give me my money for my memberships. Like, but we will switch them on. You know, I've been, I've been waiting for the right time. There's never a good time. We're going to switch them on, though. But I'm going to do maybe a member stream once a week and you can all come in there and you will understand that I will try and make a bit of an effort. <laughs> but uh, don't critique me if we end up talking about Stretch Johnson one week. <laughs> And just rambling on because it is difficult. But Alan is charging people ten pound a head or more to be inside this room or whatever it is. I don't know the exact cost, to be honest. I, I you know, I've seen his patron or whatever. But this is the people who pay the money, <laughs> and this is what they get. <laughs> Dom Strong, yeah, yeah, it's good one at Muppets. Stretch Armstrong. There's Peter Sellers on there once. Fantastic. <laughs> And David Bowie, David Bowie on that one. <laughs> What's Luke, with mother? Luke, you're not allowed to ask about the dark arts. How oh, I get it, you're not allowed to ask. Oh God, I'll watch it. I'll tell you what though, I'm not giving him any fucking money. Look at him. And nor should you, old ham hands. Shouldn't pay into this. <laughs> Look at that, you wouldn't want that leaning over you. Stretch Armstrong. Stretch Johnson, you want to hear it again, don't you? Let's go back. Series, no, no, forget the American series. We had, we had um, Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. Yeah, we had Andy Pandy. 
The Americans can't touch Andy Pandy. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> So that sounds like a weird conspiracy theory he's got. The Americans can't get to Andy Pandy. Andy Pandy's safe. You, you, where's Andy Pandy? Agent Pandy. Agent Pandy, come in. Agent Pandy, come in. <laughs> Sir, the Americans have got to Agent Pandy. <laughs> no. We're going to have to turn him as a double agent against the Russians in that case. Agent Pandy's out in the field. <laughs> We're sooty, for God's sake. <laughs> like, the way he looks so serious about it, and he's the armchair detective, it just makes me feel like he's 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 um, <laughs> cracking some sort of serious case files, going back over the old case files. We had Andy Pandy. No chance. No chance. No chance. We're sooty. We had sooty. Bill and Ben, the <laughs> floor pole men. Yeah, we're Andy Pandy. <laughs> the Americans. We had Andy Pandy on our side during the war. Hitler had no chance with Bill and Ben, the flower pot man, and Agent Pandy. Hitler stood no chance. Pandy. <laughs> Bill and Ben, the floor pot men. <laughs> it's yeah. like agent code names. We're Andy Pandy. <laughs> the Americans can't touch Andy Pandy. <laughs> the Americans can't get to him. No chance. No chance. He's safe. <laughs> We're sooty, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Twizzle, yeah. Twizzle, yeah. Stretch his arms. <laughs> you and weird Twizzle stretch his arms. You and was it Captain America? No. Well, no stretch, stretch Johnson or something, didn't you? You had stretch Johnson or so stretch his legs on that. <laughs> Tell me you're drunk without telling me you're drunk. <laughs> Muffet show. <that's> <laughs> his arms. You were... Tell me, tell me you're, tell me you're still taking the tramadol that they told you not to take anymore. Without telling me that you're still taking the tramadol that they told you not to take anymore. <laughs> Twizzle, yeah. Stretch his arms. <laughs> you and. Weird Twizzle stretch his arms. You and was it Captain America? Well, no, Scratch, Stretch Johnson or something, didn't you? You had Stretch Johnson or so Stretch his legs on that. <laughs> Muppet Show, that's good. That's good. Muppets was made in England. This is it, right? This is the point where they say, oh, you're smoking that weed, you're smoking that weed. How long have been sat here smoking weed for now, right? <laughs> this is where I think it hits the right note for me because this is so fun. Uh, six and a half hours. So six and a half hours. I think we might hit the YouTube stream limits at some point. But six and a half hours and I'm really enjoying myself now. Having a laugh, having a smoke. And I'm really enjoying myself. There you go, made in England again, but for the American market. Yeah, same as you, isn't it, Alan? Stretch <laughs> Armstrong, yeah. <laughs> Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, it's a good one at Muppets. <laughs> There's Peter Sellers on there once. Fantastic. And David Bowie. Had David Bowie on there once. <laughs> watch with Mother. Oh, God, I'll watch with Mother. Mm. That's so old. <laughs> Creepy. Sam met Captain Noah. I don't know who Captain Noah is. I don't know who Barney the Dinosaur is either. I don't know. We didn't get many of your... Let's start getting American kids stuff um, around the time of... 
What's that? Barnaby Street, was it? No. Um... <laughs> what? What? Oh my God, what's that famous Sesame Street? Sesame Street. Barnaby the Street. The American one that took off over here. Barnaby Street. <laughs> Is there anybody in the world that doesn't know the name of Sesame Street? <laughs> A random Peter Sellers here. He's old hero. Sorry, I'm going to have to adjust myself. <laughs> Things are getting uncomfortable. He's uncomfortably sweaty down here. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, <laughs> the ramblings of a madman. <laughs> While you're doing Sesame Street, we're doing Rainbow with Zippy. <laughs> Fuck you, Sesame Street. Come and fight Zippy if you want, if you fancy it. Sesame Street. Why is he so aggressive about the contrast between American and UK TV <laughs> when he was a child? Why is he so angry about it? That's all it is either. We didn't get many of your... We started getting American kids stuff um, around the time of... What's that? It's Barnaby Street, was it? No. Um... Oh my God, what's that famous... Sesame Street. Sesame Street was the American one that took off over here. While you're doing Sesame Street, we're doing Rainbow. With Zippy. What's that? <laughs> What's that? Zippy. Rainbow. Why is Zippy doing that? Maybe he did a lot of that. Sesame Street was big here. Mm -hmm. That was on for about 25 years, wasn't it? Getting the facts from Alan here. And then we had those Australians. What are those three Australians called? I don't know what you're talking about. I think they were brothers. <laughs> what? Three Australian brothers. <laughs> does, does anybody in chat know <laughs> what the fuck he's on about? Because <laughs> his chat don't know. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> Maybe someone here might know. <laughs> but you've paid the money to be the patron. And if you've just tuned in, oh, I've missing Alan's patron. I only I would pay for that. I'm going to quickly tune in and see what's happening on the patron. Might be getting the inside scoop from the uh, from the armchair detective. What's the Australian kids show? The three men, I think they were. What? Maybe that's one of those ones off your hard drive. I think they were brothers. <laughs> what's the Australian kids show? The, the three men, I think they were. Oh, what they, what's that called? The Australian one. I forgot. <laughs> Don't know. Yeah, what they called again? They used to sing. Did they? Massive popular about 30, 40 years ago. <laughs> Wait, are you getting confused, Alan? Because 30 or 40 years ago, 30 years ago would have been 20, 20 you know, 2000. What were we in 2023 now? Okay, so it would have been like the late 90s. You're sticking to the 10 years, you're talking about the late 80s. That's not your generation. You're talking about longer than that, aren't you? Not being ageist, but you're getting your dates wrong. Confused by the modern world, Alan. Anyway. Left behind 20 years ago. Wiggles, yes. The Wiggles. The Wiggles? What the fuck are the Wiggles? What the fuck are the Wiggles? Sounds like a paedophile outfit. Obviously, it's, this is the Wiggles. Modern. You can't be talking about them, can he? Okay. In the 90s, in Australia. This is fucking weird. Like, I had no idea about this. But then 1993 to 2012. But Alan at this point would have been a full grown man. Maybe his kids like the Wiggles. Maybe his kids like the Wiggles. But he didn't when he was a kid because it wasn't on the telly. This is in the 90s. I won't play a lot because it will get us binned off copyright. But let's just have a quick look at what he's saying for, for, for context. Okay. This looks fucking bad. <laughs> Alan used to watch this in the 90s 
How old was he? He was a full grown adult. He was in his 30s or 40s. I don't want to see any more of that. He does. He enjoys it. Yeah, the wiggles. Yeah, the clangers. <laughs> clangers. That's partridge. That's partridge. Anyway. Wiggles, yes. The wiggles. Yeah, the wiggles. Yeah, the clangers. <laughs> clangers. On the moon. <laughs> That's that. That is Alan Partridge. Anyone in chat who knows Alan Partridge knows that this is Alan Partridge. <laughs> wiggles, yes. <laughs> the Wiggles. Yeah, the Wiggles. Uh, the Clangers. <laughs> clangers. <laughs> On the moon. <laughs> clangers. Oh my lord. Oh, Clangers. You Skippy the bush kangaroo. Yeah. Someone in Boy chat Rogers. said Skippy. Yeah. <laughs> Wagon train. You know, he's just naming oh, it things. Takes me back. It takes me back. Play school. I never liked play school. Didn't never you? liked play school. Boring. The That's program. a moth. That was a moth. Like, we easily distracted. Oh, it takes me back. Play school. never liked play school. Never liked play school. Boring. That's a moth. That's a moth. Play school, yeah. Rubbish. Rainbow was better than play school. And then you had um, Blue Peter versus Jack Daw. Was it called Jack Daw? On ITV had um, one one potato, no. One for a Jack Daw, two for a whatever. And then play school. And then you had um, Blue Peter versus Jack Daw. Was it What's called Jack Daw? On ITV had... Um, one, he's going to say one potato and it just comes out of nowhere and it, I find it incredibly funny. <laughs> this is this is just good old Alan. We had one potato. One one potato, no. <laughs> one potato, no. No. <laughs> on ITV, Ed. Um, one, one potato, no. no. One for a jackdaw, two for a whatever. BBC had um, Blue Peter, ITV had One's a Blackbird, Two's a, what was that called? Magpie. There you go. It was, it was Blue Magpie. Peter versus Magpie. Magpie. Lamb Chop, I remember him. Yeah. <laughs> Larry the Lamb. <laughs> Wiggles. Wiggles. Just mention the word again, Wiggles. Lamb Chop was American, so I remember that. I ask you again, right? Sometimes yeah, I have the question. Amazing, childhood, yeah. Right, amazing, isn't it? Childhood. Having a good think about children, weren't you, Alan? On the lead up to worrying about this video that I was going to drop, not knowing what the content of my video was going to be, you were quite worried about it. On the lead up to it, the armchair is looking particularly frayed behind you at the moment. Interestingly, is that the same armchair, or have you got different armchairs in different locations? Uh, the uh, the idea that you'd be talking about all these. <laughs> These kids' things. Remember, it's sinister, but we are having a great laugh. Wiggles. Wiggles. <laughs> Lamb shop was American, so I remember that. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Childhood, yeah. I had another point to make, but I got mislaid. I got forgot. I mean, I was going to. That's it. Sometimes I wonder: Am I the one smoking the dope? Because he's the one doing this on his Patreon stream. It feels like he's on drugs and I'm in the real world. <laughs> this, hello grumpy granny in chat. This uh, this guy could be put in, um, grumpy granny, didn't you say that you thought I, uh, uh, did you did you or did you not say that you thought I um, photoshopped those small videos? Because if you're worried about who photoshopped the small videos, uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this. Did we talk about this earlier? I think we talked about it earlier. Follow that link and you can see that they're live on the internet right now. I can show you that right now. Firefox. I'm not going to show you videos of kids right now. But if you look, we're just on the internet look. And there's the videos. And oop, they're on the Smule website. So I haven't photoshopped them. I haven't photoshopped them. So don't ever get that twisted. Uh, 
We're going back to Alan. And his fucking nuts. Are you sure it's not him that's on the drugs? Are you sure I'm the one that he's accusing of using drugs? <laughs> and I've got a, w a weird mind. Are you sure it's me that's got the twisted mind? Or is it you, Alan? What's happening here? Brought, it's brought it all back. It's like yesterday. S 65 years ago. Come right back. Come right back. Flop Except you couldn't remember any of it. <laughs> and you were asking, chat, do you remember who this is? And we had Stretch Johnson. And it's all just flooding right back. He's like a... Sh he's... he's <laughs> It's like, oh, it's like it was yesterday. You right, Minky? It's like it was yesterday. It's all come flooding back. What was his name again? And who was that? And what was this programme? And this this reminds, this feels like I might, I, I wonder sometimes whether I actually have dementia. I'm not having a joke about dementia because it's a very serious thing. But sometimes I worry whether I have dementia and I'm in an old people's home and I'm talking to this nutter and both of us are nuts and I can't quite perceive it properly because I have dementia. Like, oh, those two, they think they're on the internet with each other. You know, those two, they think they're on the internet with each other. Oh, he's, he's doing the flower pot men again. Kirsty, come and get your dad from Dixon's. <laughs> He's on the he's on the karaoke in Dixon's again, Kirsty. Can we get him? Can we get him out of Dixon's? Sixty-five years ago, come right back. <laughs> come right back. Flop a lot. <laughs> Fly pop man. Flop a lot. <laughs> They're drawing language. Who's the blonde girl? This is sitting in between them. Ragdoll. What's she called? The flower pot man. In the middle was this blonde girl. Um, I think she was a rag doll. <laughs> I can't remember her name. Wasn't that the weed that was between them? Sharon Lewis and Lamb Shop, yeah. Who was the um, girl in? <laughs> it's all come flooding back. <laughs> it's all come flooding back. Alan had a sexual attraction to the weed character in the middle of the two flower pot men. The wooden tops. <laughs> no, it's wooden tops. <laughs> Daisy, Tram yeah. Tramadol kicking in. <laughs> You're taking me places I haven't been. Little weed. I'm getting Grumpy Granny and Nosy Nana confused. No, I don't know if I am. Am I? Sorry about the croaky voice. Just rolled out of bed. Um... So I've seen the toing and froing that's going on with Alan's ridiculous community post. I'll, I will read that later, Val. Um, I just wanted to show you this. I have Smule because I enjoy singing, but I'm not stupid enough to put the videos up, Alan. Good call. Um, so this is what it looks like on your Smule when you've done a, um, a duet with somebody. It says yeah. the name of the song, the two names of the people that sing, and then, you know, people can press hearts and comment and stuff yeah. like that. What about if you do a collaboration? That. You don't get the little picture with the two people side by side. Okay. Smule only has that on their advertising. No, not just on their advertising, on their actual website. Look, here it is. Here it is on the website. There's two people side by side in the collaboration on the website. Here's the link. Copy. Paste. See how the people are all super pretty? That's just their advertising. You don't get that photo of the two people singing because I don't use my camera while I sing, so they don't have my photo. Scott has made that photo to go with the singing and what he's talking about. No, I haven't. I went on the internet and recorded it live on the internet during a stream. We talked about it extensively in today's episode. If she's confused, she can go back to the start of today's episode and watch it. No, I haven't. I haven't made that. You probably should have said that. I didn't need video. to say that because I didn't make so it. It's no, not, I said in the video, this is not an editing trick. All I did is blur out the faces of the children. They're live on those videos. That's how the video appears on the internet. There's the link in the chat. Here it is live on the internet. Here is the video with the two kids. I'll click it now. Watch, watch. I'll click it. Click. I'm not, this is not a video. I'm not, that's not an editing trick. There it is. I haven't made that. That's on Smule on John Bray's account, which has been suspended. But because Tilly's hasn't, this is still available for you to see and verify. So that video is incorrect. I would, you know, request a correction there. If she's in chat now, Grumpy Granny, 
I'd, I'd request a correction. You check it out. I mean, it's everything I've been saying today in today's episode, and uh, I have not. You know, saying that I've made it is saying what Alan said, but I didn't. So I wouldn't say that. In fact, it's the opposite. <laughs> so that's why I was saying that. Big ups. We're not. We're not cross. I'm not cross. I'm not angry or anything. I just think you should correct that because otherwise, it sounds like you're supporting Alan. <laughs> Little weed. Who's to pop up? Little weed. <laughs> this is Alan. The garden shed. <laughs> oh dear, you weren't another flower pot man, were you, Americans? No. So they won't know what you're talking Little about, weed. Alan. So why did you do that weird impression? Could you imagine having like I don't know how many Americans there are in his chat room, you know? But could you imagine having a bunch of people who don't know what you're talking about and doing this for them as like entertainment? Me places I haven't been. Little weed. <laughs> Little weed. Who's to pop up? Little weed. It's not creepy, is it? <laughs> it's not creepy, is it, Alan? Yeah. Daisy, yeah. Daisy, yeah. It's taking me places I won't be. Classic Alan Vinicum. Garden shed. <laughs> oh dear, you weren't another flower pot man, were you, American? No. <laughs> so they won't know what the fuck you're going on about, will they? <laughs> uh, it all started with torture, right? No one's come up with the name of those silhouette things. <laughs> I'm, I'm struggling with that. It was the silhouettes of the Elizabethan times. Get your hand out of the. Hand hand. No one's come up with those fucking silhouettes, have they? You're not doing your work in my paid chat. No one's come up with the name of those silhouette things. I'm, I'm struggling with that. It was the silhouettes of the Elizabethan times. <laughs> Why don't you it Google it? the first thing I can remember that was animated. Do you want me to do it for you, Alan, you fucking idiot? Because <laughs> he's won't have Googled this. Um, silhouettes of... What do you say? Elizabethan TV. I'll put Watch With Mother because it was about that era. Picture book, it'll be called, won't it? Will it be, will it, will it be picture book? I don't want to watch a full episode and get done, but this looks like it's the sort of thing he's talking about. Yeah, you could use sticky tape to stick these corners together. Oh no, this is the woman and the dog. Card next page in the picture book. God, actually, this is already giving me the horn. <laughs> She's got this wonderful voice. It's such a pretty yellow colour. Now, they don't want any water. Let's try some more. They don't want any more water. This is the original ASMR. My mum got these videos when we were kids to say, these are the programmes we used to watch when I was a kid. And I used to think, I remember when she played me, I used to think, God, this is awful. What what an awful childhood you had. I used to think she'd been like, you know, like gone through some tragic childhood. Oh, this is the telly we used to watch when I was a kid. And I was like, this is fucking awful. But they had this little doggy in this one. And this lady would do all the nice talking and cutting things out with scissors. And I used to fucking love this. The doggy. Now we've got the ruler. We'll draw a straight line near the top edge. Not this folded edge here, but this open edge. I think this might have been printed onto my... Uh, naive sexuality. <laughs> I think that now I'm a grown up, I'm finding this in strangely more sexu sexually attractive than I thought I would. <laughs> the ruler on the paper. Oh, yes, do. And draw a straight line. This is my Nigella Lawson. <laughs> on the top of it with the pencil. Like She's not doing anything saucy. Get the scissors going the scissors. for me, please. There we go, the scissors. Slits. Yes. Slits. Slits, you little sauce pot. <laughs> 
line. Straight Ooh. cut. Ooh. And there's one slit. Ooh. And Ooh. there's another. Ooh. And another slit. Oh, that's doing it for me. Hands. That is actually, I love the sound of it. I love the whole setup. I'm sure there must have been something about having been given this video to watch when I was a kid at some point. I don't know why. Like, I would have been quite a young kid because my mom wanted to show us the stuff she used to watch and we were young kids and like we watched a bit of it. The video was kicking around in our video collection. I remember watching this sometimes. I don't know why it's imprinted on me in this way, but the sound of the scissors and her lovely re yeah, received pronunciation and the, the, the whole premise of it is all very saucy for me now. It's not saucy, but it's just like, ooh, I like this. So lying. Maybe it's somewhere between ASMR and Nigella Lawson. You would go on cutting those slits all along the paper. But there isn't time for me to do that. Uh -huh. So I have paper here already cut oh. with all the slits. Look, Ooh. this is what it looks like. It looks Something. saucy in some way, but I can't tell why. Like a comb, isn't it? A, a little girl's fringe. Ooh, a little girl's fringe. Now we're getting in a place that I don't want to go. So um, let's go back to Alan. <laughs> Sorry, I went to his... The wrong bit there. Where are we? It's this. Anyone remember that? No, I don't suppose you do. Spotty dog. <laughs> Spotty dog. Oh, dear. So that wasn't the thing Alan was talking about. I, I couldn't find the silhouettes thing either. Um, but we'll find them one day, maybe. Or maybe he made them up. Never like well, maybe he's that old. Maybe he's, maybe Alan is some kind of creepy, weird, um, you know, vampire that went through several. Like he doesn't seem like it, doesn't he? He seems like the type. You know, maybe he lived a former. You know, maybe when he was a child in his first vampiric existence before he was shipped over in the coffin from Romania, <laughs> like Dracula. Um, maybe he enjoyed silhouette play and lamps, and he just his memory so vague and distant from that time. But it wasn't the Teddy. It was just lamps. <laughs> Sorry. Never in the suit. Jumpers for goalposts. Very good, Gregory Davis. Very good. Jumpers for goalposts, eh? <laughs> Football down the park, eh? Nice header. Bag of chips. Salt and vinegar, eh? <laughs> Someone took them off you. Now you've got to fight them in the street because they've knocked your chips on the floor, eh? <laughs> Jumpers for goalposts, eh? I thought you said... Skins and shirts, eh? Going back into the locker room with the... With the... With the... <laughs> going into the locker room with the gym instructor, eh? It's arrogant, sorry. You wait, 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 what's this? No, I don't suppose you do. Spotty dog. <laughs> Spotty dog. Oh, dear. Never like Sooty. Never into Sooty. I thought he was arrogant, Sooty. <laughs> he thought Sooty was arrogant. Is that somebody else's stand-up routine, or are you, are you saying that for real? <laughs> you thought Sooty was arrogant. Do you know what I'm aware of tonight as well? If we do an eight hour stream, he said I was obsessed by him for doing an eight hour stream. We're up to seven hours now. We're not gonna quite make eight hours tonight, but you know what has to happen is Alan has to watch all this. <laughs> Alan has to watch all this. <laughs> and he doesn't enjoy it like you do. <laughs> I prefer to sweep. I prefer to sweep. Sweep was naughty. <laughs> it was Sooty Sweep, and then they had this panda girl. Sue. Sooty and Sweep never said a word in their life. Why don't you remember the women's names? None of the women were, were pertinent enough to have their names remembered. Some panda girl. <laughs> Sooty Sweep and some woman. Sooty Sweep, and then they had this panda girl. Sooty and Sweep never said a word in their lives, and this panda wouldn't shut up. I think she was called Sandy or something. She wouldn't shut up. <laughs> she had a voice and everything. Typical woman, right? <gasps> the misogyny. Pipes and this panda wouldn't shut up. I think she was never like Sui. Never into Sui. I thought he was arrogant, Sui. I preferred Sweep. <laughs> sweep was naughty. <laughs> It was Sooty Sweep, and then they had this panda girl. So Wait, I'm going to record this one. I'm going to record this one for a, a quick Twitch clip as well, because this is perfect attractor stuff. <laughs> Never into Sooty. I thought he was arrogant, Sooty. Wait. I preferred Sweep. Wait, wait, wait. I need to get that bit as well. Sweep was... <laughs> Never liked Sooty. 
Never in the sea. I thought he was arrogant, see. I preferred Sweep. <laughs> sweep was naughty. It was Sooty Sweep, and then they had this panda girl. <laughs> Sooty and Sweep never said a word in their lives, and this panda wouldn't shut up. I think she was called Sandy or something. She wouldn't shut up. <laughs> she had a voice and everything. Typical woman, right? Poor was Sooty and Sweet, because they never. It was like. <laughs> With a wand like that, well, <laughs> poor old Sue, no voice. Super grand, yeah. Sue, yeah, Sue could speak. Sue could speak. I've stopped the recording Which there. It's quite useful if you're trying to make a TV series. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly bang that one up on Twitch because I just want to just get that up there. It's, it's misogyny. It's a little example of misogyny. I'm just going to quickly tweet Alan's most recent that I've seen, although there are probably more since I've last been looking. Um, angry. Alan thought Sooty was arrogant. <laughs> Sooty. We're dissing Sooty here. We're dissing Sooty. The Sooty was arrogant. And Sue was a typical woman as she talked too much. Just gonna tweet that out into the, the world. Just gonna let them have that in the world when it's uploaded. There, it's just. I thought he was arrogant, so he... I preferred sweep. <laughs> sweep was naughty. Yeah. It was sooty sweep, and then they had this panda girl. <laughs> sooty and sweep never said a word in their lives, and this panda wouldn't shut up. I think she was called Sandy or something. She wouldn't shut up. <laughs> she had a... So why isn't it letting me tweet? Hurry up, processing. Oh, it's hurrying up now. Good. Maybe because I'm, on, I'm online as well. There you go. I can tweet that. Uh, I want to put also Angry Alan Vinicum thought Sooty was arrogant. And then I'll hashtag it with Armchair Detective. Because, you know. Your algorithm is mine now, Alan. Your algorithm is mine now. Next thing I do is to open the paper out. I but bet you do, you saucy. I bet you do. Go on then, open that paper for me, baby. Unfold it. I must do this very carefully because I don't want to tear it. No. Oh, I'll be very careful not to tear it. Huh? It is saucy. Open it out. Oh. And now it's flat. Now I'm going to stick this corner on top of this corner here. Don't, don't. It's, it's getting me too... It's getting me too steamed up. Don't. Look at the way she's looking at you. She's a sauce, sauce pot. Where are we? Armchair dick. Do you remember I was saying, like, Scotty wants a wifey? All you have to do is sit over there and do that with the, the paper. I'll turn the cameras... You can sit in the same room here and you can be doing that in the background. And I won't even be able to do my stream. I'll be like, oh... <laughs> She's doing the scissors. Let me have a minute. <laughs> Whereas Alan... Supergram was good, wasn't it? Oh, what's that ghost? Ghost granny. What was that? Uh... <laughs> was that that your, your nan died, Alan? And you, you... <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't start me. Don't start me. Was that Supergram? Was a ghost? No, it was your actual nan died. And you thought she was haunting you. Do you remember? Oh, it's like Happy Days. Monday, Tuesday, Happy Days. <laughs> Never missed an episode of Happy Days. Loved it. 50s America, lovely. All the cars and the cafes. <laughs> and the Fonz and the hot men. <laughs> Fonz. That's yes. my favourite show. As a teenager, I used to love Happy Days. <laughs> Rocking all through the week. Monday, Tuesday. Wait. Is, he, is he now playing to the American audience or what? What's happening here? In for the weekend. Yeah. Rent a ghost, that was it. Rent a ghost. Did you just put rent a ghost in our chat? Louise, what's happening? All oh, right, no. Obviously, he said it, and now you've said it. I get it. I was like, how are you doing that? Are you psychic? You said rent a ghost, and he said it, but it's because he described it and you knew what it was. <laughs> I tell you, I'm losing my mind now. Rent a ghost. Casper was the American one. I thought for a minute there I was doing the old classic of reading someone else's chat off someone else's stream as assuming it's mine. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> what were the names? What was the name, Sarah, in the chat when I said hello to them? What was the name? Should I just say Kathy because I can't remember? <laughs> yes, Kathy. <laughs> You can change, what did I even say to her? I was talking to someone in someone else's chat. Rin Tin Tin, I remember that. Remember Tim Tin Tin? Big and the Helen. other one, Tin Tin, with, the, with the, that bit of hair. Tin Tin. <laughs> You've got Tin Tin hair, you're not a... Big Ups Helen, that was it. Big Ups Helen in someone else's chat that happened to be on the screen because we were watching their stream. The Adventures of Tin Tin, remember him? Tin Tin. Fonz. Fonz. This is, isn't this just like somebody with dementia in an old people's home just rambling away with the attempt to construct a jigsaw of a, of a dog in a custard bowl? <laughs> Someone's going to change the channel on the telly. I oh, don't you change that channel. I like that channel. Alan, you don't have control over the remote control. Oh, you shut up. No, not everyone. Calm down. Alan's not causing trouble again, is he? <laughs> Alan's Twilight Zone, yeah. The Twilight Hour with Alan. The Twilight of my life with Alan. <laughs> this was a bit weird now looking back. He was like 30. <laughs> Fonz. Fonz was a bit weird now looking back. He was like 30, living in um, his friend's attic. With his mum and dad, uh, mum and his mum and dad, like like on his own, and he was like thirty five, and all his girlfriends were sixteen. <laughs> well, Alan, two days before Nonsgate kicks off, he's saying this. It doesn't seem like he would. Could you imagine him making the same joke tonight? <laughs> I'm actually telling you, I, I think these are things that other people have said over the years about happy days. I think that another. I think this is somebody else's stand up routine. That he's, he's quoting there, but uh, he seems to think that that's a bit creepy. If you think that's creepy, Alan, <laughs> people are above the age of consent and someone living in someone's attic, imagine what you're going to think about the video that we dropped about you and your Smule songs. <laughs> the Fonz, they always have a couple of girls on there, but they're always, they're always college girls, right? Wouldn't get away with it today, would they? The Fonz was... Really it's not, hang on, he's, wouldn't get away with it today. <laughs> not wouldn't dream of doing it today. Wouldn't get away with it today. Like there's something to be getting away with. <laughs> In your mind, it's like some sort of, it's, it's about whether you can get away with it, is it, Alan? Seen in a different way now. Would be, yes, things do get seen yeah, in a different way. Yeah, Fonz was awful. But he never went for any girls his own age, did he? <laughs> he went, well, he kept getting the girlfriends off the boy. You just said he was your favourite... <laughs> How are you doing this to yourself? He literally just said, the Fonz was my favourite of all these people. I used to watch it every week. He was my favourite one. He didn't ever have a girlfriend his own age. He was always flirting with the, the very fine line between uh, uh, adolescence and adulthood. <laughs> like, what are you doing, Alan? It was 17. Stretch Johnson. all the girlfriends off the boy that's 17. He's 35. It's not, not fair, is it? Top Cat. Excellent. Top Cat. Spec uh, uh, Officer Dibble. <laughs> Benny the bull. Oh my god, I'm going there now. Fred Flint's Benny the bull. Oh my god, I'm going there now. Oh, cat. Excellent.
Fritz is brilliant. They live in the dark ages, but they're all these um, latest American gadgets. Fantastic weapons. <laughs> well, it was one of it. Flintstones were amazing. Henry Winkler's a very nice man. Yeah, he is. I love Lucy. That wasn't really for kids, was it? But I remember it. Walk and Mindy, yeah. Yeah, the Fonz lived outside the house, upstairs in some sort of attic thing. <laughs> Not this, is it, Alan? <laughs> what are we doing? Do you know, I never thought nothing of it, the Fonz at the time. No, looking back now, it's not right, is it? <laughs> what else do I used to watch in America? <laughs> Looks like the monkeys. Hey, hey, we're the monkey. Fuck, so you monkey around. That'd be 1965, wouldn't it? Monkeys, 65, 66. I don't fucking know. Wow, so long ago. Wow. Yeah. Once I was seven years old, my mama told me, don't sing with kids and you'll be lonely. Banana splits. Banana splits. <laughs> What's the tune to that again? Banana splits. That was funny. Look over there again, Alan. <laughs> What's the tune to that again? Doodly, doodly. Banana splits. That was yeah. funny. Banana splits. <laughs> What's the tune to that again? Banana splits. That was funny. <laughs> Benny Hill wouldn't stand a chance these days. <laughs> no chance, Benny. Chasing young girls running around in the park is not going to work, Benny. That's gone. That's gone. Back in the day, we could get away with it, but you can't now. That's gone. Gone. That's gone. Chasing girls around in the park, Benny. In, now in context with Nonskate, this sounds so bad. He was doing this two days before Nonskate hit. This was what was on his mind. America loved Benny Hill. He was very popular. Once I was 70 I, years old. You know, it was a funny period when I liked Ken Dodd. When Ken Dodd, right, when I was a little kid, he had a thing called Naughty Ash. God, here we go. And he had these little Diddy men that had their own show. The Diddy men from Naughty Ash, remember that? So he did a kid's show. I used to like that. And they all looked like, they all looked like Doddy, right? They had the same hairstyle as Ken Dodd, right? It was, it not, it was... He's doing this so seriously. Like, the way he's telling this is like, like as if he's, again, this feels like he's doing one of his live streams about Nicola Bully or something. Like, there's no difference in his demeanour when he's talking seriously about Ken Dodd and the Doddy man and when he's talking about, like, Chris Watts and whatever, like. They all look like Doddy, right? They had the same hairstyle as Ken Dodd, right? It was, not little Diddy it's the man. armchair detective. <laughs> Someone on YouTube now looks like Ken Dodd, doesn't it? You. It it's fucking you. It's you. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, you had the big competition. Were you for the Munsters or the Adams family? That was the that was the big competition. Were you for the Munsters or the Adams family? Come on, buttons. What are we gonna do? We got a big problem. I like the Munsters. I like the Adams family. Big competition, isn't it? Yeah, I remember. Massive. What? Forget it. Oh, that was hard, wasn't it? It was hard. Now, of course, the Munsters was the most popular. But over the period of time, the Adams family is more popular. Adams family is still popular today, right? Which one would you fit in more accurately with Ad Alan? Where do you think you would have fit in? Do you think you would have been better with the Adams family or the Monsters? I think you're a monster, to be honest. I think you belong with the Monsters. Me and me and Wednesday, we're going to be big friends. Me and Wednesday are going to be big friends when she grows up. <laughs> 
but I, she's grown up now, isn't she? Because she was played by Jenna Ortega in this most recent one, and she's quite grown up herself, really, isn't she? Wednesday, bit of the old saucy Wednesday. But uh, Alan, I think you're much more of a monster. I think you're much more of a Herman monster. But they're funny and you know, funny. Like you're not funny. You're just creepy. <laughs> Monsters died out, but the Munsters was the big story, and then the Adams family came along, and now they're ticking over. Yeah, that's what happened there. And then, of course, for boys, you had were you a Superman or a Batman? Were you? I used to go Saturday morning pictures, and it'd be Superman or Batman in black and white from the nineteen fifties American series. You used to go to the morning pictures and watch the 1950s films in the 1950s then, did you? <laughs> Fucking hell, taking us back now, isn't he? Managing to stay really relevant on his YouTube channel. Saturday morning pictures, and it'd be Superman or Batman in black and white from the 1950s American series. I was always for Superman. I liked his kryptonite. Superman was mine. I didn't like Superboy. I didn't like Supergirl. I just liked Superman. Yeah. Batman didn't get like. He did get Batgirl, but he didn't get like. Any pussy? He didn't really. He just didn't appeal to me, Batman. It's just like a <laughs> bloke who could climb up buildings, really, wasn't he, Batman? <laughs> he had a nice car. Batman he had a nice have any car. Superpowers, really. <laughs> no superpowers. Bewitched was good. Bewitched. I'll tell you what, Samantha from Bewitched, hello. Samantha from Bewitched, wiggling her little nose. That made an impression on me when I was a kid. I still like Bewitched. I bet you did. Green Acres, that's an American one. I remember that. Superman was great. This is uh, 50 minutes into his hour-long broadcast for his patrons. <laughs> I like Superman because he was already saving. He was all, always saving people's lives, you know. Somebody would be falling off the Niagara Falls, and he's in New York, and he gets to Niagara Falls and save their life within ten seconds. Like, I used to love that one. I used to love that <laughs> power fantasy. <laughs> he was a superhero. Follyfoot. Oh. Oh, <laughs> what's this? Oh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> He was a superhero. <laughs> Folly foot. Oh. <laughs> Folly foot. Black beauty. Yeah. Black beauty. There you go. That's partridge. That's part and, and that's partridge. That's number wang. <laughs> And then all the game show goes off, and that's number Wang, <laughs> Black Beauty. Alan Partridge has the Black Beauty theme tune on his on his Bang and Olfson. <laughs> he was a superhero. Folly for oh. Black Beauty, yeah, Black Beauty. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing talking about this crap? Yeah, what are you doing? Green Acres, yeah, living on a farm. I'm running out of them now. <laughs> I'm running out. My history's running out. My television history's going. Lassie, yes, of course, Lassie. Little House on the Prairie, yes. <laughs> Matey Boy from Bonanza, right? Michael Laundry, it was called. Bonanza was good as well, wasn't it? High Chaparral. <laughs> Why don't you do sweets next, Alan? Like Little most people, like imagine we did a, uh, you know, we did the, 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 we did the chocolate tier list. We talked about all the chocolate bars and reminisced and had the nostalgia, and we put them in a tier list and we made some sort of content about it. But what Alan's doing is simply listing these uh, these things like an itemized list of things he can remember, and then making one maybe one throwaway comment about each and moving forward. Like it's just an itemized list of things he can remember he saw on the telly. <laughs> Lynn, Lynn, Lynn. Yeah. Yeah. Is that 
Well, let us suppose was that with the girl that was naughty, the blonde spoiled. He loves these naughty kids, doesn't he? Little house on the prairie. Was that? Well, let us suppose was that with the girl that was naughty, the blonde spoiled girl. Was she in from another family? The the blonde, the blonde spoiled teenage girl, right? Well, that was Little House on the Prairie, wasn't it? She's that's not. Trouble. That's not when people talk about Little House on the Prairie. They talk about Good Night, Doc. Good Night, John. Like they talk about a sort of uh, nostalgia for a time gone by where things were simpler and life was better, and people didn't go around shooting people and stealing things. You know, it, it's a much more wholesome feel when people think of Little House on the Prairie. What Alan thinks of is a naughty schoolgirl, and she's naughty, and she's a spoiled little schoolgirl, and oh, I'd do things to. Well, I didn't say that you'd do things to her. <laughs> family the the blonde the blonde spoiled teenage girl right yeah. that was a little worse than the prairie wasn't it she's always in trouble cat thinks it's time to finish big valley yeah yeah big valley's name of my band big valley what a memory what a memory i chose big valley as the name of my band because it conjures up certain ideals but i think it's not the best name really might need to change that <laughs> of course colombo Columbo's the king, isn't he? Columbo to... was there, up there. All saggy the rest, pants. No Old saggy Ironside. pants. Cannon. Ironside. Ironside was in a wheelchair. And nowhere near. None of them were nowhere near. <laughs> so Alan's, the, Alan didn't favour him. Or was that Kojak was in a wheelchair? It wasn't one of them. In, I think it was Ironside. Alan doesn't favour them anyway. He favours Columbo. He used to walk around with his plastic Marks and Spencer's bag and his little cap. And his gammy eye. Rockford Files. No one could touch Columbo. <laughs> Highlight of my week, Sunday. They couldn't touch Andy Pandy either, could they, though? It's like, he's in the same echelon as Andy Pandy. Night, Columbo. See if I could guess who did the murder in the first minute. <laughs> Sometimes I used to miss the first quarter of an hour on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> but you liked it. Just to see how Columbo would trap the person. You know who did the murder. You saw him doing the murder in the first minute. So you would miss the first 15 minutes of your favourite show to make the, the viewing experience better. You knew the result. It's the weirdest detective show. Who did it? Well, they just showed you that the murder was in the first minute. <laughs> it's always like how he outthought these super intelligent artists or... Oh, bankers! He's, he's, oh, super intelligent artist. Somebody thinks he's a bit of an artist himself, don't they? Super intelligent artist. I think Alan would like to be able to outthink the super intelligent artists, wouldn't he? I think he'd like to be able to outthink the super chuffer, wouldn't he? Just, just doesn't have the means. Doesn't have the, the ability. Yeah, this is partridge. This is partridge up a million. You don't think him, right? They, they thought he was stupid. He's got no idea. In the end, he always got. And he always got the policeman outside the door. He's saying in chat there, GTSY uh, thinks he's on autopilot because GTSY, I think, he's on autopilot. His brain isn't engaged. He knows they don't give a crap as long as they can sit and look at him and fantasise. You think GTSY, they think that uh, Alan is a fantasy figure for some of these. I, I, I get the concept. You know, I think some of them got hooked into that at some point, but I can't imagine it myself. Like Not in today's day and age with all the different... Like, um, we were talking earlier about what a man is. Um, like, Alan's perception of what a man is might be maybe to someone's taste, but you've got all these other <laughs> wider, more diverse, um, you know, maybe this is just a very, very, very strange niche for some people that they like an abusive older gentleman <laughs> with ham, ham hands and gammy hanging, gammy hanging armies and gaslighting and contradictions, rants and a bad knee, obsessed with himself, <laughs> their own sense of self-importance. Maybe there are some people that are into this as a particular kink, but I think it must be a very small, very small niche. And even if you do like Alan and whatever he you know, is to you, there are other people that, are much, that can offer you more, that can be better. You know, there's one in chat there. RM42, the Jetsons. <laughs> the Jetsons. You're doing it in chat now. 
ready to arrest him when he does a big reveal on how he did the murder. And they never fight and they never run. They go, yeah, you got me. <laughs> it's hilarious. Hilarious. Rockford was good. Glad we cleared this up, Alan. Yeah, oh, well done, yes. The naughty girl was um, Nelly Olsen, yeah. Uh, he wanted her name so he could Google her and look at pictures of her, didn't he? Can have a think about that later, aren't you, Alan? This is so. I just the problem is I now have to imagine Alan masturbating over these pictures of Nelly Olsen. <laughs> it's just not a really nice, you know, visual image, is it? But. She doesn't do it for me, really. She doesn't, she's not my type. <laughs> I can see why Alan took a... <laughs> I can see why Alan took a shine to her. With her boyish good looks. <laughs> Wait, Dover and Dolly's mom, don't you turn out to be a nutter as well, right? Isn't it funny? This is you, Dover and Dolly's mom. This is the time you watched that thing and thought I was reading the Bible. Of course she looks like herself because she is herself. Isn't it funny the adult pictures of her still look like her? No, she is herself. <laughs> Nelly does still look like Nelly. I still look like me. You still look like you. It'd be weird if she looked like someone else. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, Dover and Dolly's mom. But you know what I mean? <laughs> I do know what you mean. She does look like herself. She does. She still looks very much like herself, yes. But I would be more surprised if she looked like her someone else. <laughs> because this is who she is. It's herself. <laughs> Alan certainly wanted to make sure he'd got this one sorted. He remembered this one. Little bonnet. Oh, she was a right spoiled madam. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Dover and Dolly's mom. I just thought it was a funny comment the way, you know, I read it and the way I could say it out loud. So I just, I'm not saying you're an idiot. I'm saying this one. <laughs> she looks like herself. <laughs> you look like you. <laughs> yeah, I do, don't I? <laughs> That's why I've used that picture of my passport, because later on, in years to come, when they check it against my face, I'm hoping I still look like me. <laughs> Sorry. So with the glue, I put a little blob. Ooh. There, a little blob Ooh. of glue. You. corner like that. And press the two corners together with my fingers. You can press my corners, baby. Look, even the doggy likes it. Even the little doggy likes it. There we are. Look at that. And now I do the same thing at the other end. Oh, I can, I can see this is turning out to be a, a wonderful craft. I'm not doing a black bed in a black room with a black... No, get back to this. Spoil. Yeah. He's wearing all black here. I keep reminding you, like, when you see these episodes of Alan on his show and he's wearing all black, the, you know, you can go over his little back catalogue and have a look. Like, sometimes he's wearing all black, like he's been delivering milk tray, quite often, and it's just fucking weird. Yeah. Rawhide. Clint is Rawhide! <laughs> Rawhide. Wagon train. Wagon See, wheels. I <laughs> See, I know. See, I know. <laughs> What does see I know me? <laughs> Rawhide. Clint Eastwood. Rawhide. Wagon train. See, I know. Columbo's the best. <laughs> Muttering Columbo's the best. Uh, as he stumbles into I'm the off license. The detective saw. <laughs> Could you imagine if I was on my show filling for time by thinking and humming? Hmm. 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 
I critique this chair again. Has he always got this rough chair that looks like the cat's been scratching it? Or is this a chair in someone else's location? Does he insist on having this particular armchair that you can get on Amazon? Like, you know, this bog standard armchair in different locations. Someone's going to have to, you know, one of the mimps is going to have to keep their eye on the armchair and the quality of the armchair. Or is it just these, is it just the static from the green screen, maybe? Spectre Lockhart. Scott from Scotland Yard was a British version. I forget the name of that, but it's Inspector Lockhart. No, it's, it's, just little, a, it's just the static from the green screen. Forget what I was saying. The star she had from Scotland Yard. What was that called? No Hiding Place. Yeah, No Hiding Place. Inspector Lockhart. Yeah. We're on the way to an eight hour stream. Yeah, so Zed Cars, yeah. Zed Cars. Kojak, yeah, you never Ko forget Kojak, can you? You never forget you Kojak. Baby. Yeah, because of like simple, <laughs> because of simple uh, catchphrases like, it's always midnight and you're here with Super Chuffer, this is your right ear and your left ear. You can never forget Kojak. Whereas you, Alan, will drift off into the river and become fish food, never to be spoken about again. <laughs> I never liked um, what are those Twitch from Miami calls. I didn't ever like them. <laughs> Cro Crocker and I don't, I don't get on with that. I didn't mind Starsky and Hatch, but those Miami Vice now, I didn't like that. I don't know why. Too Flash. Enjoying themselves, getting all the girls, having a great time. Jealous, of it, weren't you, Alan? Miami Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angel. <laughs> the blonde one. The dark one and the man one, <laughs> the blonde one, the dark one, and, and the, the and the butch one. Butch, I don't remember the names. I used to like the very pretty dark head one, yeah, yeah. Fire force it never did nothing for me. And never did nothing. Did. Never, never physically did anything for you. Never sent you any money. Never supported your stream. Never tipped you. Never shared your videos. <laughs> or do you mean like she never sexually excited you? I assume. But the the nice. Hang on, hang on. Yeah, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> he's doing this thing again where he's like revealing things. So Charlie's Angels original. Okay. Oh, no, what am I doing? eBay, I don't want to buy them. I just want a picture of the fuckers. A picture of the three. There's a male one, he said, like a butch one. What's he on about? So there's a blonde, one of these is fire force it. One of these is a butch one, and one of these is the blonde one. So my guess is that this one is fire force it on the left, maybe. And this one is the butch one then, because the other one is the blonde one. Is that what I'm, I'm to assume? I suppose. Again, she like not being weird about her, yeah, not not being mean about her, but this lady that Alan's picked out, much like the last lady, looks boyish in her charms. Like she's a bit more androgynous. She's got a bit more of a square jaw. You know, much like that last girl that we saw, the blonde one. She's the most masculine looking out of the three. It's just a thing I'm noticing. Like Alan's type, you know. Weird. It's really pretty brown-haired girl. I don't know oh, far, wait, wait. Fire was on the right, and the really pretty one was the brown-haired girl. Okay, so I've got that wrong. For me, and the butch one didn't. But so the the nice, really pretty brown-haired girl. I don't know her name, but I still like her. This is the girl. Eric right, Strada, yeah, chips. That was good. This girl. Well, you, you lost your way there with Dancing with Wolves, Elizabeth. That's a film. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth's tuned in with a film and we're doing a series. That's a fucking, you, you fucking Chat. idiot. One of his chatters there tuned in with a film. Chimed in, you mean, with a film and you're doing television series. I didn't realise there were rules on the table. You so, If you suddenly got no sound, then that's your end because I've still got sound. So don't worry about that. I mean, I won't. <laughs> You'll have to deal with it yourself. What can I do at your end? Uh, it's weird that we've <laughs> we suddenly set some ground rules at the end of the episode so that someone can feel demeaned in chat, isn't Pretty it? Brown-haired girl, I don't know her name, but I still like her. Eric Estrada, yeah, Chips, that was good. Chips. 
Well, you, you lost your way there with Dancing with Wolves, Elizabeth. That's a film. <laughs> you stupid woman. Elizabeth's tuned in with a film and we're doing series. That's okay. Jacqueline Smith, yeah. Yeah, Jacqueline Smith. <laughs> Any more? Can I go to bed yet? <laughs> Chips, that was good. Oh, you can't finish. I've got to finish on a good one. Dukes of Hazard. Can't finish. Got to finish on a good one. What he means is the, the broadcast is 55 minutes long. So he needs, he actually finishes the broadcast at one hour, two minutes. Sorry, one hour, two seconds. So Alan is desperate to fill. Is this some sort of, I think he's either got some sort of attention, not attention, what's the word? ADHD, OCD. Like he, he, he believes that he has to make the hour. Like he has to tick over to an hour. Because the minute it ticks over, he's finished. At the moment, he wants to finish. He's done with it. But he, it's his own pay, this is his home patron broadcast. And I'll just scroll down there and I don't know if you can see. It says 55 minutes. He finishes it on an hour and two seconds. And he said that in that other rant when he was ranting at us. You know, there's five more minutes of this. And I, he believes that his streams have to tick over to the next hour every time. I don't know why. This is even a private patron stream, so I don't know why it needs to. But he can't finish five minutes early. It's a bit of a weird one, though. I love that girl. Daisy May. My God, I used to look up to her. Who? Daisy May? Da Who's that now? Don't bring up a porn star. Who's Daisy May? This isn't who he's talking about. Got no idea. Shut up, Alan. A little block of glue and press the two corners together. I'll press your corners. Daisy May. I'm oh, talking to Daisy Mays. Ed, Ed Clampett, the Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> Granny, Granny, cook some vittles. What's vittles? Vittles. <laughs> Vittles. Possum. <laughs> Boiled possum. Jigs of Ava, brilliant. Yeah. Jigs of Ava, yeah. Daisy May. Catherine Summit played Daisy. Okay, Jigs of Ava, Daisy May. Okay. She's going to have little shorties on. She's going to have little shorties on, isn't she? It's not this one. This is Jessica Simpson, but I just thought I'd look at this picture briefly. <laughs> She's got little shorties on. This was... This is... <laughs> and has described, over the course of today, what he's done is he's talked about all his favourite childhood TV programmes and let us in on which favourite women he used to jerk off over. I assume that's what he means. It's weird, isn't it? The way he went from Bill and Bond... Bill and, bon, Bill and Ben the flower pot men to this is who I used to jerk off over. <laughs> He's managed to take that jump for us. This is Daisy May. A fine figure of a woman. <laughs> a little bit chauvinistic. Ellie May. Ellie May. I mean, Ellie who May. doesn't, let's be fair, who doesn't like short shorts? Who doesn't like short shorts? It was beautiful. I think I've gone through my vittles, yeah. <laughs> I've gone through my repertoire of um, cross American series from my childhood. I think I've gone right from four. From your repertoire of things you can remember. <laughs> four with Torchy to 35 with Dukes of Hazard, I think I have. Grits, yeah. Pigtails, yeah. Johnny Cakes. I'm not going to go any further into my. I don't want to go into Blackadder and things like that. I'm going to leave it with my childhood, I think. Oh, you like Blackadder? Right, fuck you. Fuck you, Alan. Fuck you. You're not allowed to like Blackadder anymore, Alan. That's our stuff. That's for people who have got taste and decency. You know, Blackadder's our stuff. Get away from it, you dirty 
who are you in Blackadder, Alan? Who are you? There's no one like you in Blackadder. You're, you're darling. That's who you are, Alan. You're darling. I'm Melchit and you're darling. Do I have to be Melchit in that? I, I suppose I'm Blackadder, I know I'm the main one. You're darling. I'm not even putting you on Baldrick level. You, you know, you're beneath Baldrick level. You can be Percy. Alan, you're Percy. Except they haven't got that malignant side to them. But you're certainly not Edmund. Except in the first series. You could be Edmund in the first series. Trippy Cops. Oh, yeah. Those Trippy Cops. Uh, that was... Oh, what's that called? Those those cops that were rubbish. Um... <laughs> Brom Vixen's been asleep since 11 o'clock in the evening. And it's now three half three in the morning. And we're still here. Yeah. I'm pushing through because I realise, and he's hearing this now at the end of the stream, which is going to really annoy him, but Alan will have to watch all of this. I said it earlier, and what I'm doing is I'm putting him through, and ex like, at the time when he's now, because he's watching this, and instead of having laser focus on what he needs to be doing, he's now going through a late night, a stressful late night again. You know, it's just, it's more and more piled on him from me. So the eight hours accusation that he threw at me, he did eight hours streams, he did eight hours streams. We're now 15 minutes away from our second eight hour Angry Allen stream. It's been a big one, it's been a cool one. We've gone all around different stuff. We've, we've you know, really made it clear about why he's not a nonce and why he was weird and angry and the lies he told. We've done all that. And now we're on to this final es escapade into the depths of his mind. And... <laughs> um, the barrels that he will be prepared to scrape in the name of sitting online for an hour so he can take the money off these ladies. That was the forerunner for the guy with grey hair, um, Naked Gun, right? They had a series before that of drippy cops, didn't they? I forget the name of that as well. Police something? Police... Police squad. He was called Police squad. He was in the Drippy Cop series before he made Naked Gun and made a fortune. Not Keystone Cops, no. No, much later. No. Shame you can't remember things, isn't it? What was that again? With the the guy from Naked Gun was the detective and he had two policemen with him. They're always effing up. Not Police Academy, that's a TV series. That's a that's a film series. So imagine me and Alan TV series. Imagine me and Alan do like a pub quiz. And this question comes up. And on Alan's table, he's like, oh, I know it. I know it. Oh, just give me a minute. I know it. And on my table, I've got the answer. It's in there. Done. Don't, 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 don't question me. Don't all have to talk about it. Alan's trying to listen in. <laughs> I've got the answer. It's written down. Don't worry. Got you, got you covered. Alan can't. Oh, sure, I know. Wasn't it? Oh, come on. Uh, I don't know. I'm dragging it up. Um. What's it called again with the police? Can't remember. Police it's squad. Funny. Leslie Nielsen. Police squad. It's going to annoy everyone, isn't it? Unless I... Uh... YouTube. Police squad. I won't play them because it will get me copyright right at the end and I can't you know, can't be asked with it, but police squad. It's one simple word and it's a very common word when related to the police. I'm surprised you can't remember it, you fucking idiot armchair detective. How would anyone trust this man, okay, to do any research and interesting detect... Like, imagine you putting him on the Nicola Bully case. He can't remember the name of police squad off the telly, which is one of his favourite programmes. <laughs> And he's chosen to do this as content for people that are paying money. Was in it? Oh, can't remember the name of it. Got me. That's the it's only useless. one we can't do. It wasn't, Alan, that wasn't the only one you couldn't do. Quite often throughout the tonight's secondary page, this is from a you know, different pay, patron broadcast. Throughout this broadcast, you, uh, you failed to know what you were talking about yourself and had to rely on the audience to feed you even like it's a, it's a great example of what he's like in content creation you know somebody in chat tell me this somebody in chat give me that like you know he's looking over there at the chat like keeping his eye on the clock he's probably playing poker in the other window 
Maybe he's already watching the porn. I don't know. Like, he's a creepy bastard. And even when he's talking about children's television, he had to turn it into conversations about his favourite girls that he had a wank over. And on top of that, can't remember any of his own favourite TV shows, so he's relying on the audience to pad the time for him. <laughs> you pay money, he asks you to pad the time for him, then he reads the stuff out you said in chat and sort of sits there reading it, and then he's done. I, what a what a tragic case of failure to succeed. I, he's a failure in all these different things. No wonder he failed on YouTube as well. It's not as easy as Alan thinks because Alan's a talker. Alan thinks he's got the gift of the gab and he can talk his way out of anything and he thinks he's got the blag and he can convince people of things. He's like a great salesman. So Alan thinks he's a great showman and a great salesman and he can just turn on YouTube and the money will flow because he's got the gift of the gab. You actually have to put some work in, Alan. And it shows when you fall on your ass doing stuff like this. It really shows. He's looking on his phone now. He's on his phone now. You can't, he's not using Google on his phone, is he? Because he's got the internet on his computer. Why is he on his phone? Setting something up for after the broadcast in your black room. People texting you. Is this business that you have to attend to or something? Howdy doody. <laughs> Hill Street Blues. No, not that. I like that as well. Airplane. Please squad. Thank you, Welsh Pam. Please squad was Nelson. Welsh Pam. Welsh Pam, Welsh Pam annoys the fuck out of me because I... Welsh Pam was in our streams a little bit. What is Welsh Pam doing falling for his nonsense? I took them for an intelligent person. Welsh Pam, you're welcome back. Please, <laughs> please wise up. What are you doing supporting this guy? I knew it was police something, didn't I? Yeah, well done. You knew it was police something because the characters depicted in the series are police people. So well done for getting that part of it right. <laughs> Hill Street Blues was great. Uh... This is a load of nonsense. Right. No, I'd like totally tax your brain from the 60s. I'm going to go to bed. I'm not going to play out. I'm just going to go. Thanks very much. I'll see you on a Sunday night. I've got a special guest. 955, 56, 957. I'm pausing it. He's watching the clock tick down to an hour so he can press the button. It's so tragic. Blue. Blue. Good night, everyone. That's so tragic. He watched for the clock to tick down. As soon as an hour and two seconds hit, bang, he's gone. It's almost like he had something better to do somewhere else than attend to the people who are paying money for his streams. The man's an arse, a savage. Twizzle. Twizzle. Yeah, stretch his arms. He's a Stretch Johnson. Had, we had Twizzle, stretch his arms. You had, was it Captain America? Well, no, Stretch, stretch Johnson or something, didn't you? You had Stretch Johnson or so stretched his eggs on that. <laughs> don't come over here to me, Alan. I don't like it. Go away. Go away over there. Rocking around in frame. Don't ever have you on this morning. Can't sit still. Damien thinks I'm nocturnally. Yeah, I am nocturnally streaming. It's now 3.35. I do live at these hours. My family are cross because I'm talking still and they're all in bed. Uh, but it is what it is. We decided once we were over the line of six hours. Now I'm going to do exactly what I said Alan did. <laughs> I'm going to sit here for another 10 minutes to make sure we hit 8 hours, but there's a different reason. It's because he accused me of doing 8 hour streams about him. And what I've proven tonight is that I could get another video open and I could carry on. I've got stamina. I'm prepared to put in the work. I'm prepared to be on stream. You chuffers are in the chat. I noticed you didn't want to go to bed. You're alright. You're still here. I'm not making you pay for my patron. You can stay here and we can talk and it's been good. I've got the stamina. I'm not tired of it. Content creation is a great gift, a great privilege, you know, a great privilege. You need a bit of kit. I've had to work to get some bits of kit together. But really, it's a great privilege to be able to sit on the internet. There are people that don't have this opportunity in their life, you know. Um, 
imagine like even in countries like you know ukraine's a good example but uh there are, you know people don't have the same opportunities everywhere all over the world so the fact that i've got this opportunity it's a great privilege and i'm really lucky to have it so if i'm prepared to put a bit of extra time and work in and be here for eight hours that's not a critique on me and if i've got enough content out of two of alan's streams to talk for eight hours that's not a critique on me <laughs> if you want to raise it as a negative alan go ahead i'll bat it back at you and just say eight hour stream <laughs> talking about your nonsense so people have been entertained over the whole course of it we had uh, the serious bit at the start that people were really in into where we actually peaked at around 700 viewers on my b-side stream which was pretty fucking awesome that's as many as alan gets on his mainstream and then it's tailed off as the night's gone on of course of course and we've talked more nonsense as the night's gone on that's fine that's fine but overall i'm really really grateful and i've had a really good time and i'm not always going to put in massive eight hour streams about alan but when we do god help us they are absolute crackers we've gone from the rough to the smooth we've seen the worst of alan and some other bad stuff from alan remember this is his mask he's got those ladies in his chat room they've all paid money to be there so to him these are the marks the easy money and he's playing to the audience, trying to make them think he's a lovable rogue. You know? Doesn't make, it doesn't mean he is like this and he's a nice man. Because he could list children's television programmes. He knows that they feel emotionally invested and nostalgic over these programmes. So he's talking to them to create a feeling and a vibe within them. It's a creepy thing that he's done, really. Never forget that. It's all manipulation from Alan. I mean, it, it's all manipulation all the time from the narcissist because they view people as tokens, as resources. They don't view them as people and they don't have the same thought pattern and sentiment. And you notice when he picked out that series of shows from his childhood, he was angry about Sooty for being arrogant. He thought Sue was a stupid woman. He picked out three different characters that he thought was. <laughs> he doesn't have the same thought pattern. You know, is this my longest stream? Kieran, I don't think it is. I think we've done eight hours on Alan before. Um, but it is one of my longer streams, yeah. I've noticed as well that most American peers, the people that I respect, let's look at Rectful because Rectful's a beautiful man and he's dead, killed himself. Let's finish on some Rectful. Let's have a look at some Rectful. I talk about him, but, you know, let's look at him. I don't want to get copyright strikes or anything, but... Uh, What do I want to look at? It wants to be a quick one, really. Um, like my the, peers, the people that I watch streaming that I you know admire and put the work in. Asmongold's another good example. I wanted to watch the Asmongold reaction video to Dark Side Phil, but we haven't got time now. Um, but the people that I uh, you know I admire, they put the work in, they put the hours in. Quite happy to sit there on their streams all day, like it's a full time job. You know? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm looking at here, really. Just thinking about Rackfall. Yeah. So, I don't mind. You know, it's not, it's not like I think, oh, we've done a marathon. It's just a bit longer, a bit more work. Like, if you sat at work for eight hours, right... And you're at work for eight hours. And someone said, oh, you've done a really long day's work today, eight hours, special you. It's not special me, is it? I'm just you know, just doing some work. Just go go for 10 hours. No, I've got nearly a headache now from this bollocks. Um, I just wanted to w watch one short, rectfully clip that sort of made me feel a bit right. I don't, think I don't think it is the right finish to my stream, really. I feel like we need one final, you know, decompression video in some way. Um, maybe Wreckful's not the one for that. We'll have to do Wreckful. We did it on my stream before I was famous, before I had the 
bigger push from YouTube and the bigger support from YouTube offers. Um, I talked about Wreckful on my stream, so I've done my streams about Wreckful. You know, I've paid my respect, so to speak. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just, it just came up in conversation then for me. Just Wreckful cries on stream. Okay, play, I'll play this one. I'll play this one. I don't know. I wonder if being bored really is the worst feeling in life for a lot of people, or just if it's if that's something unique to me, kind of unique to me. Do, do a lot of you feel like boredom is the worst feeling in life that you regularly experience? Like I, I mean, like getting tortured or something would be worse, right? But that doesn't really happen to m most of us. What what is the worst feeling? Loneliness. Loneliness is pretty bad. Fuck you, retard. Okay, I've actually seen... Well, you need to re realise, right, when you're watch watching this, this is old Twitch and it's his chat. Like, you're in chat, you know, he's got his chat up and he's talking to his chat. His chat go a lot quicker. And Reckful actually invented... You know how we have tips and it comes up on the screen? Reckful invented that. He had his PayPal linked to a... Like, he's clever. He can make things happen on the computer. He can code and stuff. He's a smart chuffer. He was a smart chuffer. Uh, Wreckful, um, you know, he created some norms, some ideas that we see as normal now, but he was like, oh, why don't we have this? I'm going to make it happen on my stream. And everyone else took, took, started doing it. Um, and his relationship to his chat and the way chat exists now is because of Wreckful. Like, some of the mechanics of chat simply are because of Wreckful and his peers. You talked about chat before, I think. I was about to just insta ban you, but wait. Why, why do you say this? I'm just talking and you get mad. Why? What, what what made you mad? Are you trolling? You told me to kill myself a lot. Oh, you're an asshole, actually. Oh, wow. You've been watching for a long time. Wait, so wh why are you such an asshole? It's not even that rare that I look at someone's logs and they've told me to kill myself, like... It's like half the fucking time, but... Wh why are you such an asshole? I don't get it. The only time I look at their log, they're already an asshole. So then, <laughs> half the time after I've looked at their log, they told me to kill myself, you know? Um, you wanna know how many people were in Ad Armchair Detective stream? Uh, I've gone off that page now, I think. Um, Angel. He's had 61 views on that video in total. Views in total. I don't know. You're the type of person who makes me the most sad. I don't want to make it sad at the end, but. You sound like Byron. <laughs> I can understand this, maybe, kind of. It's not just these reading negative comments in this clip. What he's doing is he's addressing somebody's um, dysfunction. Like he's looking for something deeper. Byron's a very thought. Byron was a very thoughtful person, and you know, day to day, all this crap goes past in his chat. And he, it, as he said, people tell me to kill myself all the time. I don't mind that, but it, there's something deeper going on here. Yeah, I don't know. You make me really sad. And, um, it happens to me every day. You know, someone's telling me to kill myself in my chat. Like my life isn't worth living and doesn't improve anyone's life in any way, right? And you like watching me. So you shouldn't tell me that stuff, right? Because I feel like... I just want you to know that I'm serious. I want you to know that I'm really affected. So, look, look at me. Okay? Like... Maybe you guys will stop. Maybe I shouldn't tell you this. Yeah, that's probably not the best, you know, moment of Wreckful, is it? You know, maybe I shouldn't have played that. I don't 
don't know why I took it there. Um, I don't know why I took it there. I just, I really respect him, you know, I really think he was a very thoughtful person, very good person. Oh, what's up? This is Reckful at his best, right? This is Byron at his Were best. Me? He's out in Tokyo. I saw you here and I was like, hey, this guy looks lonely. Oi, mate. Go ahead, mate. Uh, oh can you show me the course here? Yeah, I mean, what were you doing over there anyway? Wait, you were watching me that long? I was, I was on the train and I was like, oh, I'm going to Shinjuku anyway. What was I doing where? Over there, there's like nothing, right? Yeah, that place sucked. <laughs> Wait, how, why was I there? Uh, I don't know. My hotel's over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, you want to go this way. What's over here? Stuff. Food and stuff, drinks. Fuck, my I'd like to do this. Place, huh? You know, I'll tell you what, I think we will get up to this in the future. It requires a bit more streaming kit from me, but one of his fans turned up, or someone was watching him turned up while he's streaming live, and look at them. Now he's walking and talking with him. Uh, Retful had this amazing ability to... Uh, make friends and travel and bring uh, joy to people. I just think like it's a real simple thing. And the examples like when he was going around Japan and just, uh, there's another one that I really enjoy. I don't, it's just like you get these little moments in streams and like you just think about them sometimes. Uh, once he was in a burger restaurant and in Japan or one of these places and he just started talking to the, the person in the restaurant, you know, this other person. And then they had a chat and I, you know, it's just a real human way of being, isn't it? And like, so maybe this is Reckful at his best, maybe. You know, well, he's talking to girls here, so we. But you know what I mean? Like, just wandering the streets with someone who uh, takes joy in his presence and being together as new friends. It's fucking white guys. They fucking care. This is one of the reasons I like Ari streams, you know, meeting people that out in the world, views of the world. Sorry if I've taken you into a dark place. I don't want you to, like, you know, bring you into a dark place, actually. We've gone over eight hours. How do I finish this in a more positive way? We've had all our laughs, and I just, I don't know why, but I thought, it was, I'll tell you why, and I remember why, because someone said about eight hours, and I was thinking about, I used to watch Wreckful, and he used to stream for fucking hours, and I, he was one of those, like, there was a, a breed of streamer that, which, XQC is a better example. Let's have some funny XQC. XQC just got offered $10 million to go and stream on uh, another platform to go and stream on Kick, and he's took the, the deal. XQC um, talking. He's funny because he's talking fast. So we'll, we'll watch XQC saying things, and that'll be funny because he's talking fast, right? Um, but <laughs> XQC was is the same um, generation, I think. Maybe coming a little bit later, but there was a whole generation of them that blew up on Twitch for being a sort of cool crowd, playing World of Warcraft, being on stream 8 hours, 10 hours, 16 hours a day. Like they'd get up and they'd switch on their stream and then they're in that chair on the stream doing their stream. That's their job. That's their whole thing. So why would they not be on the in the chair? Asmongold as well, I really respect. Like People just say, oh, he plays games for hours and hours. I'm, I'm very sorry, Dover and Dolly's mom. Like, I see it in chat and I'm not trying to you know, um, detract from it or anything. I'm just trying to take us into a slightly different place for the end of the stream. I, I didn't really want to... I was feeling sad about that as well and I didn't want to make anyone feel sad. So... I'd, um, but it's real feelings, isn't it? So it's okay. Uh, yeah, so this generation, Wreckful's generation, they invented a lot of the norms, the tropes, the, the things we see as streaming today. Like they were the ones in the vanguard. And a lot of them became really big. And like I said, they put in all those hours. Like you could turn on your computer and expect to see the streamers you want to watch. I don't put in anywhere near the work these people have put in. And of course, they've got millions of pounds and have done really well. So I, I'm really grateful and happy to them as well. I'm not a big XQC fan, but I perceive their success and I'm happy for them to have success. I think that's really good. So we'll watch a little bit of XQC saying things to finish then. I a rubber band and can fly for over 30... Dude, I, I, I don't like stopping videos. I, I'm, I feel really bad about it. But the shell on Turtles, did they spawn with it? In the dialogue, there is the recipient and the, the dialogator. I'm not balding, I'm not balding. <laughs> dude, my, dude, listen, man, my family dude has literally perfect hair, perfect hairlines. They had hair until like 90 degrees uh, old. <laughs> Which country isn't part of the United Kingdom? I 
Hang lang ah. Cheeto. Why does your hair look like a hat? I don't know. Why does your dick look like a look? Wins. <laughs> okay. I like that one. Why does your hair like a hat? I don't know. Why does your dick like a... Blah, blah, blah. He wins. <laughs> That's a good one. Cheeto. Why does your hair look like a hat? I don't know. Why does your dick look... look, look... He wins. <laughs> Sorry. Every night. Okay, you should hang up this time. No, you hang up. He no, you hang up. No, you hang up. He no, you hang up. No, you hang up. He no, you hang up. No, you hang up. He no, you hang up. I think this this is this is your dad and your mom before you were born. Pull out! No, I'm not. Pull out now! No, I'm not. Pull out now! Too late. What the fuck is that? What's that? What's that thing? Is that a dog? <laughs> is, is that a dog? <laughs> the alligator fought us with an unmatched level of <laughs> Why did they just tow him with a, with a car? We <laughs> stream He's so dumb. Like, I don't know how we ended up with XQC. He's so dumb, but yeah. Um <laughs> Does he bring a gun, bro? Bro, I'm bringing my gun. This is the only Stop gun I have. Stop complaining like some hoes, man. I have only three of us. Only three of us. No, yo, fine, yo, no. only two men running. It's fine. It's fine. Guys, we're we'll only two men running. Because I want to get hard to manage, man. Just one more, and after that, we'll do what we do with you guys. Man, we're gonna die here anyway. I suck. If we die here, we just bring yeah, in more. Exactly. He's not even talking real words. <laughs> He's not even talking real words. <laughs> this is classic. This is great. Hey there. Let's pronounce some words. Can you say this? Onomatopoeia. That's right. Onomatopoeia. Great. Can you say this word now? Exuberant. This one's a bit more difficult. That's right. Exuberant. Now, try pronounce this word. Tuesday. 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 That's what you fucking sound like. You sound like a fucking bitch. What? Yeah, fuck you. What? <laughs> fuck this guy. <laughs> Sorry, I really like that. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Oh man, like XUC is not from the oldest, oldest generation, maybe, but he's he's now the like. It's funny, like you know, different people get their different time at this top, I suppose. Uh, yeah, XQC. I don't know why he finished on him for a bit of a laugh. It's been a funny old episode. Yeah, big love shouts out to Dover. Um, Try to leave us in a more happy place. Should have a look at the dog having his hair cut. What am I doing now? I'm doing... I've got no more. You know, I've got no more today. It's time for me to sign off. I'm not. I'm not going to do an outro sequence. I'm just going to end it. <laughs> in the, in the, it's crisps adverts. It's adverts for crisps. Why have I got that? Shut up, adverts for crisps. I'm just going to end it. With a wand like that. Well, <laughs> the stream. I mean, Jesus, well, don't get dark. <laughs> Super grand, yeah. Never into sweet. I thought he was arrogant, so I preferred sweet. <laughs> sweet was naughty. It was Sooty Sweep, and then they had this panda girl. <laughs> Sooty and Sweep never said a word in their lives, and this panda wouldn't shut up. I think she was called Sandy or something. She wouldn't shut up. <laughs> she had a voice and everything. Typical woman, right? <laughs> Poor Sooty and Sweep, because they never. It was like. Typical woman. Uh, I just want to quickly check YouTube and see if there's. who's live. Detractor Beam Alive. Brilliant. I bet I've missed all my it's favorite. Cute. She's cute in that, all right? Oh, they've been on three anything, hours. Anything different. Uh, I, if only I'd ended the stream two hours ago, I could have watched a tractor beam, and now I'm late for it, and I've missed it. It's like missing EastEnders and shit. I always miss my favorite programs. So uh, I was going to encourage us all to go and watch the tractor beam, but I'm going to watch that on replay now. I'm also going to have to watch Dark Side Phil's uh, um, DSP Bingo. 
So I've got some YouTube to watch myself. You've got some nights to have. And I've also got to answer all my emails and get back to all these people. Val's going to be coming on the show, isn't she? That's going to be good. Don't know whether we'll have her on the main channel or on here, really, because, you know, she's connected with the Alan stuff, really, so she should come on here. But I also feel like giving her respect that she deserves from the main channel and having a proper chat to her on there, so we'll decide. But uh, I think here's best because it connects with all the Alan stuff. We'll have her on for a good, good chat. The docs give you Zopiclone. Oh, those knock you right out. They leave a funny taste in your mouth in the morning as well. A bit like Alan. <laughs> so listen, if you want to continue talking, the Discord is available for the Mimp Squad. Are you all already in there? Let me give you the link. You're all hardcore if you're here now. There's the Discord link. There's no point in people trying to go in there and troll and make trouble because they easily get weeded out and spotted. There's no point in them trying to lurk and, you know, oh, we'll get the inside goss because it's just people talking and being a good community to each other. So being a creepy weirdo in there is just not accepted. Oh, Columbo's back with a retracted message. <laughs> is that Alan or what? Or are you trying to mess with me now, Columbo? Surely he's not going to call his own sock account Columbo. Or is he down to the last sock account because we've deleted all the others off the list? Oh, it's a very strange choice, Alan. <laughs> it probably went up on the screen. They're probably trying to put something up on the screen they think I'm going to be liable for later. And they want to retract it and say, oh, look, it went on the screen. He's liable for it. But of course, it's in the YouTube comments that we're broadcasting on our YouTube channel. And YouTube comments is a separate chat service. Like when you look into the actual, oh, no, YouTube comments, you're liable for them or anything. Oh, Eddie did a show on Nicola Buddy. All right, I'll look at that as well. Um... Yeah, like when the, uh, I'm not even going to go into that technicalities, it just doesn't matter anymore. Like the actual, you know that you're chatting in YouTube chat, but it's like it actually works as a chat service, like attached to the videos. It's, it's funny, it's funny technicalities. So be good, my, my little podcast, be good. And remember, if you can't be good, you're naughty. Uh, it's been a massive eight hour stream. Alan is a chuffer. We all know he's a chuffer. I pulled his pants down again in public. <laughs> I had a right smack of his little ass. We've got one more of his patron things to watch as well in the future. Like lined up. So we've still got more angry Alan. I could do another four hours right now. But I think it's time to knock it on the head. Which is uh, what Alan would probably be saying in his black room with his black floor and his black brick wall if I've any good judge of character. <laughs> You're concerned about me, glad to see me happier, yeah. I mean, it's okay to feel things. I think that's fine to feel things. So, I think it's okay. Colombo is innocent. Okay, no problem. Sorry. Sorry. No problem. I and mean, it's going to persist, isn't it? He's definitely going to be... I mean, I'm... I'm <laughs> It just feels really Alan-y, doesn't it? It would be really weird to come to my streams with a brand new... Um, I don't know. I don't know, Columbo. Maybe you're not Alan. Because Alan can't sing, can he? Maybe you're not Alan. Okay. No problem, Colombo. 
It's just that Alan mentions Columbo. He's mentioned it in the broadcast today, so you can see where I'm coming from because Alan's been in our stream it's with his fake accounts. Again. I couldn't be happier. Swish, Craig sent swish. tippies. Thank you, Craig. Good night. Lots for me to catch up on here. Super Chuffer owes 10 hugs. I'm the daddy now. I'm the daddy now. Good night, everyone. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Columbo. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. It might just be a funny coincidence. Um, no problem. You know? But if you are Alan, and you think you're going to get up to any nonsense, you simply won't. And if you think that by being here through a secret account, you get some benefit, you simply don't. Because everything I'm doing and saying is public, and everything on the Discord is supportive and positive. There's no creepy, weird backstory. Uh, so go for it, I suppose. I suppose go for it. I find it really weird, like, how do I sign off now? I suppose I just press the button and end the stream, don't I? You'd be good. I feel like I don't want to. I feel like, for some reason, I'd quite happily sit here another hour, but it's time to go. It's time to... It time go. You be good, my little Pukos, and if you can't be good, you're naughty.